that dude you're saying he's early dude i literally freaking clicked on the uh star stream button exactly at 12 and it was early that was like literally freaking like three seconds early probably what the <laughs> even japanese streams cannot freaking do this like this fall well what's up everybody uh so in this stream we are going to this one place and uh we will probably see something really interesting because i'm in okinawa now i decided to take an airplane and look at this i'm in okinawa isn't it freaking amazing so i'm currently in okinawa and i'm seeing all the great ocean you know how the ocean is like so blue and by the way i'm not actually in okinawa i'm in chiba so you just got bamboozled like really hard uh but the sea is like right here and it's not really clean or anything it's not really clean or anything but the weather is just really amazing so yeah uh that too and uh, wait let me let me talk to Michi a little bit too uh it's ne dogo mita kedo ne etto ne so nanka mm to ne sugo kantan ni yuto nan daro na yaritai koto wa wakaru kedo tabe yaritai koto ano honnin no yaritai koto wa wakaru kedo他人が見たいものになってないっていうのは分かった。そこが違いだと思う、ぶっちゃけ。で、あとね、あの、YouTubeのことに関して言うんだったらね、そのアナリティクスっていうのを見ないとちょっと始まらないところがあって、あの、視
so uh, he has things to blow, blow up in Japan already. So, パクレパクレ始め方えっとね、えー、見るときにパクリ方なんだけど、一番注目してほしいのが、始め方と終わり方で、なんでその動画を見る必要があるのかっていうプロデュースの仕方俺の動画でも見れば分かるんだけど必ず俺もやっててみんなやってるんだけどこの動画を見る必要はこれがあるからですっていうイントロダクションそこが重要でその後にあのにこの動画を見ることによってこういう結論が得られますっていうストーリーテリングが必ず必要どの動画でもなくてバズる人見たことないかなあんまり、まあ、たまに言うけどさたまに原源パクれ原源原源を海外向けにしたい and yeah so aren't most samurai trainers female these days I don't think so Actually, I, I don't know. You know what? I don't know. So,、uh, let me fix my angle because, like, I、uh, care about the angle more than, like, MySpace girls. So, is my angle fire, everybody? Anyways, by the way, did you guys watch the video? I uploaded it. I uploaded it.、Uh, Yesterday, or like two days ago. どこ行くんだろうえっと大名行列があるらしい場所ですね。You're a very pretty girl.I take it as my birthday present.Happy birthday.MySpace, remember that? <laughs> Did you guys watch the video that I uploaded two days ago? Can't be bothered. It's fine. If you didn't watch it, that's whatever too. But the thing is, like, I had it to. Upload the video to counter the arguments where people literally freaking just like argue on the internet whose Japanese is the best, whose Japanese sucks, who speaks the best Japanese while、uh, disregarding the communication manners in Japan. I think that's something what I make fun of like everywhere. So, like, every time I see a non Japanese person. Uh, bashing at somebody for speaking bad Japanese, that's when I usually show up and just start making fun of the person saying, like, bad Japanese sucks. I, when I say I make fun of that, that thing, I feel like I have to do it as a Japanese person. I, I have to do it because there's nothing wrong with speaking bad Japanese. Like, what the fuck? Why is there like actually a competition? Like, I have to do it. Okay, everybody. So, I'm gonna be that one freaking villain、uh, from this day on. Oh man, I've, I've been that villain like since I was like freaking 20 something. I've been making fun of like all the people who bash at some people who are learning Japanese for speaking bad Japanese. Like, if I ever see a person saying, like, your Japanese sucks, like, you didn't say watashi correct, it's watashi. That's when I show up and just.、Uh, Also, start making fun of the dude for that too. Villain. I'm gonna be a true villain. So, like, if you guys ever see a YouTuber with like something like that, let me know.、Uh, let me just know in the comments section. I will check whatever that is on the internet and I'm gonna make fun of the person as well. Like, I have to do it actually. <laughs> But yeah, so、uh, the summary of the video is obviously you can make mistakes in Japanese or in English. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. It's completely fine. I mean, you cannot make mistakes if you are taking a Japanese test and whatever, because like, that's kind of like the point of the test, right? But other than that, if you are like, talking to people in English, in Spanish, in Japanese, you can make mistakes if it's not rude. You have to worry about whether you're being like, you know, friendly, polite, or like, you're following the、uh, manners and stuff. Other than that, yeah, you can just do whatever. Yeah. And Jules, can you check my TTS? Hey, Sora, did you get a haircut? Is it that noticeable? I didn't really change my hair though. Oh, and by the way, by the way, I wanted to talk about something too. Have you guys ever、uh, encountered racists? <laughs> I wanted to talk about that here too. <laughs> like, actually, like, Have you guys ever encountered any people who hate you, or who hate some certain people for their race? Or like, whatever? <laughs> I don't know what, I, what you were saying, but thank you so much. Is it, is it like one of those like, things? Yes, but thank you. So, the thing is here, I wanted to talk about this. When you see a racist, 
What do you do? How do you deal with it, everybody? Tell me. Because I feel like、uh, I kind of wanted to talk about this because I thought it was kind of interesting. But yeah, what do you do when you see a racist? Now, it's not like an internet thing. Like, actually, in, in real life, what do you do? What do you do? Now I'm at a red light so I can read the comments here. Ignore them. Ask them to explain their anger. <laughs> like, why are you angry, bro? You angry? What happened? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, they call me a weeb.、Uh, weeb is not a race, but sure. I ignore, laugh at them, don't take it seriously. I mean, again, in your case, you call everybody gay, so you probably just call them gay. Racist or actual racist? Uh, I don't know, depends. All right, so here's the question. So, like, I'm Japanese, right?、Uh, if somebody comes up to me and says, like, you Chin Chong Kung Fu master, is it racist? Y- yes or no, everybody. I-, I want to know about this. Is it-, is it racist or, like, is it not racist? Is it? Yes? So, you, you think it's racist? Okay, okay. <laughs> So, the thing about it is, uh, uh, I, I felt like I have to probably mention it here because I think it's an interesting thing as well. So, I'm driving, I cannot read any comments now. But the thing is, here,、uh, from my perspective, so like, since I was like seven or like 12, I've been talking to a lot of like a different people everywhere, you know,、uh, like literally everywhere on the internet in real life, everywhere. Like, I talk to a lot of different kinds of people. Of course, including Japanese people too, and I've talked to some people from like whatever country, whatever on the internet. And、uh, so I was playing VR table tennis yesterday actually. And、uh, in table tennis, there's like a, this specific、uh, thing Asians do usually. It's called like a pin hold grip. It's basically like an Asian grip. You can just call it that way. I use that grip because I grew up doing that. And then I am a try hard VR table tennis player. So, in other words, I'm a no lifer guy who tries hard in online games, basically. And I wrecked somebody yesterday with the Asian grip. And I wrecked somebody and I didn't really say anything. I don't just go, I just don't say, like, you suck or anything because what is the point, right? So, I just wrecked somebody and I didn't say anything. And what happened was this. This opponent of mine got so mad for whatever reason. He basically went like, You Chin Chong Kung Fu Master? Hey, you know what happened to me? I got flattered. I actually got happy because in reality, I did Kung Fu before. Calling me a Kung Fu Master is actually it's a, it's a compliment. Kung Fu is like legit something I did for seven years. I freaking smiled. I went like, You think so? I freaking turned on my mic, I was like, You think so? And he was like, Yeah, you, you changed on Kung Fu Master. And I was like, I do Kung Fu really well. Do you, do you want to see me and do Ulan Panda? And the dude freaking muted me and he freaking blocked me and left. But like, that was interesting. I wasn't sure like, if he was like, actually trying to give me a compliment or like, trying to be somehow racist towards me because I used my Asian technique to freaking destroy him in this Asian sport called table tennis with my Asian grip. I still don't know what that was, but I can tell he was not having a great day. But I was having a great day because he unintentionally、uh, gave me a compliment saying, like, You Chin Chong Kung Fu Master. And the thing about it is, yeah, Chin Chong. It's not really a word in Japanese, but there's like this one word which is chin chin, which means penis. So I guess he's not far off from like what Japanese sounds like. So yeah, either way, that was a compliment. I thought he, he was really amazing. I added him, he blocked me. So like there, there was no other conversation after that. But yeah, so you can probably learn from、uh, my experience here.、Uh, the thing is, like, when people try to say something mean to you, Uh, they want to feel like they're superior, right? But、uh, in this case, this dude wanted to feel superior, so like they tried to be racist, I guess, but they instead gave me a compliment, which is a Chin Chong Kung Fu Master, and I got flattered again. I was like, you know what? I wanted to be the best Kung Fu guy ever in 2020, actually, in 2015. Now, my dream came true. 
And yeah, uh, that's basically how that was. And if, if everybody is curious, I did this one kung fu called Nan Nanken. In the eyes of shoes, anything you do can be racist, but they don't acknowledge the double standards. Yeah, thank you so much for the donation. I don't really know. So like, one thing I can say is like, uh, if I have to talk about it seriously, I mean, I don't really care about any of like those comments, especially if it's like towards me, because. It's usually like there are two types of like racism. One, they actually feel superior, so they just go like, "You Chinchong Kung Fu Master," but I get flattered. Two, uh, they are somehow trying to make racist jokes, even though it's rude, but they just want to be hilarious. If two is the purpose, you try to be funnier than the dude, and they get humiliated for whatever reason, which actually happened in the states, actually, as far as I remember. Uh, it's a thing, and I feel like how. I deal with things is usually I make fun of myself more than any other dudes out there, and they get wrecked. They just go like, "You suck," and I go like, "No, I suck." <laughs> Little Trinity wants to know: Can you please elaborate on Asian grip and how it affects your life? A so, Asian grip is called a penhold grip, actually, in table tennis. So, like, I cannot really do well, but I'm gonna just like do it here. So, in table tennis. Everybody, a lot of ninety percent of the population in that sport use this grip called the shake hand grip. It's where you hold your paddle like this, like a racket, like this, right? <laughs> thank you so much for the donation. It probably has like a swear word or something, so you got cancelled. But yeah, thank you so much. Jules, can you can you send 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 me send it to me? I'm curious of what that dude said. I'm curious. Time to retire here. <laughs> Thank you so much for the donation. And this is the shake hand grip, which is like what everybody uses in table tennis. And this is pen hold grip. It's the Asian grip. It's like the it's like the grip what you use if you're Asian mostly. I mean the thing is here, uh, a lot of non Asians use this grip as well. So like it's not even the Asian grip anymore, but it's like a traditional Asian grip. So if if you see somebody who's like using this grip, it's an Asian person. Thus, it happened in VR yesterday because I was using this grip, and you know this dude was like, "You Chinchong Kung Fu Master," and I was like, "You you think I'm a Kung Fu Master, bro? You know what? I did Kung Fu Yo, and he freaking blocked me, right? So like, that, that's literally what happened. <laughs> oh, and by the way. I, I remembered something. Harry said he doesn't see how calling someone a martial arts master would be a bad thing. I uh, right. So I still like don't know how mad he was honestly. But thank you so much for the donation. I I still don't know. Was he really mad? Do you think? By the way, I'm not a red light, so I can read stuff. Was he really mad? Do you think? Cause. He basically called me a Chinchong Kung Fu Master, but that was a freaking compliment, yo! Didn't you actually do Kung Fu? Yeah, I did! I did! I did Kung Fu for like seven years, and I was like a try-hard Kung Fu person before. Like, actually, I, I practiced my Kung Fu every day. I was like so buff before too, like that was freaking my life. Like, that was my teenage days, right? I did that every day, but I couldn't be the best of Japan. I kind of quit, because I was like, you know what? F this, but then that dude showed up and called me a kung fu master, and I was like, you know what, bro? But yeah, so that was my uh, experience. And uh, can I talk? Wait, are you guys interested in the in the story of like uh, this Japanese dude who tried to do, like pick up a fight, like you know, uh, against me uh, three days ago? Are you interested in this story too? <laughs> it was freaking hilarious. <laughs> I, I thought I was like, wow, okay. <laughs> Wait, if you guys are interested in the story, let me know. Everybody, wait, Jules, is everybody saying yes or no? It was the funniest thing ever. I had to freaking like tell that to like a few of my friends. <laughs> I, was, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm at a red light. I can read the stuff now when I'm not driving. Let me check. If you guys are not, so it's not what everybody is saying, but it's like what you think. Okay, so a wild hater. It's not really like the thing about it is like 
all the internet haters, like 99% of the time, like they are hating because they want to hate on the internet. Like they don't really do anything in real life, right? But so what happened was this. It was like three days ago. I was in Tokyo. Uh, was it like after a stream or something? I really forgot what that was. But yeah, I was at a state. Was that? Like was it after a stream? I really don't know what that was. I forgot what that was. But that was like a late at night, I think. I was at a station just chilling, waiting for my train. And uh, there was like this dude who was like walking like this. And he was a bit smaller than me. Like he was shorter than me too. But he had the typical, like, you know, I'm a badass way of like walking, like style, like. And he was like breathing heavily too. I don't know what that was. He was like. And then he came up to me. He stared at me for three, three seconds. I was like, you know, uh, playing with my phone. So I was like. I thought he was like a sniper or something. I was like, okay, this dude probably knows about me. And then I noticed he was a Japanese person who was like staring at me like this. <laughs> and I was like, what? So I was like, and then this dude was like, where's the bathroom? I was like, there? And this dude was like, you wanna fight, bro? Huh? You wanna fight, bro? And I was like, no. <laughs> Cause I was like, what the fuck? The thing is, like, that was like a samurai thing to do. He was hilarious. He was not like, yo, boom, kind of thing. He was basically like, so if I translate it into Japanese, hey, would you like to fight me, brother? That's basically what that was. So he asked me if I want to fight. Like, that dude was probably drunk or something, right? He was either drunk or like, he, he probably was really drunk. Like, that's my guess. Because that just didn't make any sense. That whole conversation didn't make any sense. He was drunk, right? But he, st he was drunk, he was still polite about it. He didn't start a fight. He asked me if I wanted to fight in Japanese. Like, you wanna fight, bro? But that was like, hey, I'm interested in fighting. Would you like to fight against me? And I was like, what the fuck? I was like, no. And then he was like, are you a host or something? And I was like, what the fuck, bro? I was like, no. And he freaking disappeared. I was like, what? <laughs> like, that dude was like drunk as fuck. <laughs> and then he went to the bathroom, right? And he freaking was like screaming. He was like, ah, oh, ah. Oh. So it's either he was taking a piss or like he was taking a shit while moaning. Like, I don't know what even happened. He probably had the most explosive diarrhea or he pissed so hard. So like his freaking pit, like pee pee uh, got like destroyed or something. Nobody knows what happened or like, what happened to him, or what was happening to him, but, you know, I was in Japan, I'm in Japan, even that drunk dude who wanted to pick a fight was somewhat polite. He asked me if I wanted to fight, and I was like, what does that even mean? <laughs> it's not like, you sussing me, bro? I'm gonna punch you, bro. It's not even like that. He was like, you wanna fight, bro? Huh? I was like, no. And when I said no, he politely disappeared. I mean, he was not polite, I guess, but like, I don't know, man. Like, I don't even know what's polite even anymore. He was like, you host? <laughs> I should have said I'm 18. I'm a I'm a minor. I'm a high school student. What the f are you doing? <laughs> so yeah, that happened. But yeah, I just wanted to tell you, uh, in Japan, that's basically how that is. You don't suddenly just fight people. Uh, they ask you if you want to fight, and if you say no, they. Uh, they freaking uh, consider your opinion and they disappear. They, polite, they, they politely understand your situation even they are drunk, even, they, even when they are drunk and they disappear because they are polite. Hi, Thank you so much for the donation. I couldn't really catch that, but I really appreciate it. So yeah, I just wanted to tell you, everybody, you don't have to worry about any uh, freaking safety. Wait. I would honestly like to see some kung fu. What kind of kung fu was it? I did some back in the day as well for about seven years. Did uh, you do any chin na? Chin na? Chin na? Chin na? I don't know what that is, but so like, now here's the thing. There are videos of me doing Kung Fu when I was like 17 or like 16. I searched Thriller Troll, I found myself doing Kung Fu or something. Like, I searched Thriller Troll 10 years ago. Like, I did a video where 
I reacted to myself doing kung fu、uh, on YouTube. I was not really like a great kung fu guy or anything, but like, that was there too. And I did boxing for three years as well. And the, the, there was, there's like no footage of me doing boxing like anywhere in this world. So you cannot find it. But you can still kind of see it in some of my videos because I kind of did some boxing related stuff on my channel as a joke. It's not really like a serious thing. But yeah, I, I was like a huge like boxing. Karate kung fu guy when I was like a teenager because I thought it was cool and I wanted to be like a Dragon Ball, like I wanted to be like Goku. And then my sensei came up to me like one day when I was like freaking 18, and she, my sensei, one of my senses, she basically told me, like You know what? Like, weapons are stronger. You, you know that, right? And I was like, Right. And I freaking quit kung fu. Like, that was literally what happened. I've been gonna say in this freaking story, telling this story to everybody, literally in every stream. My sensei told me weapons are stronger, chairs are stronger than like actual freaking fists and like kicks. And I was like, okay, I mean, you're right. So, yeah, I learned chairs and uh, uh, what else?、Uh, desks? But my sensei has always like, told me chairs and bicycles are stronger than anything else. So, like, if you were, like, if I'm really trying to learn Kung Fu to be like Goku, it's not gonna work. So, then I learned chairs are freaking OP as fork because it can be your shield and it's, it's like a one deadly weapon. If you throw that, like, chair weapon thingy, you win, apparently. And I didn't know. And there's no, like, freaking weight classes or anything when it comes down to using that chair. I figured out that pattern and I was like, you know what? Fuck this martial art thing. Get a life. And I just decided to get a life myself instead. I don't know what I'm even saying. But yeah, so that's my life. So, everybody, I've been saying this. If you guys are ever、uh, curious about fighting people, don't do it. Get a chair, throw, throw a chair at them, you win. <laughs> like. <laughs> Seriously, you look for a chair or you look for projectiles. Basically, treat that as like Smash Brothers. Like, that's freaking what my sisters told me. Like, you don't, you don't freaking start like a game of Street Fighter. Like, that never happens, apparently. Like, that's the worst thing you can do. You look for surroundings and you freaking throw things at them. It's like what my freaking sisters told me. And my sisters are like actual people who. Have been doing like, you know,、uh, martial arts for like literally 40 something years. Even they told me like knives and like chairs are better. And I'm like, okay, never mind then. <laughs> so. <sighs> That's why I like chairs. But don't worry, everybody. You will, never get in, you will never get in a situation where like you have to fight somebody in Japan. You just say, oh no, I don't want to fight you. They disappear respectfully. But yeah. So, I was like watching my streams the other day, like where I drive around in Japan, and I kind of wanted to also like do this one thing where I sort of like answer、uh, your questions, everybody. Like, you have a lot of questions about Japan or like me or whatever, right? And while I was driving, I cannot read any comments because I simply cannot physically. It's not like, oh my gosh, I try not to read any comments while driving. That's partially that too, but I cannot physically read comments because my phone's here and the chat is so small. I cannot physically read it. I have to get close to it, so I cannot. But Jules and Pattery Bay can help me、uh, with reading the comments through TTS. So Jules and Pattery Bay, actually, whatever. Pick some one random comment, send it to me. I'll just answer whatever. That's one thing I wanted to do as well. Because right now,、uh, you kind of have to give me a donation to、uh, make me read something, right? And it's such a freaking pay to win. Moment right now, especially when I'm driving, and it's not fair for the people like who cannot win in this like a、uh, pay to win thing, right? So, Jules, p a t t e r b a y just pick whatever and just copy and send it to me. I'll talk about that instead. Because, again, I just want it to be Santa Claus. Like, it's probably not fair for like those uh, 
uh, you know, 11 year olds who are interested in Japan. And I'm not like making fun of 11 year olds. Like, I'm, I'm actually saying this as in like, for the kids who are interested in Japan, who are interested in uh, Japanese culture, whatever, they have to give me money. That kind of sucks, right? I don't want to destroy like their dreams. So. And Pater Bay and uh, Jules, you can send me something random. I will just try to uh, talk about whatever that uh, gets to me through TTS. Anything is fine. Even if it's about like being a virgin or like uh, getting a anime girlfriend, like whatever it's fine. Just copy and send it to me. And I'm thinking about hiring more Are Osaka party people or they're just free spirited? Osaka people, so like, let me just talk about this first, okay? So, I think you guys know what the differences are between like Osaka people and uh, Tokyo people. And uh, I made this one huge mistake on my YouTube channel. I'm actually like thinking about making a video about this, but as a Japanese person I am, I spread, I definitely have spread misinformation so many times like so many times and the biggest mistake ever is actually like this one thing where I said so many times like oh you cannot talk to strangers in Japan or like people in Japan are shy like talking in Japan with like two random strangers is like a bad thing which is true in Tokyo area or like in my area in Osaka it's a whole different different world it's a freaking different world with different mindsets so one thing I have to say is Osaka people are more open-minded. They will, like, talk to random strangers and they don't care who you are. They don't even think about who you are as long as you are hilarious. But the thing is here, then you might think Osaka people are better, right? There are bad stuff and the good stuff both. So in Tokyo, they respect you. They respect your boundary. So like they don't mess with you. They don't even say anything to you. So you feel like it's more safe and you can have your privacy even more, right? In Osaka though, it's more like people will just say whatever to you. They are straightforward. Like it's more like they're more Americans. Like. If they like your shoes, like they will say like, oh, you know what, you, you got some great shoes, bro. And if you suck, they actually tell you like, you suck, bro, which is more like America. So it's not simply like, you know what, Osaka people are better and friendly. It feels like they are more, more open-minded. It's like Osaka is America of Japan, 100%, like 100%. Hello, Sora. And I will thank you so much for the donation. So. They are, they party a lot more 100%, like that's my impression about Osaka people. I'm not really sure, I haven't really lived in Osaka, but they party a lot more than Tokyo people, that's my impression. And they don't care about who you are, whatever, whatever, they care about how hilarious you are, like that's their measurement. Like, if you are not hilarious, you probably don't have human rights. Like, that's what it feels like to me, right? So, if you are, like, a extroverted person who likes to be hilarious, like, Osaka is for you. Like, if you like to talk to people, like, Osaka is definitely for you because you can make fun of yourself and you can laugh at yourself and you can laugh with people, too. That's what Osaka people do, like, Americans. Like, so, I was reading a lot of articles about it uh, the other day. Osaka people legitimately make fun of themselves or like make fun of like others they joke about other people which is sort of like rude but if you cannot laugh at that you suck like they have that mindset so if you ever think it's rude to uh, joke about others or like others up like appearance for example Osaka is not for you Osaka people will like literally freaking come up to you and say like you are bald bro you have no hair and that's supposed to be funny. So you have to go like, <laughs> I'm not Korean, bro. Psh. Sora, your jacket looks cool. Thank you. I actually got this 
for ten dollars at the cheapest place ever, and everybody tells me I look like a tryhard university student who wants girls, but he cannot get girls because this sucks. That's what I used to get from my friends when I first got this about seven years ago. But thank you so much for the donation. I really appreciate that. So that's what Osaka is like,、uh, from what I've read. But I don't live in Osaka, so. I'm not really sure. Okay, I, I I'm not really sure, but that's basically my impression of Osaka, and I see Osaka people like doing that as well in Osaka. And what Osaka people learn first when they come to Tokyo is like how they cannot joke about things because in Tokyo they actually don't do it, so they just like you're kind of rude, bro. In while in Osaka, you're supposed to joke about it as well. Like you're supposed to be funny. Like, so let's say,、uh, like let, let me let me just give you one example. Let's say I'm a Osaka person. I'm an Osaka person, right? And I see an American guy who's eating a hamburger, and I feel like Osaka people might say something like that. They might just go up to the American and say something like, "You eating a burger?"、I'm, are you an American burger eater or something, bro? Why don't you eat a pizza worthy? Which sounds Probably racist as well, but that's their way of being hilarious. I think. I don't know. I, I probably didn't do it wrong, right? But probably, if you're from Osaka, you might still like, get the idea of like what I'm trying to say here. You know how in Osaka, it's sort of like normal to joke about people being bold, people being whatever, and you are supposed to be hilarious about it too. Like, so if somebody tells you something like that, you are supposed to be like, you know what? Wait, no. Did you just call me? Did you just call me Majin Buu? Do you want me to freaking destroy the earth with my Kamehameha, bro? Like that's kind of like what you were supposed to do in Osaka, is what I heard. Well, that's my impression so far. I appreciate your content, bro. I was wondering what Fukuoka is like. Would you ever visit there in future streams? I、uh, I've respect swag samurai. Thank you so much for the donation. I cannot really talk about Fukuoka because I've never been there, but it's the It's the place of yakuza's, right? That's what everybody says. Like, there are so many yakuza's, and there are grenades found at a random place, and there are freaking people fighting. People still live in like 1995, where、uh, if you are good at fighting, you win your life, kind of thing. Like, that culture still exists, is what I see on YouTube, where. People talk about Fukuoka, like on Japanese YouTube. That's what they say. But again, that's just what I learned on YouTube. Like it just could be freaking some BS stuff, which is not true at all. So I, I'm not gonna say anything. I usually try not to、uh, say anything if I'm not 100% sure. So like it's one of those cases. So like I'm gonna just not really say anything. But my impression, it's like Yakuza Town with some technology actually. And people still、uh, stick to the typical, like old-fashioned Japanese、uh, gangsta style, is what I think how it is. I could be wrong about this, but yeah, there's that too. So I don't know, man.、Uh, if you guys are curious about the differences of like Japanese people, come to Japan and go to Osaka and Tokyo and Kyoto. Those three places. They act all so different. It's freaking hilarious. Like Tokyo people are like the standard, most typical Japanese. Kyoto people are kind of mean, <laughs> like actually mean. <laughs> It's my impression. Osaka people are like, "Yo, swag, bro." They actually do it because that's their、uh, life. And I was curious, like, why it's like that in Osaka. Osaka is apparently a place where. <laughs> Everybody was a merchant, right? Like everybody had a store. Everybody was like supposed to sell stuff by themselves. Sora, are you a fanboy? Yes. Thank you so much for the donation. Osaka was a place where everybody was a merchant. Like everybody had a store. Everybody had to be good at talking, so like they can sell things. Like they were supposed to be. Hilarious to get more clients. Like that's what a lot of like Osaka people did, and that's the culture they have, right? They were supposed to be good at talking. They were supposed to be friendly to sell their things, which is kind of like similar to 
what some Americans do, I'm guessing. So it's not really like politeness and anything. It's more that being good at talking, being good at hilarious, so like they can sell things. It's the place of merchants, is what I heard. But it really feels like it's a different country, though, to be fair. Even from my perspective as a Japanese dude, I've been saying like Japanese people are shy, like、uh, you don't talk to strangers in Japan. It was whole different in Osaka. People literally freaking talk to strangers in Osaka and they joke about things. They literally freaking start talking about how bold like people are. And then at the same time, you were supposed to go like, do you think everybody is an octopus or something? Like, you have to come up with like, something like, hilarious. If you cannot do it, then you suck. Like, that's how it is. So, it's even more hardcore in Osaka, like when it comes down to like, insulting others. But it's a part of their like, joke culture, right? So, you cannot say, like, you racist. Because I don't really think people care about being racist. Like, what's not racist? It's all about being hilarious. That's my impression. Or that's even what I think about the people who are watching my stream from Osaka. I met some Osaka people there. Yeah, that's my impression, literally. Like, that's kind of like what they're doing on my channel as well. Like, they want to be hilarious. Like, they only like hilarious stuff. That's my impression. And there are so many comedians from Osaka as well. Like, if you watch comedy shows, like stand up comedy shows and whatever, 90% of the time, they're from Osaka. Thank you so much for the donation. I don't think I'm loved. I'm more like that one monkey at the zoo. So everybody's like watching this to see what a Japanese monkey who thinks anime is a reality can do. Like, that's basically what's happening. You know, like you guys are basically watching this monkey called Sora、uh, with your computers or like、uh, phones, and you guys are like, <laughs> this monkey is talking about anime. <laughs> and then I'm just. Jumping around at the zoo,、uh, going to different places in Japan, aka the Japanese zoo, and everybody just kind of like laughing at me. That's, that's what that is. But thank you so much.、Uh, that's kind of how I see it, and I'm fine with it too, 100%. I don't mind it. I like it actually. I like to get attention. Like, seriously, I've been saying this. I like, I like attention. I like any attention. I want people to notice me. So I'm an attention boy. Anyways,、uh, I just talked about Osaka. So, p a t e r Bay and Jules, if there are any people、uh, saying like whatever questions or like whatever roast about me, let me know through TTS. I will, I will accept applications now. So, Jules and p a t e r Bay, pick one thing that you guys uh, think uh, deserves my attention, send it to me. And I will answer or talk about it on stream because I'm driving and it still takes like 15 minutes more. 5 0.、Uh, so, yeah. And this like samurai village is actually a sam- samurai village. It's not like a theme park or anything. It's something like、uh, one of my viewers like, talked about. And it's apparently actually a place where samurai s lived. And there are samurai s houses still. Now, like, nobody lives. There anymore, but they are still like, how's what the fuck? Bro, that's not swag. But they are, yeah, like sunrise houses, and they are still like streets that have all the Kyoto ish scenery. I don't know, man, but that's basically like where they are trying to still like preserve the culture from like. 2000, not 2000, 1600. But yeah, and p a t e r Bay Jewels,、uh, I'll leave it up to you. Pick one thing that you think deserves the most attention from Sora, and I will laugh it out or joke about it or like answer the question. Sora, what's your weirdest interaction with a watcher? Roger? Wait. Wait, 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 what's my weirdest interaction with what? Can, can you say that? Wait, what was it again? What was it again? Wait, Jules Patterbay, what was it again? 
My interaction with what? Can, can, can you can you send that to me again, Jules Patterbeck? My interaction with what, what was the donation? My weirdest, like Roger, like Roger, like Roger, as in like the food eater, like that that freaking YouTube person. You were that one dude who said like you came to Japan because of Pokemon and Naruto and you were like obviously like trolling, right? <laughs> you were like, oh yeah, I came to Japan because I like Pikachu. Oh yeah, I watched Naruto, but you were like freaking trolling. Yeah, I remember you, yeah. And I kind of agree with you too, though I don't really know much about America. But you were American, right? You said. So now you vouched for me as an American. So I guess like Osaka really is like America in a way. Like, the, the culture there is like so interesting. Like, they don't care about politeness. They just only care about being freaking hilarious. They don't even care about using the polite language either. And by the way, Jill Spider Bay, what was it again? We hear this interaction with what? Well, like, is my TTS broken? If so, Jules, uh, if, if my TTS is like broken, Jules, call me. I'm not gonna like answer that. But that way, I will know it's broken. Maybe it is broken. God damn it. Eh, whatever. Is it actually broken though? If so, I'm gonna actually go to a parking lot and fix it. Let's see. Let me figure out where the parking lot is in the first place. <laughs> yeah, alright. My TTS is broken. Yeah, I'm getting a call from J Jules. You don't have to. You don't. Yeah, that that means that means my TTS is broken. Uh, how do I fix it? A watcher. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the uh, donation. Uh, wait. Should it be fixed now, though, Jules. But thank you so much. So a watcher. The weirdest interaction with a watcher. Hi Sora. Love your channel. Have you been to Okinawa? What's yeah. your perspective of Okinawa? <laughs> you know what, though. Wait. Do you guys actually want me to go to Okinawa on stream? Yes or no? By the way, Jules, I fixed it. Uh, test my TTS again. Test it, test it, test it, test my TTS, test my TTS. Jules. Ah, I fixed it just now, Jules. But so, I'm actually... It's been working then. Alright. So, yeah, but yeah, anyways, so like now TT should be working. But yeah, so uh, the thing is here, um, I'm thinking about going to Okinawa, like for streaming purposes, but going to Okinawa on stream is like a bit hard because I cannot bring my car there, right? I have to rent a car and like... Okinawa is actually one of the places I kind of like as well. So like if I ever go to Okinawa for streaming purposes, I want to meet my friends there too, right? Hey Sora, will you stream in Kyushu in the future? I'll think about that. I have no... I'm not interested in going to Kyushu for streaming purposes. So far, because I don't know like what's interesting about Kyushu for streaming purposes, but thank you. So like, I'm thinking about going to Okinawa on stream, but it's not gonna be like me just streaming the entire day or anything. I wanna be there like for three days. And the, the plan's here. So I want to stream from like, let's say, um, you know, 12 to six for three days, right? And then I wanna meet friends at night kind of thing. Do you guys still like want to see that though? 
like where I just like stream for like seven, like six hours, five hours in Okinawa? If so, maybe I can do it sometime soon in the future. Maybe, maybe. And Jules, is everybody saying yes or Powder Bay? I mean, I'm pretty sure everybody's saying yes. Like nobody's gonna say no to that. Cause that makes no sense. <laughs> that actually makes no sense. <laughs> that actually makes no sense. <laughs> if, if there are people saying like, no, like, you cannot do that. <laughs> that makes no sense. But that, yeah, that's one thing I've been thinking about. Like I might actually do it soon because I figured out the flight. Yeah, that's what I thought, but yeah, I'll probably do it sometime soon in the future, but thank you so much. And uh, the most, the weirdest, the weirdest interaction with a viewer. I don't know, man, the thing about it is like, I really cannot think of anything because I out weird my viewers. Like, I don't think there, there are any people that can out weird me out there on my channel. Like, it's impossible. I weird people show up. They feel cringe. So I wouldn't say there were like any weird interactions. But... Because you're probably like freaking or sending the messages to like each other or something. I don't know, man. Like, that's my freaking guess. Because you were talking to Pater Bay on Discord and you just like sent the messages to like Discord and that didn't work. Yeah, of course. Probably. Said, I mean, I, I know I, it's usually the case when Jules is like uh, embarrassed of something. It's usually like, oh my gosh, I, I don't know how uh, apps work. <laughs> <laughs> It's usually that, but thank you so much. The weirdest interaction, I'm thinking of something, but like, do you guys know uh, this, like, there's like this one YouTuber who had a female stalker for seven years, and I, uh, this female stalker, I uh, sent, what is that even called again in English? The application to get married, basically, you just like have to send that to the city council, so you get married. You know what I mean? So this one girl stalker apparently wrote it herself and sent it to the city council and this YouTuber was married without knowing about it. Like that was a thing. That blew up. Yes. We should find a funny female Japanese streamer and ask her to join Sora on a long drive and enjoy watch them make each other laugh the whole way. A girl streamer? Oh wait. Talk about it later, cause I can talk about something. I, I'm gonna. Just, I got a story that can probably get you hyped up for a bit. Like, but yeah. So, uh, what is called? What is it called again? The marriage certificate, marriage application. Fuck. I cannot like freaking uh, come up with the right word for that. But so like, there's like this Japanese streamer called uh, Marble or something. He has some hardcore female fans. I guess like he's an idol kind of person. And there's like this girl fan of his channel. And this girl fan apparently in real life. And she's she has like this interesting parasocial relationship going on. Uh even when they never had a conversation. It was like a one-way conversation. She basically talked at him on stream and he never really read her comments or anything but there was this personal show relationship going on so she thought uh, she was dating him which I think is freaking hilarious and then she wanted to take it to the next level she basically uh, got a paper like application thing you have to send it to the city council to get married right I think it's called a marriage certificate I cannot remember the word, but and she decided to fill in the paper herself, and then she wrote her information on the paper, and what she did was like she somehow got the information of the streamer as well, so like she wrote down everything herself, like 
the guy's name, the guy's address, the guy's father and mother, for whatever reason. I don't still, like, know how she got the information, but, like, somehow she got everything. And then she brought that paper to the city council. They accepted it. So he got married without even knowing about it. Like, this actually blew up. Like, this is something, like, people have been talking about on the internet. And so the guy made a Twitter post recently saying, like, I was married to this girl without knowing. And what the fuck? What the fuck is that car? Dude, 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 what the fuck is that car? Dude, dude, what the fuck is... How is it... How is it legal, bro? Anyways, I wanted to stalk the car, but... I don't know how it's legal, but... Anyways. So, the guy was married to, like, this girl without knowing. And... I, the thing is here. Uh, you can get divorced, right? Or like you can reject the thing, right? Obviously, but for whatever reason, he went to the city council and the people who work at the city council basically told him like, oh, you cannot turn down the application for six months. So he was like, wait, what? Like, I didn't know about this. Like, how... How can I not turn down an application? Like, I didn't even write it myself. But they were like, the people who work at the city council were like, uh, well, yeah, we can still, like, not do it for six months. So he has to wait for six months, and then he can get divorced, I guess. <laughs> so, <laughs> he'll stay married to the girl uh, without knowing who she really is. And... Yeah, so now it's blowing up in Japan. Everybody is like talking about it. Like lawyers are talking about it. All the celebrities are, celebrities are talking about it because it's obviously a crime as well. By the way, it is obviously a crime. So like she is currently in court for the most obvious reason. But the thing is, now it's kind of blowing up because the city council cannot turn down the paper as well. They didn't really check anything either. It's like what. They said, but I don't really know how the system works. So there's that too. But that's just kind of like one unfortunate situation. And I don't really think you can do that without knowing the guy's address. But somehow the girl knows about his address as well. So, like, I don't know what even happened. But either way, basically, it's like a next level troll uh, incident, but in real life. Uh, let me talk about the, uh, the donation I just got. Uh, what was the donation about again? Uh, like, uh, get a car. No, get a girl to be in the car or something, right? Wait, the jewels. Was that, was it, was it, was it like that? Was it what the donator told me? Get a car, get a girl in a car and sh stream or something. Was it what he said? What well, jewels matter, right? Like, TTS people. Gerald Spider Bay and Alphas, Alphas, I want to include you in a TTS group too. If you are here, by the way, Alphas. Was it what the don donator said? Get a girl in a car. Oh, what was it? What was it? Gerald Spider Bay, um. Are you, are you guys like sending messages to each other again? Not in the server? Is it what's happening again? Because I feel like that's what's happening here. <laughs> or, or there are some technical difficulties going on. Yeah, so uh, the thing is here. Somebody messaged me. Uh, there's like a, this. I want to say huge. Like a huge YouTuber. She's not like a Japanese YouTuber or anything. She is a YouTuber that does content for the people outside of Japan. So kind of like my channel, but more decent. She doesn't talk about pee pee poo poo. Or like big pussy, whatever, right? So she's like a decent person. And she streams as well, as far as I know. And uh, <laughs> let me tell you something hilarious. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? So like, the thing is here. So, we kind of, it's not we, I'm not going to really spoil that, but, so I was like streaming a while ago, and I found her, I found her in Harajuku, so like, 
she was like, oh, it's you, Sora, I know about you. And I knew about her as well, because, like, she's kind of, like, famous. So I went up to her, and I was like, hey, uh, I like what you do. And she was like, oh, do you want to be on my channel? And I was like, really? So she interviewed me, actually, and I was on her channel. Like, there's, like, a video of me talking about whatever stuff on her channel. I'm not going to say who that is yet. But, yeah, so that happened, and then she was like, that channel is actually not her channel. I think, like, there's a team behind it, too. And, um... Can you do a video of stereotypical Japanese from each region or city? I'm thinking about that, yeah. I'm thinking about that. I just didn't think people are that different. Like, between Osaka and Kyoto and Tokyo. Other than that, I, f- I feel like people are all the same everywhere. And thank you so much for the donation. For whatever reason, that guy... That, sh- that, that donation got cancelled. For whatever reason. Uh, J- Jules, can you send it to me again? Because... The TTS thinks it has the word fuck or something. So, let me get back to the, uh, let me get back to what I was talking about. So the girl noticed me, we did a video together, and then the lady was like, should I say the girl? The girl said something like, hey, uh, do you want to do a collab again sometime in the future? And I was like, yeah, sure. And then, uh, they were like, should I say she, she messaged me. She sent me an email. She was like, hey, it's me. If you are interested in doing a collab still, like, let me know. And I was like, oh, yeah, I'm interested in doing a collab. I replied to her. I was like, yeah, let's do a collab again. You know what happened? I got ghosted. <laughs> That's freaking, like, two years ago, though. That's two years ago. I got, I got, I got ghosted. I was like, what the fuck? I was like, dude, what the fuck? I met her in real life. And she told me, like, you know, uh, she's interested in doing a club. And she messaged me. I replied to her. I got ghosted. And I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> so that happened, right? And uh, Jules Pater Bay, uh, s- send me the, uh, the donation. Uh, that donation. That just got canceled, if you can. And then... Jules. I don't, I don't know who that is. But thank you so much for the donation. Yeah, probably the name got cancelled. But thank you so much. So, uh, to explain it short, she messaged me. I replied to her saying like, hey, let's do a club. And she ghosted me, <laughs> right? And that was that. That was that. That was that. And I was like, okay, I mean, that's fine. Because that happens a lot, actually. It freaking happens a lot. It's not really like a... It's not really like what happens with her. Like with her and me it happens with everybody like a lot of people do it I don't do it I usually just try to still like reply to people but that happens a lot so I was like okay so it's one of those things it's usually because of like their schedule or like uh, you know they have like a team so like they have to be extremely careful about what to do what not to do and kind of stuff and then I actually got a message from her two days ago I think again so then she basically told me like oh uh, you know what uh, it's me again. Uh, this time, like, I have more freedom. So, like, if you are interested in doing a club, let me know. And I was like, oh, yeah, definitely. I'm interested in doing doing a club with you. I usually say yes to any offers if I knew about them already. Like, Takashi, for example, Jaku Song, too. I knew about them. So, like, when they offered a collaboration, I said yes. So, the same goes for her as well. And then I was like, yeah, sure, uh, let's do a collab. And I replied to her, I got ghosted again, let's go! <laughs> do, do I smell? Wait, everybody, do I smell or something? Wait, do, do I just... Like, do I smell? Sora gets asked to do collab. Response, gets ghosted. Yeah, like, what the fuck? Do I smell or something? <laughs> Do I smell or something? I don't know, man. Like, that happened twice. But I'm 100% sure she just kind of busy. Like, she just didn't see the email. That's my guess. Or she's still, like, going through a lot of, like, different things because she has a team, right? It's not like me where I just do things by myself. So I don't really know what the situation is like. I know, like, there are a lot of things going on. Or uh, she probably felt the cringe from the king of cringe. So she just went, like... Sora's cringe. 
I'm gonna block him. <laughs> Cringe. And then I got ghosted. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I must be the only person who gets ghosted when I reply to them. <laughs> what the fuck? I, I thought ghosting only happens when you send a when you send a message to somebody first and then you get ghosted. But like I get ghosted for replying. What the? <laughs> Maybe I smell everybody. Maybe I smell. I stink. I'm gonna take a shower even more. I currently take a shower at least like twice a day now. At least twice a day. In the morning, at night, twice at least. But yeah, I'm gonna take a shower even more. Who is that though? I don't think it's possible in Japan. Is it really possible in Japan? Probably it's possible. Never mind. Fork. But yeah, that's the story. So like, I uh, what I wanted to say is here. Uh, she's interested in doing a collab with me, so I asked her if she wanted to stream with me for a bit, kind of like how I did with like Takashi and Jaku song. And then like I'm gonna just ask you questions. In a video, so it's it's like a stream and a video again. So if you are interested in that, let me know and let me know when you're uh, available and maybe we can work on that. And then she got she she goes to me, but <laughs> she could be just busy too, right? So yeah, that might actually happen. Like I'm not gonna really, uh, you know, get her to be my car and just drive away or anything because I don't really feel like I should do that in the first place. But yeah, so like what I just wanted to say was like uh, there's a potential collaboration coming up soon, if possible, if I don't get ghosted anymore. <laughs> so yeah, look forward to it. And by the way, we'll be in the Samurai Village in 30 minutes. We'll be there soon, everybody. You getting swagged up, everybody? All right, so let's do the question time for all the uh, beloved... Um, Puppies, that, that works the best. All right, uh, Geo's Powder Bay, pick one comment that deserves the most attention and send it to me. Like any questions, any roast, anything's fine. I'm gonna just talk about it for a little bit. Whatever is fine, just pick one comment, Geo's Powder Bay, and just send it to me. I will just talk about that. And make sure to like send it to me actually, don't send it to each other. Like, I know you guys are doing it now. I know you guys are freaking talking to each other and stuff too, but don't, don't do it now, okay? Like, you, you, you actually have to send it to me instead in the server, in the TTS server, in the server where you see things. Now send it to me. Oh, I'm, by the way, I'm, I'm thinking about going to India in Japan too, again. Like, freaking everybody talks about India on my channel. Like, that's one of the, uh, one of the things I want to do now. I go, go into India, finally. <laughs> finally, yo. I'm going to India. I called it. I called it. I talked about India already. I called it. I literally was freaking talking about India and now that showed up, I called it. What the fork is going on? My sisters. Brethren, and neither in. Are you drinking your water? Are you winning your swag? Also, hi Sora. You princess daddy twink senpai. Thank you so much for the donation. I really appreciate it. Did you just call me a twink? Speaking of that, twink. Can I make fun of somebody? Uh, I need your permission. Can I? Wait, if everybody says yes, I'm gonna just make fun of something really quick. <laughs> Are you Indian too, Jules? I thought you were American. I didn't know you were you were also like Indian too. Why does everybody freaking want me to talk about India suddenly? Like in 2024. But yeah, so let me just make fun of somebody or like something, okay? It's not really like I'm gonna make fun of that. It's just something that I thought was the funniest thing ever. Cause Asta, you mentioned Twink. And uh, 
when it comes down to twink, do, do you guys know what a twink is, by the way? Everybody, yes or no? Tell me. So, say yes or no. Do you guys know what a twink is? And Jules, let me know if everybody, if everybody knows what a twink is or not. Do you guys know what a twink is? From South Philadelphia, showing love. Thank you so much for the donation. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate that. I, I'm going to America soon too, so just in case, I'm just letting you know. So does everybody know what a twink is, Jules, Petter Bay? Like if nobody knows what that is, I have to explain what a twink is first, right? Then I can talk about that, because I think it's like, it's going to be freaking something hilarious. Do Jules, Petter Bay, do, do they know what a twink is? Well, is it like a 60 person yes kind of thing? All right, sure. So I don't know much about that either, honestly, but I'm gonna just talk about what I know, okay? And if you guys wanna know about it more, ask my viewers or just Google it yourself, okay? So my impression about a twink is like when you're, I think it's like what you say to describe a guy, gay person who is thin? Did I get that right? Like a guy, gay person, like who's thin? Did I get that right? That's what I know. I could be wrong about this. I feel like that's what a twink is. I think, I think. Did I get that right? But anyways, so the, uh, to give you like an idea. Okay, okay, so that, that, that. Pattern, Pattern Bay knows about it more. But apparently like that's just that, right? And uh, so that's a twink. I think. I could be wrong about this. I didn't know about it, but... Uh, do you guys know this one VTuber called uh, Rin Kakshaku, or like Kakshaku Rin? She is a friend of mine that I met on YouTube. I don't really talk to her that much. Like, a lot of people freaking think, like, we are buddies or nothing, but, like, we don't really talk that much. It's just, like, we became friends on YouTube and we did collabs on the surface level, so like everybody thinks like we are together well, well, like 24-7 but in reality, I don't talk to Reason that much it's just like, everybody knows about the friendship we have on YouTube because we are on YouTube, right? anyways, so like, Reason is now a freelance VTuber she does everything by herself I helped her before because she basically asked me to help her channel before because she wanted to be huge, right? and then she was like she used to belong to this agency called Twinkle Colors, right? Twinkle Colors, like Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star, like that Twinkle, right? And uh, she used to belong to this agency, but she didn't want to belong to the agency. She wanted to do everything by herself because there were a lot of things she couldn't do by herself, right? Sora, Nietzsche said he's going to ban me. Crush his bottle for me. Are you guys like freaking flirting again or something? But thank you so much for the donation. Let me rephrase it again. Uh, so she wanted to leave the agency. Like that was like freaking two years ago. Uh, because she couldn't do what she wanted to do. If she was still like in the agency. So she decided to leave the agency. Right? And that, that the agency she belongs to was called Twinkle Colors. And it's a Japanese agency. Japanese VTuber agency. To put it simply so this japanese agency called twinkle colors unfortunate unfortunately has a twitter account called twink co and i thought that was the thing ever so twinkle colors is basically what their agency is called and then they just want it to sound cool by shortening the agency name a little bit kind of like you know how you just call yourself like Becky instead of like Rebecca right and then that was like their way to make their agency name sound cool you can actually check it if you find their Twitter account their Twitter account is literally called Twink CO and I was like Then I am, okay. 
I didn't know that, but thank you so much. So I'm a twink, I guess. But yeah, so what I wanted to say again here,、uh, that agency, unfortunately, became an agency for gay, thin people, and I thought that was the best thing I saw in 2024 because I just noticed it recently. I kind of just laughed at that thing for 20 minutes the other day. Because I randomly figured out it was called Twink CEO, like Twink Company basically. So, yeah, I thought it was amazing. I just wanted to share the hilariousness with everybody here because nothing gets better than that. I was like, what the fuck? Like, actually, what the fuck? By the way, we'll be there soon in 20 minutes. We have to find a parking lot too, though. But yeah, I have to talk about India too. What do I think about India? I don't know. I've never been there. Have I ever farted in India? That was the question, right? I've never farted in India. I've never been there. I wanna go to India again, like to see what it's really like. Like, I don't. You guys freaking say something like, no, <laughs> stay in Japan. Japan's better. But the thing is, I wanna go to every country. I wanna see the world. So, I wanna go to India too. So, instead, you know what? Everybody freaking talks about India on my channel. Even though. It's a Japanese person traveling in Japan. That's kind of like the theme of like my channel, but everybody just goes like, no, don't ignore India. Sure, I'll go to India in Japan. How's that? Are you guys interested in that? Yes or no? Well, Jules, is everybody saying yes or no? Tell me. Do you guys actually want me to go to India in Tokyo? Because there's one, and I kind of went there before. But if you guys are still interested in that thing, sure, why not? Are you guys interested? Me going to India. In Tokyo. Like, this is actually India in Tokyo. Like, little India. I went there before, but then I can talk about India. Or, like, I can say, like, oh, I'm in India. Because that's basically what India is like, apparently. Little India. With, like, some Japanization going on. Is everybody saying yes, Pater Bay, Jules? Team TT, yes? So, you guys really want me to talk about India? That's amazing. Like, what? <laughs> sure. I mean, I will talk about India. I'll probably do it sometime soon in the future. Like, it's not gonna be anything hilarious, but like, you guys want me to do it, right? Sure. Fuck! Is it here? Also, that reminds me of a rule I saw in a bathroom one time. If you sprinkle when you tinkle, please be neat and wipe the seat. Good advice to live by. Thank you so much for a donation.、Uh, I really appreciate it, too, by the way. Thank you so much. Wait, let me actually pay attention to like, this、uh, pay attention to, like, this freaking turn here. It's some like, initial D stuff. What the f? But there are a lot of like, hilarious translations in Japan, especially like, when you go to the bathroom. They were like、uh, this one time when I went to some like a random bathroom in Japan, in Tokyo. There was like this sign that literally said something like, Don't throw away babies. I still like don't know what that was. Sorry, you look like Otani san with this longer hair. Like Otani san? Like Shohei Otani? If you mean that, I don't think so. If you mean something else, what are you, wait, what, what, who, who's that character? I, I know you were ta talking about anime or something. I'm not Entirely, but I just wanted to make sure if that's what I was thinking about. All right, so next question time. All right, Team TTS, p a t e r b a y Jewels,、uh, pick whatever comment that deserves the most attention and send it to me. Everybody, so like I've been doing this thing where I still like want to react to some of the、uh, comments while driving, but I cannot read any comments. So if you say something, Team TTS, like p a t e r b a y Jewels, will choose the most. Attention worthy comment, and they will send it to me so I can hear that while driving, and then I can probably talk about it.、Yeah. Team TTS, pick the one, pick that one comment that deserves the most attention. Like anything's fine, and just send it to me. And then I will talk about it. It can be just a question, or a roast, or about Jules being a MILF. Being a hot MILF, being a hot anime girl. <laughs> Happy birthday, Michi san. 
Oh yeah, it's Michi's birthday. Yeah, he was freaking talking about it too. Yeah, and Michi just uploaded a video too on his channel. Not on that channel. Search Tsurada Troll Michi, and you can actually find a channel where he's like doing whatever stuff. And the thing is, like here, I watched his latest video too. It was about math. <laughs> I was like, let's go. <laughs> this dude <laughs> uploaded a video about math. <laughs> Material's battery bay, just pick one random thing. And anything is fine, like, just whatever random is fine. Like, it can be just something, like, actually random. I will still, like, just talk about it. Because I still, like, wanted to give some attention to, like, random, uh, you know, chatters out there. Including some, you know, 11-year-old kids. Because I don't want to get donations from, like, 11-year-old kids. But that's, like, a way to read, you know, comments from them. What ending? Wait, the Pato Bay, can you say that again? Wait, so so in a free run? If you mean that, if you mean anime, I don't know man. What wait, did you really ask me what I think about the ending of like some certain anime or something? But why did you assume I watch anime? What the fuck? Like oh and by the way <laughs> I wanna talk about free run the anime. Yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah, free run, yeah, it's anime, it's anime. Yeah, so 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 no free runs like one anime everybody's been watching. I hear that like title everywhere or name. I still haven't seen it yet, but that's one anime everybody talks about in Japan. And if you don't know what that is, you are not a human being. Like I feel like that's the impression. So I still don't know what that is. I've never watched it. I'm not gonna probably watch it either because I don't really watch things that much. But yeah, I didn't know the anime ended already. Wow, that's freaking fast. I really thought the anime is gonna freaking last a bit more than that. With the population, not population, popularity it has right now. And uh, wait, by the way, 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 I wanted to talk about something. I recently met a true Naruto fan who doesn't watch Naruto the other day. Let me talk about this later. Happy birthday, Michi the Potato Daddy. I was serious about the traffic cone thing rolling on the floor laughing. Did, did you just call Michi Daddy? So that's Asta, 100%. So Asta calling Michi Daddy Did you have things in your word? Like crotch and stuff? Or am I being stupid? I'm not really sure. Because I don't really call people daddy, mommy. <laughs> what the fuck? Can't wait to greet you personally with Konichi World. Oh, if you, if you are in Japan, let me know. I'll just let you uh, stream snipe you. I mean, let you stream snipe me today because I got no plans as to like what I'm gonna do today. I'm going to this samurai village today, but after that, I got no plans. If you wanna stream snipe me, let me know, okay? Let me know. I'm gonna let you stream snipe me. And uh, the thing is here, uh, are there any stream snipers today though? If if there are any, let me know. Like, let me know where you are in. Like, you don't have to say like, oh, I'm at this station. But just say like, oh, I'm in this prefecture. And I'm actually going to Saitama today too. And if you want to snipe me, let me know. I'll probably wait for you. Or I will counter snipe you. That's one thing I want to do. I want to get noticed. Like, I, I get happy when I get noticed. I was actually walking around the other day. I got noticed by like freaking four people randomly and I was happy about it too. I took pictures with them. I talked about anime with them. They figured out I don't watch anime. They freaking started laughing. That's my usual uh, conversation. But anyways, I 
the other day, I met a true Naruto fan that doesn't watch Naruto, like me. And he drew this most, this like freaking amazing Naruto art for me. I'm gonna share that with everybody later. I, I know what Freerun is. Like, I know it's like about a magical anime girl like, who travels or something. I don't really know. But that's what I know about Freerun. I mean, Freerun. I freaking just Asian. Freerun. <laughs> but yeah, I'm Asian, everybody. And I just Asian. Right, time to get back to the uh, same usual. Uh, let's give attention to other chatters. Battery Bay Jewels, Team TTS, pick one comment that deserves some attention. Like anything's fine, just random comment. Anything random. Any question. Anything. But I think it's safe to pick a comment that ends with a question mark, usually. Or like, if it's a legitimate question, I feel like it's worth reading it. More than like other, what do you think about my ass questions, if that makes any sense. Because I do want to talk about somebody's asses, I mean people's asses, on my channel. I kind of do, but still. And we'll be there in 14 minutes. No. What? Are Jules and Asta roommates? <laughs> you know how that works. It's not me. Like, did you actually think I'm Google or something? Like, I feel like you think I'm Chat GPT four or like Google or something. Like, <laughs> it's not like where you freaking get the most random answers because I answer anything. I'm not Google. I'm not Chat GPT four. Uh, I tried it before. What's up, Jay? We are going to the uh, Samurai Village, by the way. We will be there in 10 minutes. So, uh, I tried to have a mustache. Should I though? Should I? Do you think every... Wait, do you guys actually think I should have one or no? Yes or no, tell me, everybody. And Jules, let me know if everybody's saying yes or no. I don't think I should. I don't think it's worth it, but yeah. And I think I'm in the area, 10 kilometers away. And the freaking toll fees around here is like so expensive, yo. Yeah, we're gonna be there soon. Is everybody saying yes or no? Yes, I agree with what you said too. Thank you so much for the donation. I definitely eat a lot of Skibidi, Skibidi, Gaia, Ohio, Riz, Lux, Maxon, whatever stuff that's out there. I... So, all the people saying yes are the ones who are kind of trolling and saying like, Do it bro! Why don't you look like a uh, Sanji Senpai from One Piece? <laughs> and by the way, he's called Sunny in English, <laughs> right? Uh, if I have to talk about it seriously, I'm not gonna do it, and I don't think I want to do it. But yeah. If you'll be in Tokyo in the evening, I can call you cringe. I think Akihabara or Shibuya would allow others to meet you too. Maybe, yeah. Shibuya might work better. Let's see. But let's see. Let, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. No promises so far. I'm just asking for, like, your opinions, everybody. If there are any, like, stream snipers, that would be great, too. But let's see. Because the point of, like, this stream so far is to go to that samurai village. But let, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. If I still, like, feel like doing more stuff in this stream, yeah, sure. I will go to Shibuya probably. Shibuya. After six. Because Shibuya has this parking lot. That's suddenly cheap after six, as far as I know. And our camera's not Jules that fun. Said, okay, chat has agreed that you should grow 50% of a mustache. Now you guys are trolling. Wait, 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 what is the car? What is the car? 
What is this car? Wait, wait. What is this car? Is that like an Iron Man? Wait, what? What? Wait, what is this car? Wait, do you guys know what that car is? Wait, what is that car? Like, actually. Well, let me let me get get closer to the car. What's that car? This freaking looks like it's owned by Superman or something, or even Iron Man, or should I say, Batman? Is it expensive or something? Well, what is this? Eh, who cares? But yeah, as to the mustache thing, I'm not gonna do it because everybody, let me tell you something. I did that for a video once before. You know what happened to me? Everybody thought I was Hanzo from like Overwatch. And I, I don't know if I was flattered by it or not. So yeah, I'm not gonna do it anymore. I mean, I can be Hanzo. I'm still like Japanese. Some people think I'm trying to be Genji, Hanzo. I'm trying to be an anime character. I'm trying to sound Japanese to be that one Japanese character from like whatever anime out there. But yeah, I still don't want to grow a mustache. I'm not gonna do it. I mean, I might do it for like a meme purpose for a stream, but everybody will just freaking giggle at me for 10 seconds, like, <laughs> and then nothing will happen after that. So I'm not gonna do it. Like, Yeah, I know, I know. I'm not gonna do it, but thank you so much for the donation. And we'll be there in 10 minutes. We just have to find a parking lot. That's literally here, Kawagoe. And I heard they are still like actually... Unless you grow it long like an old wise Asian. I'm 32 and I'm Asian, which means I'm like... Physically, I'm still at the age of 14. So I cannot do that. But thank you so much for the donation. Which means I shouldn't do it, right? But yeah, this is it. And I heard there are still like people who are freaking wearing like samurai things here. I, I read a lot of like articles about this place. And this place gets crowded. Well, let's see. I heard there are still like traditional like places. There are still like houses of like this samurai, that samurai, uh, my ass. Like all those, not my ass. But yeah, let's see. Yeah, it's this city. We have to find a parking lot. Oh, this guy's practicing! Yo! Swag, bro, you practicing, bro? Bro, 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 swag, yo! You showing your butt? What happened? That car was a Corvette C7 made by Chevy BTW. That, isn't that kind of... No, that's not expensive, right? That's not expensive. That It's kind of like more towards the swaggy side, right? In Japan, right? And isn't that supposed to be like Riz, swag, fire car? Like, am I being stupid? Maybe not in, in the States, but in Japan kind of thing. That's what I heard. Like, in Japan, that's swag, but in, in the States, like, in the West, it's not, is what I heard. Eh, I don't know, man. Uh, let's see. Two kilometers away. So far, this is not really, like, anything samurai. Like, there's, like, nothing freaking crazy going on. It's this city. This is exactly like freaking Tokyo. Like where I live, Ichihara. Ichihara is like literally like this. Wait, is it really like a freaking place for tourists? No swag. 
Thank you. Yeah, that's what I thought. Actually, I mean that car was not swaggy. Even I can tell. Yeah, but it's just something like I never seen in Japan. Now I can read stuff. Red eye, uh, red light. Accept everything the way it is. I've been cowboy just once at that time because I didn't bring enough money. I just walked around and went home. Is it that crazy around here? Because like a lot of people recommended me to just come here because everybody was like, you know what, that place is so fire, bro. And I was like, okay. And then like they are still like, they still like do the daimyo gyoretsu thing, like that daimyo like shoguns, like. Uh, a parade thing. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? I heard it's a, it's still a thing. Like they still do it. Or maybe I'm freaking tripping. Maybe I freaking came to this dimension from like the third dimension or something. I don't know, man. But that's what I heard. So I'm kind of hyped too. But at the same time, I don't know how real that is. And especially if you come here on weekends, things get wild. Is what I heard. And that's exactly why I decided to come here on Saturday, right? Fuck! Sorry, I was trying super hard. I didn't want to turn right here. Yeah, like... Is it here? Fuck! Fork! Oh yeah, the scenery changed suddenly. Okay, now I see it. Now I see it, now I see it. I can either turn here or like turn there. Oh, still I have to walk, right? Now I can see comments here. Red light. My car is not moving. ムサシ君の宮本もらえ、え、宮本ってここなんすかえ、待って、え、山本さん、宮本ってカワゴイっすか合ってますえ、宮本ってここ It is... no, it's not here, is it? Oh, it's there. I'm looking for a parking lot now. No one uses swag anymore. Please stop cooking folded hands. Yes. Swag is like... You know, like, there's a, did this one thing we've been saying on my channel. Make swag great again. There's an archery school near me. So I often see girls wearing traditional archery outfits and walking around with bows. Yeah, that's a thing like for a lot of like high schoolers too. Like even my high school, it was like that too. Yeah, no thank you so much. Only 12 million yen equivalent for the C7. The most affordable yet powerful sports car. That's... The Z06 package will outrun police, helicopters. That's actually freaking some swaggy car, yo. But yeah. Uh, on this channel, uh, it's actually a thing. Make swag great again. Like, everybody's, like, actually freaking trying so hard to, like, make swag great again. Because it's so cringe. <laughs> and my channel is just full of cringe. Like, there's, like, nothing freaking decent about my channel. It's full, full of cringe and nothingness. So, yeah, it's a thing. Unfortunately, it's my channel. Is that the parking lot? How much is it? 1,000 yen? No. 1,000? No. I, I wanna I wanna look for a cheaper parking lot. How was that one? How was it? Please be cheaper. Please be cheaper. Eight hundred doable. Yeah, doable. But there should be like cheaper ones. All right, that eight hundred. Everybody remember. Okay, eight hundred, eight hundred, eight hundred. And there's a spot open. Okay, there should be cheaper ones. This is not really like anything like samurai yet. Am I supposed to like stop or what? Fuck. Mm -hmm. 
Also, 800 is the cheapest around here. Which means... No, you know what? I'm gonna turn here. I'm not gonna park here. I'm gonna turn here and park my car. Oh, look at the house. There's a freaking like person with the power of like plants living here. I'm not gonna park here. I'm gonna just go back to that parking lot because that's probably like the cheapest parking lot. And I might have to ask you guys for like your recommendations as to like where to where to visit in Kawagoe. Fuck, I cannot go that way. back to that parking lot. No. No, 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 no. Oh, there's a freaking Indian restaurant here. Let's go. Do you guys want to go to the Indian restaurant? I refuse to stop cooking swag. I wasn't made by swag. I was molded by it. I took a con show to the bottle for it. Thank you so much for the donation. Fuck, that's not good. There's a car coming like from that way too. What do I do? 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 Is he is he freaking turning? Oh yeah, he's turning left. Which means Are those people like all sunrise or something? Like are they gonna freaking like cut my head or something? Cut my head off for existing? Dude, that's wait, that's a jackpot. The cheapest parking lot ever. Probably it's full. Is it full? It is full. Fuck. Is it full? Can I still park? Can I still park? That's cheap, yo. I want to turn right, but there are freaking so many cars coming. Like, that parking lot, it's so cheap. Not chill. Cheap. That's like actually the cheapest parking lot ever in this city, probably. But I don't know if I can park there or not, so I'm not gonna go just go there. I'm gonna find better ones. Because I don't wanna be that one tourist. And everybody forgets that I'm actually a tourist here too. I'm not a local. Please don't, please don't, please don't. I'm gonna turn right here. Is there a parking lot here? Now I can read comments. Red light. Gay ninja. What? Everybody forgets that I'm a tourist too, by the way. Like, you know how I went to Osaka and Kyoto and stuff? And some people like asking me something like, Hey, can I still go to Kyoto as a tourist? I'm like, I'm a tourist too. Can we get you to stay RT freestyling raps in Japanese? Can we get you? Ah. Uh... Omae no ka chan maji de beso. Ore wa nani mo itte mo maji de kuso. Ore ni kate eru yatsu wa dare mo inai. Naze ka to iu to omae unchi kusai. You know, ore wa maji unko. Chou dekai gurai maji de kanashii. この俺みたいなうんちのスキル Pussy and shit. Because that's what you do. Like when you rap. So. No, that's not fire. That's not fire. That is not actually fire. It's. You think that's fire because you don't know what I just said. You. 
Dude, dude, you know how some Japanese people literally go like, <laughs> that <laughs> music is so cool when the song is about literally like playing with like Bonnie the dinosaur, or, like owning a Barbie doll or something in English. That's literally what I just did. It's not fire, it's not. It's silly. It's just literally like that's what that was. So there's like no fire going on. It's just freaking full of st stupidity. Okay, it's this or that. Is that is that parking lot full? It's open still. Let's go. I can park here finally. All right, let's just park here, since it's only six hundred. I mean eight hundred, which is awesome, because it's usually more expensive than that. And let's just go to the. Uh, Sunrise houses while talking about Naruto. Did you just rap about your mom being stinky and you like poo? No. I talked about nothing. Like, I, I'm gonna park here. But thank you so much for the donation either way. Uh, let's go to the uh, main area, Kawagoe City, and let's see what I'm really supposed to do in this town, okay? I still like don't see anything, Sunrise, ew, thank you so much for the donation. Park, park like a gangster. I parked like a Japanese dude. <laughs> like, in reality, I parked like a Japanese dude. That's kind of sad. Shut up, it's fire. It was not fire. Do you want me to do it again? Yeah, I know. Orega大好きなのはマジうんち。サンチャンネル毎日見てる。サンチャンネルは教育テレビ。千葉テレビじゃなくて教育テレビ。お母さんと一緒に見るうんちのものがたり。それでもかっこいいとか言ってるのマジ
あっていうかあの山本さんここって宮本武蔵なんですか Like, there's apparently like a place for an actual famous samurai. I don't know if I'm getting trolled here or not. Dude, you can freaking. Dude, look at that, look at that, look at that. That's, that's insane, yo. That's insane, yo. There's an apartment room only for some m o n g which is like $200 a month. How is this place freaking cheap? 
Uh, I do understand what that means, unfortunately. I am familiar with the uh, teenager, like, memes. Axe Saber, thank you. Water will snack or money. Thank you so much. I'm gonna probably just buy some water later. So I'm actually uh, familiar with all the modern memes and like all the Scooby-Dee, whatever stuff too, because like I'm a YouTuber myself. And some people freaking spam the same thing everywhere too on my channel. So I know what that is. But I kind of decided to give up on reading that because, yeah. Jane Z jokes. Yeah, I actually know what the, those are, unfortunately. <laughs> so, <laughs> just a skibidi second, yeah, because, you know, that's my life. What the fuck is this freaking place? What the fuck is this freaking place? Wait, do I get to the other side of the station? Curse to forever know what Gaia and Skibidi Toilet without being able to pronounce it. Gaia, Skibidi Toilet. Yes. Dude, I, get, I actually get that question from like everybody on my channel. Do you know what Skibidi is? Do, do, do you watch it? Mm. I first learned it like about six months ago. That was awesome. Teach us another Japanese meme like Pocahontas Garu. Uh, thank you, Miss Road. So, Pocahontas Garu is, uh, you guys don't know what that is, right? It's basically a girl, like, who's trying to be, like, American. Like, basically, American wannabes in Japan are called, like, Pocahontas Garu. <laughs> it's not even a meme, it's actually just a reality. So... But, another meme. I mean, there's, like, Chigyu, right? Chizugyudon. What else? I'll talk about it like once I know like some specific memes. Should I get to the other side of the side of the station? Which means I have to freaking uh, cross the bridge here. What do they do? Pocahontas Uh you guys know like the movie, right? Pocahontas? I don't even know if I said that right or not. But like basically you know how there's like a this girl in that movie, right? So uh, in Japan, uh, people have been saying like all the Japanese girls that look like that are the ones who somehow want to be American and then <laughs> they try to speak English and they try to act American to get extra riz but they are being the laughingstock of the internet like basically that's what that is so it's like counter weeb you know how you guys freaking have weebs but in japan we have america american wannabes and po po pocahontas garu is like you know what some girls do in japan where they say oh i want to be a cook in the future like i'll i want to be a cook in the future i actually saw a girl like that so there was actually a pocahontas girl Pocahontas Garu, when I was back in university, she went to America for a month and then she came back to Japan. She somehow forgot Japanese. <laughs> it was the best person, like she was the best person ever. She went to America to study English when I was like 19 or something. She was in America for a month. She came back to Japan after a month. She forgot Japanese. It was the best time ever. No way, yeah, no way. But, you know, that's kind of like what happened to her, apparently. So she forgot Japanese. She couldn't speak any Japanese according to her, but you know. And then she freaking like started talking to people in English, saying like, oh, yeah, this and that. Oh, by the way, oh, sorry, I was speaking English. It was kind of like in broken English, too. So we, I, I thought it was cute. It was, it was cute. It was like, oh, I, I saw you guys. I was doing this. And I was like, dude, that's kind of fire. I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. I was like, yeah, that's kind of fire. And then she freaking said something like, oh yeah, in, in America, it's so much better because I saw a cook who was so good at cooking. I was like, what the fuck is she talking about? I froze. I was like, I saw a cook who's... Oh, I saw a cook. So I came to this realization of like how some girls are next level 
like some girls are just on the next level to the uh, hilarious scale and I made a skit about it too on my channel like I want to be a cook in the future like I made a skit, skit about it so that she was definitely a Pocahontas girl because she looks like that too she kept saying like oh you know what uh, Japanese people should have black hair like me it's so like beautiful and, and, and then yeah so that's basically the meme now I see why this place is like so freaking popular look at all the people look at all the people everybody is it, oh is it that way? wait 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 now I see it now I see it now I see it it's that way isn't it? it's that way isn't it? she needs to go to the reservation what reservation? but that was like some amazing freaking thing ever because again like that was like the best girl ever like the thing is like she was a great person too like she was not mean or anything she was not mean she was like a decent person with like some decent mindset too but she just had this uh, American wannabe personality inside of her and she forgot Japanese just because she was in America for a month it was, it was amazing like everything about that was laughable but I didn't say anything because that was cute is it this way? Is it to my left or like is it this way? You... Let, let, let me use Google, Google Maps, okay? Best girl waifu. I don't think... The thing about it is like here, I think she actually got an American boyfriend and she uh, had this like another oh it's that way god damn it and so she I think she got an American boyfriend or something Saitama so she got an American boyfriend and she uh, was kind of happy with her American boyfriend too right but then she kind of started talking about how American guys are better than Japanese guys and whatever stuff and the points she was making was interesting. Like, American guys are good at sex or something. Like, which I thought was cute. Karate Master, thank you. Are you going to Kawagoe, Koedo, or is this a different place? It is, it is. Yeah, you got it right. Well, thank you so much. Like, well, thank you so much. But let me get back to what I was talking about. <laughs> American guys are so much better because, uh, you know, they are good in bed. And I, was, I wasn't sure why she started talking about that randomly because you don't really just suddenly say like American guys are better because they are better than Japanese people at sex. So I just kind of froze for a moment. And then I was like, hmm, that's an interesting point. And then I noticed she used to, she basically uh, watched a lot of like American shows, right? And all the American shows she watched had sex talks in the shows basically because like the characters in American shows tend to talk about, like, intercourse, or even, should I say, coitus. They talk about those in their shows, right? So she thought talking about sex is like an American way to, like, live her life. So she did it. Boom. Thank you. Kai Laudin. Oh, thank you so much for the donation. I actually don't know what that is, but I appreciate it. Thank you so much for the donation. People in America talk about sex sometimes. Yeah. I guess like if you say sometimes, I guess like people talk about sex sometimes in every country. But I thought it was interesting. Oh, it's that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, I see, I see, I see, I see it. It's that way. It's to my left, right? It was an American that was so bad that he made a CBAT meal. I don't know what that is, but yeah. Either way, thank you for telling me that. The only women I know who talk about good in bed are terrible in bed every time. Interesting. So I don't really care who's like good in bed and who's not good in bed. I don't really uh, care about that part. But for me though, her talking about sex publicly in English was amazing. Because when she talks in Japanese, she's like a decent person. But that's like her American personality she wanted to acquire. And then, <laughs> American guys are better. <laughs> and yeah, that shocked me. All-star, thank you. Speaking as an American, I'm offended. Yes. 
Thank you so much for the donation. And WHD, thank you so much for the donation too. Where's the freaking summer, I think? Is this one? Even Japanese people can be cringe, of course. But that girl was kind of chill. So I don't have any things against her, honestly. But I thought that was very interesting. Wait, it's that area. It's this area. Wait, let's go. Let's, let's just follow everybody, okay? It's talking about sex in public, not a thing in Japan. It's not. It's not a thing. You just don't do it. You act like it's not a thing that exists. You act like it's a thing from like a different universe. Thank you, Kyle, 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 Kyle. China is whole again. Then it broke again. Yes, whatever that is. Thank you so much for the donation. All guys joke about it sags. True, I do that too. Same in my country. I think it's like the same in any countries to be fair. Wait, this is different from like what I saw on the internet. Wait, wait, wait. Am I supposed to go towards like that way more? Unless it's a branch of or something that involves alcohol or very close friends. So the thing about it is like when I talk about whatever stuff like that, I just joke about it. I just talk about pee pee poo poo. But <laughs> some people actually talk about it, right? Like some people actually like freaking dig even more. It's like deeper than just saying pee pee poo poo. It's like they talk about positions and stuff. I, if you mean that, I, I just don't really do it either. I just talk about the most obvious surface level, like high school level freaking thing. Pee pee poo poo. Thank you, uh, Asta. That's why Panto Senpai keeps beating me up for talking about that publicly. But you guys freaking went to a level though together. But <laughs> well, thank you either way. It's awkward. Yeah, even for me, it might be a bit, yeah. But I talk about the most surface level, like pee pee poo poo. That's what I do. I prefer erotic poetry. I'm boring. <laughs> I want to see someone stream snipe you. Oh, by the way, are there like any stream snipers like in Saitama? In Kawagure? If so, I will wait for you. Because that would be great to like be stream sniped here too. Wait, are there any people though today? Why are you using people using umbrellas? Uh, they don't like the sun. They're freaking kind of like, uh, you know, not, not demons, vampires, yeah. Saitama Tosugi. I can go to Tokyo later, but yeah, let's see. What is this, Kawagoe? And I heard they are like some samurai, yeah. See, see? They even say it too. I don't see anything like that here though. 741 humans there. Oh, you mean the viewers? Oh, the viewers, okay. I'm still like looking for the samurai place. Why is everyone so dripped? Everybody like as in they, them. Wait, where is the free samurai place? Nice flowers. So like this place is not really a samurai, but it's more like it's just awesome to see the scenery. That's what it just seems like to me. How long does it go take to go to the village? So I'm in area now, but this is my first time to come here. So I don't know how things are like around here. So I, I could be just freaking going to a different direction, but I think it's this way because everybody's going that way, right? Google Maps knows where it is. I did that and I think it's this way. And everybody is going that way too. This is a village. I, I don't think it's this is the village, but it's towards that way, I think. Indian restaurant. You know how there's actually an Indian restaurant here in this town? I found one.
What do you like about Japan the most? How you can do whatever and nobody cares about what you are doing. And it's safe to do whatever you want to do. And nobody cares still. Oh, okay, so it's apparently far from the station. So there's a local like, that, that is watching this. Kalodin, thank you. Okay, Lil Scubidi, how much do you know about history? I'm gonna, I'm gonna just say I don't know anything about history because I feel like that's the safest thing to say here. But thank you so much. Oh, wait, by the way, by the way, by the way, by the way. Are there any Americans that live in Japan? If, if so, say yes. Americans that live in Japan. Like, Americans, not, not non Japanese people. Are there any Americans that live in Japan or like that used to live in Japan? If so, say yes. Like not, it, doesn't, it doesn't have to be now. Like, if you've lived in Japan or like if you're in Japan and if you're American, say yes. I have a question. <laughs> so, there aren't a lot of Americans like that lived in Japan or like that live in Japan now, right? So, like, let me talk about this. The thing about so this is kind of like the same everywhere though but like i was talking about this with uh, somebody the other day you know how in japan there are some certain things that you don't talk about uh what is it politics uh baseball and what else a uh, religion like those three things like you don't talk about those three things in japan because that's kind of like how things are right and in america it's sort of like a thing too like you just try not to talk about those things with people because like things get wild especially politics and like religions you know what i mean right you sort of like try to avoid talking about that you, you know what i mean right but i was talking about this with like some american people the other day uh <laughs> japanese people for whatever reason like to talk about politics with Americans in English because they want to practice English. Is it true? I heard that from an American person. Basically, this American dude was like, you know how Japanese people just like straight up like talk about politics in English with Americans in Japan? And I'm like, I don't know about it. They do? Why though? What the fuck? <laughs> Why do they not do that in Japanese? But like when they freaking talk to Americans in English, like they straight up like say like, what do you think about? <laughs> Joe Biden. <laughs> like, <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, is it really a thing? Is it really a thing? So they talk about Donaldo Trump. That's what I heard. That's what I heard, yeah. Well, why though? They just know, like, they are not supposed to talk about that in Japanese. They don't have anything to talk about. The thing is here, in Japan, like people just try not to talk about um, politics and religions and sports mainly. Sports, they still talk about sports because sports is kind of like a meme, right? But the thing is like, uh, yeah, religions and like politics, if you try to talk about those things with Japanese people, they'll freaking think you were insane. It's just a culture, like you don't talk about it publicly. So we know about it, right? And I think it's the same in any countries too because like, it kind of gets controversial and people get heated and stuff. You just try not to talk about it. But like for whatever reason, if you talk to Japanese people who are learning English and when they talk to Americans in English, they for whatever reason straight up like say like, hey, this politics, that politics. <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck? And I was like, so my American friends told me about it. Like, one, one of my American friends told me about it, actually. And then I was like, no, there's no way. Like, Japanese people don't do that, right? And my American friend was like, nah. They, for some reason, start asking me what I think about, like, this political group and whatever. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> but that, that's something, I, like, that makes no sense to me. But apparently it's a thing. They know we know politics, but still, like, what the... F you, like, you know how they actually don't talk about it when they are, like, speaking in English, right? Speaking English. <laughs> Sorry, you are right wing or left wing? Yeah, that too. Like, <laughs> like, you don't even hear that in Japanese, right? 
you don't even hear that in Japanese, but in English, Japanese people freaking get wild. And you know what though? Uh, the, I, like, come to think of it, like, Japanese people don't do that to me because they know I'm Japanese and I speak English and Japanese both. But, yeah, like, when Japanese people talk to my American friends in English, they freaking do it straight up. It's, it's insane. <laughs> Wait, is it this way? They think that we vote... Oh. It's easier to talk about the ethical of drugs. <laughs> Isn't it just more about like what you, you can you want to talk about what you want to talk about though, right? Chairs start getting thrown around. That doesn't really happen. But <laughs> yeah, Japanese people freaking get wild. Is it actually this way? Americans do not know a lot about politics outside of yeah. Uh, there could be that too, which I think is freaking amazing. Also, I think Michi doesn't want to talk about politics, just math. Uh, you know what though? Uh, Asa, Asa, go to his channel. He uploaded a video about math this morning. It was amazing. It's because they see so many Americans talking about it on TV. They think it's polite to ask about politics in English. So like, I have my theory. I have my theory, okay? So, uh, it tends to happen with the Japanese people who want to learn... Oh, it's here. Oh, we're here. We're here. We're here. We're here. We're here. We're here. It's around here, isn't it? It's here. But I have, like, my own theory about it, too. It tends to happen with the Japanese people who want to learn English. They want to test their own English by talking about something difficult, which is usually politics or religions or history. And then <laughs> that freaking awkwardness happens. That's my that's my theory. I could be wrong about this too. But like so all the people who actually speak English in Japan, they don't outright start talking about like politics or like history, but all the English learners straight up go like <laughs> Americans. <laughs> and I think it's freaking amazing. And we're here, right? This is yeah, this is it, yeah. This is it. Debate what's right or wrong, yeah. That's my that's my uh theory. I could be wrong about this. <coughs> yeah, I think we, we, we are here. We are here. History or just history is just facts. So it's more like it's not really like they're talking about facts. It's more about what do you think of this? Like that's what I feel like they want to talk about, and they usually bring up more controversies. And then usually Americans get uncomfortable, and they say like, "Oh, you know what? We don't want, we don't want to talk about that." So like, yeah, let's just talk about nothing else, something else. And Japanese people who learn English start talking about. That even more saying like, oh, you don't, you don't talk about that? Let's talk about then uh, the politics in the UK. And I'm like, what the f <laughs> I find it amazing. I find it amazing. Like, that's literally freaking like the most amazing thing ever. What are we getting? I don't know. So I came here just because I don't know what this place is really like. Are there like any other places I should freaking visit? OMG so Edo. Is it really? This is a samurai place, apparently, but there are better places than here. I don't really think that's really it. Right? There's more, right? Wait, there's more, right? There's more, right? Wait, there's more, right? Wait, let me use Google Maps. Sort of the clout chaser, yeah. There's more, right? Oh, right, there's more. Yeah. Oh, never mind. Oh, yeah. There's more. There's more. It's that way. It's that way. Oh, yeah. Sunrise House is here. Yeah, the Sunrise House is like literally that way. Fuck. The parking fee is like so cheap here. I should have parked here. God damn it. It's only like 100 yen. Is he legit practitioner? What are you talking about? We were here at a sign. Yes. So like this uh 
famous sunrise house, and I think it's this way. Just talk about what I mean. <laughs> That's usually my way to go conversation stuff. So, uh, uh, actually, everybody, I'm curious. When you want to talk to people, when you want to start a conversation with people, what do you say, everybody? So this is like one of those like things I usually talk about on stream. But what do you, what do you say, everybody? What do you talk about? And I think, thank you, Asta. The only thing I've learned is that history is often written by the winners. Stay woke, bam, as in be aware, not like acting a fool and shit. You see? <laughs> What's up, depends on... But thank you so much for the donation. If it's a new person, I ask what they like to do in their free time. I watch them, One Piece. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna pin you, Padobe. I'm gonna pin you, Padobe. I'm gonna pin you, Padobe. Uh, so, uh, I watched One Piece. Uh, so, uh, in One Piece, there's uh, uh, this character, this chef called uh, uh, S -S Sanji, and he makes uh, some great uh, food. And so, in the episode 87, uh, Sanji uh, uh, does this, and he kills this... Uh, S -S <laughs> People freaking stare at me. But yeah, I'm gonna just stop talking about that. But so, uh, here's the thing. Um... So, I've been talking to a lot of like different people from like a lot of different countries, including Japanese people too. That's what I do. Like, you know how everybody does a lot of different things? That's a freaking great place, by the way. In my free time, I like to just meet people. So, I go to like different places. I do it even on the internet too. So, some of you guys, by the way, might have met me, right? But a lot of you guys are actually polite about this. So, you don't talk about it on the internet. But I'm seeing... Like, I show up I, literally everywhere. So, one thing I noticed is, like, here. So, uh, psychologically, though, a great conversation, like, opener, the first, like, thing you, you are supposed to say is kind of, like, what do you like to do? Like, that's my conclusion, the best opener. Because if you say that, they will talk about what they want to talk about. Then, let them talk about what they want to talk about, right? That's like the best conversation opener. But then I see the pattern where they, people talk at each other about what they want to talk about. Like One Piece, One Piece, Naruto, Naruto, One Piece. And then it freaking gets chaotic and gets uh, awkward. I feel like that's the definition of like awkwardness. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about it. I thought it was cute. Are you saying you don't like talking about anime? I like to talk about anime with the people who want to talk about anime, like on my channel. That's kind of why I can talk about anime. I mean, I can talk about so many different things. Like, for whatever reason though, I learn things from like people, right? So I can literally talk about anything. Like, I know a little bit of knowledge about everything. That's kind of why I know how to say, fuck, they actually freaking do the Edo thing. Yeah, the music. Dude, they do it here too? I only saw it in freaking like Nikko. Dude, 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 I gotta get that. I gotta get that ice cream. Oh, is there a line for that? Wait, can, can I get something? Can I get something? Can I get something? Can I get something? Yeah, they, they do the they do the uh, the ice cream thing. Instead, of, there's like nobody. Fuck, never mind. Talk about India. Yes. Also, I think I once opened up a conversation talking about serial killers. Yes. That sounds amazing. Well, thank you so much for the donation. As you please. Dude, I wanted to get freaking food. But there were just way too many people. And there was like literally freaking nobody at the store. So I'm like, eh. Dude. Wait, is this Kyoto or something? Where is he? Uh, Koedo? Look at that, look at that, look at that. Yo, look at that, look at that. So this place is basically like... They still... They... 
still live in 1600, the year 1600. That's like what they are trying to do. Kashiya Yokocho nearby. I don't know where that is. Let me just go in there. Let me make sure if I can film. Dude, this is a freaking big facility. Dude, you guys are curious. Are you guys curious about this place? Yes or no? If not, then I can just freaking go to a different place. Are you guys interested in this place? Our icebreakers, what is your favorite textbook? Yes. If you guys are interested in this place, I'm gonna go there. But let me know. What do you think, everybody? Go there. I'll, it'll blow your mind. It, it, it will even get better? Karate master, thank you. Have you seen Toki no Kane in Koede before? It's a nice landmark there. No, I actually don't know anything about this place. So I, li I literally just don't know anything about this place. Well, let's see. Well, thank you so much for the donation. Um, I'm gonna show you everything doing this. I feel like it's better this way. Alright, let's go. Tokino Kane, it gets better? Everybody ready? Uh, let me pin this here. Uh, you'll see more st uh, stuff this way. I don't think any, there are any signs saying like no filming around here. I don't think they care. Because people are filming. What the fuck? Am I supposed to like step on the freaking thing? Why are people freaking stepping on the box? Oh, it's like one of those things. Wait, can I do it too? Can I do it too? Can I do it too? It destroys your feet, right? It just it destroys your feet, right? Right? That's what that is, right? Feet massage. You know what? I'm not gonna actually do it. I don't wanna moan. Because everybody's moaning. Get cursed. No. This is so freaking 1600. What the fuck? I didn't know this place existed. <laughs> what the fuck? Like actually, what the fuck? What the fuck? Dude, what the fuck? Everybody's moaning? Yeah, like... You know how people were moaning? They like, say like, oh my gosh, this hurts! Yeah, so... Read Karate Master Super Chat, didn't I? Did he, did he give me another donation? Let me check it. I thought I just read it though. Wait, I thought I just read it. Didn't I? Well, I read it right. I read it right. It was a while ago. Let me check it later. Wait, let me let me just uh, kind of see what they have here. Oh, this is the exit. Hm. You did? No, that's what I thought. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. So okay, it's just a shrine, or I don't know what to call this place. Like a shrine-looking thing that people seem to like potato photography thank you so much 99 percent sure the tokugawa shogunate doesn't allow us to see things that are so edo <laughs> you sure by the way if you're interested in my feet people's feet you can come here they legitimately freaking like take off their shoes and they show their feet to people 
dude, that was, that was something. <laughs> that was something. <laughs> that was something. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? People live here. That's, that's somebody's house. Feet unboxing. But that, that's what was literally happening, is what I wanted to say. They freaking actually uh, show their feet. And that's literally what was happening, okay? Right, let's go. So, it gets even better than this, right? Is it this way? I'm still like not sure if it's like even this way or not. But I feel like everybody's girls do. I mean, girls were freaking. Yeah, they were doing it too. Who doesn't love a good foot rub? Yeah, I guess. Well. Which do you like, curry or poop? Dude! Wait, you, you guys seen it? Wait, oh, are you guys seeing this? Wait, are you guys seeing. Oh, what the fuck? Actually, what the fuck? Dude, dude! Wait, what the? F Wait, well, what the fuck actually? I was not expecting expecting this. Well, oh, you guys seen this? My camera is capturing this this right. The f I, I don't know, man. Like what? Dude, I mean, I'll get close to the freaking thing. Look at that. そろそろ何個好きですか突然すぎん。Oh. <laughs> the baby fell and everybody's laughing. That's that's wild. Koi no koto. So 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 so. Kids parade. Eh. Koi no bori. Yeah, that's what that was. Kid fell. Yeah, the kid fell. Everybody's laughing. <laughs> I I don't know what that was. The kid fell. Everybody's laughing. Mo koi no bori. Hayai yo ne tashikan ne. Hey, you know what? That's like so Japanese. That kid fell and everybody's like, ah! Yeah, I guess like that's... Yeah, I think like that's a Japanese thing. From my perspective, I was like, whoa, that's wild. And people do live here. What the fuck? But yeah, that's Japan. Because um, kids have anime powers. They don't get hurt. This street looks so chill. Dude, this is like Kyoto, but it's even better. Do they point at the kid? Uh, I don't know what was happening. I would not want to live where people casually. Ah, uh, so like, that's kind of what I think too, yeah. People. Say living in the touristy area sucks, is like what everybody says. Yeah, probably. Kids are made out of rubber. <laughs> yes. Dude, like they legit freaking live here. That's awesome. Signal is bad there. My sister's calling me. My sister's calling me. My sister's calling me. My sister's calling me. My sister called me. When I answered the phone, she disappeared. I don't know what that was. Do you guys know what that was? Like, she literally just freaking called me for a, the most trolling purpose ever. She hung up instantly. She hung up, yeah, like instantly. Like, I don't know what that was. Call back? No. It gets better that way, right? Your sister is gay. Yes, whatever that means. My sister is gay. Is it good? 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 
そこで人脈あるその人にやってもらったり手伝ってもらったりすることもあるしその人脈から得られる就活の時の裏の,あの手口みたいなものがそこからしか入らんというのは全然あるのよあれ間違いなくあれ勉強するのも重要だと思うけどでも人脈は何よりも重要だなと思ったけど What the fuck is this? Dude, wait Dude, this is like freaking Wait, this is like actually Kyoto? Dude, this is Kyoto This is like legit Kyoto Like this is like freaking Hanami Koji Like dude, this is Kyoto, yo Like this is actually freaking Kyoto level stuff Dude. That's the anime, yeah. 友達と恋人は作った方がいいな。恋人か、恋人はちょっと分からんけど、でもまあ人によっては確かに重要かもね。人脈は大切なんですね。えっと、人脈の捉え方が重要なんだけど、人脈の作り方で、その人たちを利用しようって考えるんじゃなくて、その人たちから学ぼうっていう姿勢は重要よ、マジで。その重要その姿勢は重要その人たちを使おうじゃなくてその人たちから学ぼうって姿勢がないと人間性終わるからね今度はその分の人脈が必要よ俺人脈あるよっていうタイプの人間は人を使おうとしている人だから学ぼうってすな重要かもね But dude this is freaking wild any stream sniper? I don't think so let me just go that way first and like let me walk that way 恋人とか言わないでくださいミッチは努力してないだけだと思うけどな絶対モテるよやれば普通に恋人欲しいです、えー、と恋人の作り方はじゃあまずあの俺が何も言えないから言えないんだけどでもすごい思うのはあの普通の人間になること必死にならないことや。Is his translator here?、Uh, yeah, his translator is here. Wait, what? <laughs> Why do you have to be like that, dude? In Japan, where everything is like so quiet, like why do you have to tell everybody like you are driving a cool car? What the fuck? Why can you speak English fluently? I grew up speaking English and Japanese. So, like, in my case, I didn't have to try super hard to like learn English. So, thankfully, because of like my environment. Uh, I grew up speaking English and Japanese both. Should I just visit that place first? Wait, 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 wait. That's what everybody's talking about, right? Toki no kane? Right, right? Wait, should I just visit there first? Wait, that's what everybody was talking about, right? I grew up speaking English in Japanese and Japanese, not in. And, not in. And, Japanese. Toki no kane, yeah. I mean, I guess, I guess I grew up speaking English in Japanese too, I guess if you want to say that. Anime po Yankee. There it is. It's this way? Wait, is it that famous? Wait, that place is like that famous? Toki no kane? So you're like half. I'm Japanese. I'm Japanese, but I grew up speaking English and Japanese because I. How do I explain this? So, to be fair though, I know like everybody, everybody is gonna freak out once I say it, but I speak English a lot more than Japanese in Japan. I'm like that dude, right? I mean, obviously, you can tell from like my streams, I freaking speak English more than Japanese, even on my channel too, right? But it's, <laughs> this happened because here's, here's the thing I took education in Japanese, I went to like a normal Japanese school. Can I get in? I took education in Japanese, so I speak Japanese, obviously. I learn things in Japanese, but my friends freaking speak English everywhere. So, there's that too. Typical American. No, I'm Japanese. Why you? Can I film you? So, like, the thing is here, I didn't take, I took some education in English too. Oh, that's national treasure? There's no way I can film. Can I? Can I film? Yamazaki, who is that? 
Did you have a hard time learning kanji as a Japanese person? Still, yes, still, yes. Uh, the thing is here, I, I suck at kanji than any other like, people in Japan. Like, more than the average Japanese people, I suck at kanji. Be because so Japanese people basically go full in uh, when they learn like, kanji characters and stuff, right? In my life, I had to learn things in English as well. So like, I, ha I spared my time on... How do I freaking like, explain this? It's like, they learned Japanese in their lives, right? But in my case, I had to use English as well. So like, I had to spend some time using English a lot more. So I had to do other things instead of like, learning kanji, which means I know a lot less kanji characters than any other people. 100% uh, like anime man, uh, the anime man, that dude knows more kanji and more expressions in Japanese than I do because he legit learned both languages. He was different, right? Different priorities. Ah, not really. It's more like I didn't study. Like I didn't grow up studying languages. But Anime Man, he actually learned two languages while growing up. He freaking read textbooks and whatever. I didn't do that, right? So the, the most obvious difference is like he knows a lot more kanjis, a lot more like expressions in Japanese, English too actually, because he freaking studied it, right? I didn't do any of those. So like I grew up speaking both languages, so I speak the languages. But if you pay attention to some small things, I say, I write in Japanese, in English, both. You'll notice, like, a lot of things are off about me. Because I didn't really learn, or, like, study. Where, where is Tokinokane? Construction zone, yeah. Dude, even the freaking bank there is, like, amazing. How were your Japanese grades back then? Uh, so, when it comes down to like reading things, uh, I was really good at it in English and in Japanese both. Like, so like, if it's like a literature kind of thing, I was really good at it for whatever reason. If it's like a kanji test, I was so bad. I'm not gonna say I was good. So like, Japanese people actually do this one thing called uh, kanken as well. Like where they learn so many kanji characters and they test their kanji knowledge, right? Like, there's like freaking different levels, like, you know, pre-1, one, 1, whatever. I suck at that. I suck at... I suck... I, I'm worse than junior high school students. Like, they know a lot more than I do, basically. But when it comes down to just like a literature, whatever stuff, I was... I can say I was confident. I was good at it. What the fuck is freaking place? This is Kyoto. Wait, dude. This is legit Kyoto. You like to Saka, yeah. This is Kyoto, like, actually. Little Kyoto, yeah. They, they would get mad, probably, <laughs> if I say yeah. Dragons, thank you. Uh, you have to eat something good today, Sora. I actually had lunch, but thank you so much. Because your brain already has English stored in it, not enough space for kanji, like a memory card. I wouldn't say that's how it works, but I mean, that's kind of like how it, what happened, yeah, what happened to me, yeah. Kind of like, you know, I, I didn't learn English one of them, though. like I didn't really do any of like the textbook English method where you take English classes and like you learn English. I never did that. I really cannot think of a time where I actually like took English lessons, like English classes to like learn English. I didn't do that for Japanese either, by the way, obviously. So I don't know. I just don't like to study. <laughs> I, I don't like to study. I don't like to read textbooks. Oof. You didn't need it, so you didn't learn it. Uh, so I don't like to study. I don't like to learn. I mean, I like to learn things. But it's just, I just didn't like the idea of like reading textbooks and stuff. If I speak Japanese, I mean, you can survive in Japan without any Japanese for sure. 
I know a lot of like people like that in Japan, yeah. Studying does suck though. Yeah, 100 percent probably. Wait, this is Starbucks, yo. Dude, Starbucks here. What the fuck? Dude, this is Starbucks in Japan. That's awesome, yo. Wait, you guys seen this? This is Starbucks. Wait, dude, this is this is Starbucks actually. See? Starbucks here. And it's so freaking crowded. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Kanji is crazy. Yeah, I'm kanji to be a when it comes down to like speaking of kanji characters, so do you guys know how to say harsh in Japanese? So, I uh, harsh in Japanese is apparently like shinratsu, and I didn't even know what shinratsu was freaking till like two weeks ago. I learned it recently. Metzoroid, thank you. Wise words being spoken by Methodical in VC right now. Thank you so much for the donation. Methodical is in VC. What do you mean? But Methodical is here right now, watching this. Wait, Methodical in BC? Is it like the Methodical was in the Methodical we know? Or like Methodical was in like somebody else? Shinratsu? No, Shinratsu? Shinratsu is like apparently a word uh, people say to... Like... Harsh in Japanese is like shinratsu, and I didn't know that. What, what is Tokino Kane? You prefer learning through experience. Yeah, yeah, but basically, yeah. Oh, yeah, Shion san typed it too. Shinratsu? That's what that is. And I didn't know what that was till like recently. Yeah, that, that, that. I didn't know what that was. I, and so I thought it was like one of those kanji characters. Yen yori kakaranaite kudasai. Means die something? No, that just means harsh. Like shinratsu. Where's the Kane thing? Keep going north. Where's north? Shinratsu is commonly used. I didn't know that, yo. That's what I'm saying. Like, I thought it's like one of those words, like nobody uses. So that explains about me, I guess. That explains who I am. Well, which is north? Keep looking up and you won't miss when you get close. Yes, like, can I use Google Maps here? Yeah. It's that way. North, that way. You passed it behind you. Papara Bay, north, right? Yes, there's Google Maps here. <laughs> Dude, I thought this is supposed to be freaking Edo, but Miffy. Or isn't Miffy supposed to be like from the Netherlands? Or that's Miffy, right? That's from the, the uh, Netherlands, right? Wait, am I being stupid here? Am I being stupid here? That's from the Netherlands. That is. Right? Dejima Bay Traders. Yakareta no, Mifi. <laughs> Mifi got ad adopted by Japanese parents. Yeah, that's actually freaking fire. That's some like fire stuff ever. Sanrio. San Mifi is not Sanrio. No. What the fuck is that building, yo? Melfi like jewels. Yeah, Jules is a MILF, but no, that's not MILFI, that's MIFI. Hanamigo Ikumifume wa Tsukayoi. Hi. Dude, like, this is actually freaking Kyoto. This is like literally, li literally like what Kyoto is like, but in like Tokyo area. Well, what is this? I didn't know this existed. What the fuck? You know what I noticed, by the way? So like Kyoto has a lot of like, don't film this, don't film that, don't do this, whatever, whatever, rules everywhere, right? In Tokyo, there's nothing. 
I don't see no filming signs at all. So, camera is so clear, yeah. This Totoro too, this like freaking Ghibli here. Kyoto wishes it had this vibe, yeah. So I mean, that kind of explains something, right? Like uh, people in Kyoto and people in Tokyo change. Like that's kind of what I've been saying. You know what I mean? Are uh, those signs lawful? Like what? Those? Mother's Day? I want a Rasengan. Can I Rasengan? Wait, I just saw a donation. Uh, let me read it here. Thanks, bro. I My tip for today. Thanks for more Japan VR experience. Have a great day. Thank you so much. Is this VR? <laughs> Am I doing like a VR uh, tour here? <laughs> but thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the donation. I didn't know I was like doing a VR, uh, you know, tour. But yeah, thank you. You can always Rasengan. Rasengan! Rasengan Shuriken! Rasengan! I like how nobody cares. Wait, Paro Bay, is that the end of it? Or like, should I, st should I still keep walking north? Paro Bay, Paro Bay. The better pie. Paro Bay, better pie. Should I keep going no Should I keep going north? Better pie. Because I, I feel like there's nothing here. That place looks so peaceful. That's what I thought too, yeah. Wait, but Paro Bay. Better pie, yeah. And Alpha, so I have to freaking make you the TTS person too. Pull up Google Maps and look it up. King. <laughs> yeah, that's like her way of like basically saying like SDFU. Do it yourself, you cringe. <laughs> There's nothing if I go that way. Um, I think it's behind me. I think. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's to my left, actually. Dude. Dude, do you guys want to see a castle? Dude, there's a castle here. That wig is full of glue. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, 100%. Just ask someone. I checked Google Maps and I, yeah, I know what I'm doing, but I still want to go to this like one place called uh, Toki no Kane, like the Bell of Time. I still want to see it, but I don't know where that is. <laughs> I want to meet a Japanese count. What does that mean? Yo, dude, swag, bro, Sapo. I uh, we are swagging up, yo. Interview locals here. You want me to talk to them in Japanese? <laughs> do, do you speak Japanese, by the way? Kashiya Yeah, yeah, I want to go there too. But you know what, though? I don't really want to eat any more ice cream. So. I mean, I can. Dude. 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 Black dumplings. Die. Brings me back some nice memories in Kyoto. They sell black dumplings. Maximum, we can snipe me. You can snipe me. Black dumplings. Yo, look at that, bro. Seriously. That thing. Do you think it's gonna destroy my mouth again? Why black? 
Is this Sami? Here we go again. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. That's not dumpling. The what is it then? Those look like garbage bags. That's rude. Let's order in English. They speak English, dude. They obviously speak English. I'm not gonna do that here. I mean, the sign's like obviously in English. Take away. Let me just skip here. Let me turn off like TTS and everything. Okay. あ、あの黒のはい、これがはい。じゃあ、ありがとうございます。あ、すいません、お願いします。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。I got it. I got it. Everybody, I got it. I got it, yo. 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 Kuro no pizza, man. Dude. Dude. Do you think it's gonna freaking destroy my mouth again? You got it, yeah. The thing is, this is kind of overpriced. Do you guys know how much this is? 600 yen. This is like $4. It's usually $2 at a convenience store. So this is definitely like one of those like expensive things. This is basically going for the full like tourist trap 100%. And I fell for it because it's black. And I wanted to have something inside. Let's eat it. So there's a parking lot there. I'm going to just eat this uh, that parking lot because I'm a weirdo. 600 yen. It's overpriced, 100 percent. So it's one of those like tourist traps, and I fell for it because I got extremely, uh, I, I got the extreme swag, swaggy swag 1.0. I'm gonna eat it. A little expensive. Yes. Uh, it's not just only a little; it's insanely expensive. So this is gonna be my table. One black, you start, you back to the front. I really hope it's nothing crazy. Two dollar for being black, yes. I mean, it is decent. It's decent looking. Better than what happened to me last year. <laughs> What's the feeling? The same usual like a Nikman Nikman feeling. It's not like the ice cream. Yeah, I just look like that one dude who never brushes his teeth. And I don't. I never brush my teeth. I never take a shower. I never leave my room either. The thing is here. Fuck. I just spit myself. Yeah, my shirt is now covered with spit. Is it nice? It's great. It's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. But, yeah, kind of. A bit expensive. But yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. Look, Ariane, don't mind. 
まあまるうんまあまずくはないかな It's not really bad. It's actually kind of good, honestly. For the price, it's a bit overpriced. It's not my favorite, but yeah, it's not bad. Does the bun taste different? You think so, right? I cannot taste any difference. You know why? Because I cannot smell anything. My taste sucks. I'm that one dude who freaking drinks the Coca Cola and eats ice cream in every stream. So, you know what happened to my tongue? I'm a basically 12 year old kid that eats burgers. Which means I cannot really taste anything. Dango? Yeah, that dango was different. That dango was different. But yeah, there's this too. It can't be 600 yen. Yeah. So it is definitely expensive. Be careful when you eat something like this in Japan. It won't fool us this time. Give us Sora back. It's better than the last time. Can't you just wipe it with your tongue? This time though, I just have to get a drink. So, like, it's not really like a serious problem, honestly. But you know. Um. So, I'm not going to be a good one. That's all. Just wash it with Coke. I guess I can do that too. I'll be coming to Japan next April. Can I stream snipe you then? Yeah, you can. You can, yeah. I welcome like any stream snipers, like I want people to show up and I want people to talk about Naruto. I like attention. I like how this chat is its own community. I think it's kind of like the same as like anywhere else, but this chat, people tend to talk about anime a lot more, but that's kind of like because、uh, I'm a Japanese dude, like that's streaming in Japan. If you see anything that's anime, everybody just goes like, anime? But other than that, yeah, it's like any uh, uh, chat out there. Let's see, I want ice cream now. I'm glad people want to meet you. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. I'm sorry for the burp. You know what I'm talking about? Like, it feels awesome to like, see people that want to stream snipe me. If, if I in, in stream snipe, can I touch your pee pee?、Uh, nope. I mean, if you want to, I think you can just go to your brothel instead. What do you think? But thank you for asking me. I'll think about that. What's your opinion on Filthy Frank? Is he still a thing? <laughs> go to a fish market. You mean Skiji? I cannot stream there. I mean, I can try, but like, they don't really allow people to film. I can break rules, but I, I don't want to be that one dude, right? Dude. Wait, this is like where the bathroom is at, right? Dude. The bathroom is freaking fire, yo. You looking at this? That literally says like restroom. What? It's here. Breaking rules in Japan's cringe. I think it's cringe anyway, but yeah. Just pee on the wall. Yes, I'm a dog. The bathroom is actually there? It's good to take a look at the Hokkaido San Noka. We get piss in the corner, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna freaking stream myself pissing like a dog. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, I found it. Wait, wait, p a r u b e p a r u b e It's like what you were talking about, right? Kashiya Yokocho. Wait, here, right? Wait, Kashiya Yokocho. Wait, what? It's this place, right? Kashiya Yokocho. Wait, is it this place? Or, like, is it something else? Oh, let's go, yo. Like, it's the typical、uh, Japanese、um, uh, thing where they freaking put their underwear outside so we can see their underwear and their、uh, stuff. One of the things you can see in Japan, and they don't care. Yeah.、Uh, so, you know, it happens. Isn't it interesting? I got used to it now. Are you in Kawagoe? Yeah. Can I take a piss too? So that's a bathroom. Amea Yokocho. Amea Yokocho is in Tokyo. Kashia Yokocho. Kashia Yokocho. So that's another bathroom. Can I take a piss? Why is stealing underwear a thing? Why do you think so? Some people just get extremely horny, yo. Some people just like, can I touch your panties? And they actually do touch your panties, but instead they steal them too. Isn't it fire? Can, can somebody say、uh, bathroom time BRB? I want to take a piss. Not really, but just in case. Just in case before I explode, you know what I mean? Amea Kashio Ryokocho. Go piss, girl. I'm a girl now. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna take a piss now. Thank you, thank you, girls.、Um, so、uh, let me just take a piss really quick, okay? G- give me like a、uh, t- time it, time it, time it, actually. Time it, okay, everybody, time it. ちょっと水取ってきてオープニングだとはクロージングだとはカミングバックインウィザーウォーターボトルセッティングオーナーチェアワッチングポーリーディングアブックゲッティングボードプレイングウィズマイフォンちょっとそれ取ってゲッティングエットフォーエンギビングエットトゥーヘンプレイングウィズマイフォンワッチングポートライングトゥースリープノットウォーキングワッチングサムシングナッシングトゥーウォッチワッチングポープレイザギトライングトゥービークワイエットピッキングフィンガリングドリンキングウォータードリンキングトゥーマッチストマックペインオープニングザドアクロージングザドアコンピュータータイピングちょっと水取ってきて This is like one and a half minute. This is like something I don't understand. One ten for me, okay. This is like something I don't understand. Why do some people become anime characters why, like, when they are taking a shit? Like, somebody was like literally kind of half moaning. So there was like this dude, probably he was taking a shit, right? And I don't know if he was like fighting somebody in the bathroom or like he. Was suffering from like his freaking explosive diarrhea or something, but this dude freaking went like, oh, and I was like, what? So I wasn't sure what that was, but it just felt like he was fighting somebody, or like he is from anime, so he has to moan like that, or he was trolling, but he was probably by himself in the bathroom, so I don't know what that was. The noise you make is when you. Yeah, I guess. Oh, let me just unpin the comment here. Because I'm not taking a piss now. Smell like? So, my nose is kind of dumb, so I cannot really smell things. But yeah, I don't know, man. 
it was an invitation. Do you really see it as like in, uh, see it as an invitation when somebody freaking screams like ah while like pooping? Is it really a thing? I didn't know that. Hmm. I mean, I learned something new. Where's the samurai? Uh, they still do the uh, the march, I think. Here, I think. I think. Do they still do it here? Dude, they they do like some amazing food around here. You are sure he was pooping? I. Uh, what else was he doing? Do you think? Do you think he was like somehow fighting like some demons in the bathroom, like the door closed and stuff? I kind of doubt that. I mean, there is some possibility. He might have been just fighting somebody there, like thinking he's like freaking Vegeta or something. But I don't think that was what was happening. <laughs> can you smell a little though? Like, could you smell flowers up close? Yeah, I can actually. But my sense of smell is like a lot weaker than other people and fuck, they are dangles apparently. I gotta get that. 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 Fuck, that line's long. Damn it. He was getting strangled by a spy like in Austin Powers. Dude. <laughs> They do this ice cream thing. Dude, look at that, look at that, it's 600 yen. Let's go, let's go, let's go, but why is the line so long, bro? Gimpari. <laughs> Gimpari. Silver Paris, let's go. At least it isn't complete, yeah. Christmas tree ice cream, dude. I wanted to get something here. <laughs> Dude. It's illegal to carry a knife that's longer than 6 centimeters long. So if I buy a knife here and put it in my backpack, I'll get straight up like arrested for it just a few blades yeah no that's th there's actually a sword but if i buy it i'll get arrested so i don't know how that works unless you're a samurai true so like all the people there are samurais or something dude let's go let's go let's go there's like more things here freaking here how do you transport it? I don't know, man. I'm curious now too. Because in Japan, you cannot carry a knife that's longer than six centimeters long. Like you actually get arrested for that. So brah, you know what I mean? Like if you buy it, then you're destined to get arrested. But cheers, man, thank you. What's your opinion, favorite digital audio workstation. I don't listen to any of those. So I have to say there's no favorite of mine out there. Oh, thank you so much. Dude, this is like literally Kyoto. I've got new camera equipment arriving tomorrow and max maximum Agreed to be my cameraman. Excited to start YouTube ice cream American stream sniper. Yeah, I was like, wait, who who is it? But yeah, I remember you obviously. But thank you so much. I still think it would be great to like do a channel with him too. But thank you so much. Now let's go back and like let's find some other things. モゾトでも職員職質対象そうですね。てかあの職質でもうダメになるからな。俺の場合でも捕まんなかったですけど、モゾトこれカンフーやってた時に結構職質されまくったんですよね。なんとかなったけど子供だったからまだ。No samurai spotted yet. I don't think they do the march here today. Do they do it though? 
I, I know it's still a thing. Like they still like do the the, the samurai march thing. But I don't think they are doing it today, honestly. New shirt today, sort of buy one. Don't know, man. I want to still like stick to my shirt, like my freaking queen shirt. Dude, that's some freaking artistic like stuff, yo. No sunrise anywhere. Let's see. If if we see a sunrise, what do I do? Do I just freaking challenge him into a Pokemon battle or something? <laughs> what? Do I just use Pikachu? On some vlog? I want to do that too, but let's see. I have to like rent out one private onsen place and that's like $200 for my channel. I don't know, man. Let's see. Get you a chair and fight. <laughs> I have to get a chair. Yeah, I have to buy a chair. Dude, even the whole like freaking residential area here, people live here, right? Even this place looks like it's something. If you see a samurai, ask him to do ta taxes because most of them were just office workers by the Edo period. Why do you know about that? Why do you know about that more than I do? Are you, are you, are you Japanese? <laughs> Wait, but let's see. I don't really think you can see sunrise here. Or like a wannabe sunrise. Took multiple history of Japan classes in uni. That makes sense. And that's kind of why you came to Japan to do it. Yeah, that makes sense. Like in my case, I don't know much about that. So. I don't believe you're Japanese. You look so American. Yes. I look so American. The samurai in Kyoto is just a jump scare prank. You know like how uh Dude Hey Things here are just so different You know what I just noticed? So in Kyoto there are so many like Don't film this, don't film that things like everywhere right? And here I see so many like Yes film signs Like this place right here too They literally had the sign saying like yes, yes film Not yes film but like filming okay and I was like oof oof but do, do you want to see what's inside I'll show you I'll show you and I'm gonna just like turn off my camera because this way you see more okay everybody you want to see more stuff right free advertising yeah that's how it is usually usually that's how it is like that's what they want you to do as well but I'm like oof so like, the difference is freaking huge because again like in Kyoto they don't want you to film anything They want people to come and visit, yeah. Like, free advertisement, basically. Yeah, they literally freaking say like, oh, upload this to Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Yeah, that's their strategy, which I see a lot everywhere. Like, they freaking just do that strategy everywhere too, and that's what they're trying to do here, which makes sense. Should I get one of those like swaggy shoes? What do you think, everybody? Kyoto just really an uptight place. Yeah, I like Kyoto, but it's not really my favorite, to be fair. Dude, that's just fire. You could shove your toe up somebody's ass with those. You're so good at coming up with like some insane ideas. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I wanna see swords. Do the chopsticks here. DMCA. I don't think I'll get copyrighted by that, to be fair. But who knows, man? 
can't see your cringy face, Daddy. You do not see my cringy face right now. I am actual beautiful place like this. Can I go up here? Dude, they have like some amazing stuff up here. Not like my ass. Like actually some amazing, you know, fire stuff here. Look at this. Chopsticks? Why do people sell chopsticks here? I guess like people do buy chopsticks. Dude. I, I know I can, I cannot touch this, but that's awesome. Being copywriter is gay, yes. Yo, what's that doll in the box? Oh, I, I don't know, man. I know what you were talking about, but yeah. Maybe writing makes you hungry. Hmm. Interesting. That's cool. I'm not gonna buy it though. Any sunrise? <laughs> you know what? Let's let's find a sunrise. We can probably just challenge them, ch challenge the sunrise to like an anime fight. Let's do that, everybody. I know you guys like want me to fight Sunrise to, uh, I mean, challenge them to a uh, Pokemon battle or something. I know what you guys want me to do. So let's just do that, everybody. I know the demand. I'll do it, yo. Sunrise battle. Let's go. <laughs> yes, please. Yeah. Don't worry, I will do it. I kind of want some like uh, local food here, to be fair. And what is the, the bell place? <laughs> can Sunrise do a Rasengan? Uh, that's Ninja. But well, we can ask them if they can do Rasengan. <laughs> like, hey, can you do Rasengan? <laughs> This street really looks like Kyoto. That's what I thought too, yeah. This this street looks like Kyoto and there aren't strict rules around here. Like in Kyoto, there's like freaking a lot of like, don't film this, don't film that, don't do this, don't do that. But in Tokyo, like, not, not Tokyo, in Kawagoe here, in this town, there's nothing like that. They don't care. They want you to film and upload it to freaking Instagram and stuff. Like so far though, I haven't still seen anything, any signs that say no film, don't film. Where is this place? Kawagoe? <laughs> the better Kyoto. Kyoto better watch out. I think it's just like, you see different things around here too. There should be a lot to no, not film Sora's face because it breaks the internet. Yeah, it's freaking cringy. Sora's face out there is like the cringiest thing out there ever. Nothing is like cringier than that. Suddenly there's like a lot less people there, which means there's nothing that way. Then where's the bell thing? Michael somewhere? You don't really see Michaels, but instead you see people wearing like a Michael outfits. Like, you know what I'm talking about? I wanted to get some fish. Oh, there's more that way. Jaywalk. Still didn't find a Tokinokani. I still don't know where that is. <laughs> Michael outfit, kimono ってこと多分ね。俺が言いたかったのそれだと思う。Oh, this is where people chill and freaking eat. Okay. Summer village, yeah. God damn it, there's actually nothing here. Have you? Oh, the makeup and the. Uh, you know what though? In Japan, like, using BB cream is like a real thing. Like, that's what a lot of people do actually in Japan in 2024. It's actually freaking uh, something. 
I was staying away from too. So like, do you guys know what BB cream is? In Japan and in Korea, it's so normal. That's like something everybody uses. Like instead of like facial lotion or like moisturizer, a lot of people in Japan use that now instead. Yeah, BB cream. You guys know what that is, baby? Yeah, it's like, so I don't think it was a huge thing until like recently. And a lot of, I think, uh, celebra- ce- celebrities, and uh, th- celebrity, celebrities like started wearing, like using BB cream first, and then YouTubers like started using BB cream first. And then if you go to like university, you see like everybody like talking about BB cream everywhere now. Everyone says great things about BB cream. Yeah, it's basically like. So, some people use it for like a sunscreen purposes, or like just a moisturizer, or like some people legitimately have like skin problems where their skin breaks out. A lot of people in Japan do that, yeah. Like, it's a thing, not like accepted in the West, I think. But have you used it? No, I, I, I use BB cream too, like if I go outside. That's one thing I do 100%. Because the thing is here. I used to break out too. Like that actually happened to me before. I don't really happen. I don't really experience it anymore any skin breakouts, like any of like zits showing up and whatever. I don't have that anymore. And the thing is here so, what's amazing about BB cream is like a lot of guys don't like to, you know,、uh, use like moisturizer and this and that. Like they don't want to do anything like tiring. You know what I mean? So, like, BB cream is basically like an all in one package kind of thing. You use it once and, like, your pro- problem is like all gone. Like, that's literally what that is. So, I figured out the cheat code a while ago. <coughs> BB cream tutorial. You just buy it, you just use it, that's it. Like, there's like nothing breaking more than that. And I figured out that cheat code, and now I have been just kind of like doing that forever too. Where the fuck is Tokinokane? Something like WD 40. I don't know what that is, but that's a thing in Korea, in, in Japan. I think Koreans started doing it first, and Japanese people kind of like copied it. That's what I think is the situation. Where is the freaking Tokinokane? But by the way, which BB cream, any name?、Uh, I use like that one thing called a、uh, fuck. <laughs> Uno BB cream? Like the one you can find at a convenience store. Do you guys want to see what that is? Do you, guys, do you guys want to see what that is? It's basically like the thing that's got everything. I just have to find a convenience store. Like that thing is everywhere. So, BB cream is like, so in Japan, like guys, you just see it this way. Like it's a thing that's a moisturizer and that's also like a sunscreen. And sunscreen's like so freaking OP. I didn't know that. Like, I actually thought it was not that important. But that's so OP. And then, like, a lot of guys usually like struggle with zits and whatever stuff, right? And it works so well if you care about hygiene and your skin tone's like so important to the point where if your skin's like breaking out, then people think you just don't wash your face, right? And that one thing kind of solves like all the problems, and I have been using it forever, but like, <laughs> let me find it, okay? <laughs> He's gonna film a GRWM video, and we'll be like, today I'll be using this brand of BB cream. So, like, I will probably not do that because I'm not interested in the whole thing yet, and I don't think I will because I'm like that one lazy dude, right? So, I don't think I will do that, but. Like, if you were in Japan, and then if you. Oh, Michi, you gotta use it too, like, actually. Like, so here's the thing. In Japan, there's like this one weird concept called a seiketsukan, which means like a. cleanliness? But it's not really what it means. Seiketsukan is like what people freaking talk about in Japan, which means it's like how clean you look. Or like. It's not about how good looking you are, how clean you look. This concept is like, let me just go to that convenience store. This concept makes freaking no sense. Fuck. Wait, let me just Google a convenience store. Kawaii, this. 
And like this concept makes no sense, neatness. I don't know, man, like nobody knows. If you ask Japanese people, nobody knows what that is. Nobody knows. Like, nobody actually knows what that is. Like people talk about it, girls talk about it, guys talk about it. Nobody knows what seiketsukan is, like cleanliness. Like nobody actually knows what that is. So you shouldn't be able to explain what that is because nobody really knows. So the thing is here,、uh, the truth about seiketsukan is your freaking skin tone, like 100%. That's what I figured out. So, like, BB cream, that thing is a cheat code, 100%. Like, that's a cheat code. And then, yeah. Let me just use Google Maps and find out where a convenience store is. But let me, let me just show you, like, what I kind of use in Japan. And it's cheap, too. And that thing just solves, like, all the skin problems where you just. You don't even have to do anything crazy. Like, that one thing is like a game changer. Like, if you ever like wash your face with like this face washer, whatever, whatever, do you know like what I do? I literally freaking fa- like wash my face with water. Like, I don't do anything else. I mean, you know what? No, I use sh- my shampoo. <laughs> like, actually, I, I use shampoo to wash my face. What the fuck is this place? Let me just check this place and let me just go to、uh, the convenience store. I. Literally freaking wash my face with my shampoo because I'm that freaking lazy. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> you know how I just literally don't care about things because I'm just so lazy, right? Oh, it's just a freaking parking lot. You guys wipe your face with the same towel. I'm not gonna read that, but yeah. But it works so well. I mean, you shouldn't really do that, though. You shouldn't really do that. <laughs> <laughs> like, obviously, you shouldn't do that. So, I'm that one person, right? So, I'm that lazy. But somehow, the use of like BB cream kind of like just solves everything. Because, like, again, sunscreen, moisturizer, like everything you need to kind of like have when you go outside. And I didn't know about it till recently. <laughs> And that thing is OP, actually, if you ever care about that. And let me just go to a convenience store so you can see it. Cream things is bad for sport purposes?、Uh, probably. Probably. What do you use for shaving your manly beard? I just freaking use、uh, some like electric shaver. I don't use anything. I don't use like a, you know, a cream or anything. I'm that lame and lazy, yo. I'm serious. <laughs> like, I don't do is that a, is that a ring of e v i d e n c e I can just show it to you. Men just want to live a simple life. Ah, yeah. I don't like to do anything crazy. Let me, let me make sure if、uh, 7 Eleven's like there. It's there. It's there to my right. Is it hot already? Kinda, yeah. You can even use just hand soap as, as cream. That, even that, to me, sounds so freaking tiring. Would you ever do a bicycle stream? I thought about it. Maybe not. Did you have a haircut or something? Is it that noticeable? I thought like, I didn't really change the length. The creamers will get mad. You know what? The creamers will freaking rage. Yeah, it's there. Yes. I didn't really change the length, but yeah. It's because you have it down instead of up like last stream. Maybe. It's noticeable. Your hair got trimmed. Really? How do you have a haircut without changing the length?、Uh, j- Japanese people do that, right? Like the freaking、uh, thinning out scissors. That's what Japanese people do. And I just did that too. I, I, didn't, my- I didn't do it myself. but... I went to a place just to do that actually. Maintenance car. Yeah, 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 basically. Didn't change the length, just the width. Kinda. I mean, you're not entirely wrong though. It is not really what happened, but that's, yeah, that's basically what 
I did. A lot of people in Japan do it actually. And this is this the 7 Eleven? What the fuck? Where's where's the convenience store? You know what? I got trolled by Google Maps again. Fuck. Oh no, it's this way. Sending out scissors if they use that on my hair. Yeah. So like I heard it's less of a thing in the West or like outside of Japan. Like it's a thing. It's a huge thing in Japan because like Japanese people have like a lot of hair and they're like our hair is like so thick that it's a thing we have to use. But yeah, in the West, I heard it's not really a huge thing. It's a thing like Japanese people freaking have. Or we have like Afro hair. So, alright, so 7 Eleven's here. I'm gonna show you what I have because every convenience store has that. I want to believe. If it doesn't, if this place doesn't have it, I'm gonna freaking scream. I'm gonna say Rasenga when I leave the convenience store. That's what I'm gonna do, okay? So it's uh They don't have that here. They don't have that here. They don't have that here. La senga. La senga shuriken. La senga. I watch Naruto. God damn it. Yeah, there was no, um, I thought I couldn't get that anywhere though. What, lube? I mean, I, I found lube instead actually. Let me go to Takinokane. I want to actually go there. How will you do that? What do you mean? Was it anything hard for you to do? Not the blue BB bottle. Ah, that thing is not what I use, no. I mean, it's one of those, yeah, it's one of those things, but that's not what I used. They didn't have what I used, so I'm like, eh. They probably think he stole something. No, 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 they probably thought I'm cringe. They don't care. Let me just go to Tokinokane. I'm gonna use Google Maps, like actually, for this. How expensive is it? It's like only seven dollars. Not even seven, it's like five? Six? She did steal something, their hearts. You're talking about that one movie? The anime thing? How did you learn English so quick? I grew up speaking English, so. <laughs> So I don't know man, like if you mean that, I don't think um <laughs> quick. But by the way, let me let me talk about something. I'm actually 32 as well. And I grew up speaking English since I was like seven. So yeah. Uh yeah. The BB cream could be your sponsor. Ah, uh, you know what though? So like, let me talk about something. Um some huge company messaged me the other day and uh, this one company was like, hey, are uh, you looking for a sponsor? Like, we can sponsor your channel, bro. <laughs> and you know what I did? I ignored the message, yo. I was like, that's probably somewhat savage, but let me ignore your message. And I didn't reply to them. Yo, that's probably the most hardcore stuff I've ever done. Let me see the uh, donation here. Extreme Riot, it's hot outside. Go back to 7-Eleven and grab a drink. Stay hydrated. I was actually thinking about that, but thank you so much for the donation. Did he learn English or Japanese at school? Both. But I grew up in Japan. And Tokinokane is like this way? It's this way, yeah, it's this way. Just take the sponsor? No. The thing is like, so you think it's like an easy thing to do, right? If you do a sponsored video, like, what happens is, like, you have to at least, like, you have to put, like, a 30-second video they want you to put in your video, right? And then they check your video, too. So, like, there are things you cannot do or say 
and it's not gonna really change my channel but I just like I don't know man like that's gonna probably make me feel like I'm working instead of like trolling on YouTube right and I wanna stay away from that so why not again like so you know how like you watch anime because you like anime right but if your parents tell you to watch anime because you have to watch anime like it suddenly changes it's similar to that kind of if that makes any sense it's like you are doing what you like to do but suddenly if you are told to like if somebody's telling you to do what to do suddenly it gets boring kind of stuff that's not make any sense that's basically uh, what happened to me so I'm trying to stay away from that and Tokinokane, I think it's this way. Let me let me actually find a place. Thirty like is working. You think I just work for thirty seconds? You know how like putting like a thirty second video is a bit different. I I I, I don't know if I have to explain it here, but if you want to, you know, sure. I'm gonna talk about it too. So, uh, putting a thirty second clip they made for you in your video means you have to work more than that. It takes more because like it's just you work on your video right first let's say you have like a video that's like 30 minutes long right and then what you do is here you show it to them first and then uh, they will check it first they will check it first and they'll like make sure if it's something uh, they want for their advertisement purposes you get the part right and they'll check it. They'll tell you what to, what to do and what not to do and stuff, right? And then, uh, if it meets their requirement, requi requirements, then they'll say something like, okay, now this is something we can use for our purpose. Can you say this? Or can you just do this in the video? And we do it. And we send it again to them. They'll check it again. They'll tell you to revise it. Like, oh, can you say it like this? Can you talk about this part? Can you do this part? And then, repeat. And then, after a week, they say, yes, you can finally put out the video. Does that make any sense? So it's not really just like a 30 seconds, oh, you win kind of situation. And is this Tokinokane? Yeah, this is actually. Let's go. This sounds like a lot of rules. That, that's what it's like to work. That's what, it, like, that's what it's like to work. And that's kind of exactly why I stay away from like all the sponsors. I used to do sponsors before. You know that, right? I did sponsored videos before. And I said, nope. You get a lot of money though. Over there. But it's more, it's not really like, I don't know, man. Like, if you want money, definitely it's worth it. But... Are you Japanese? Yeah, I am. This is Tokinokane. So many spirits. Just a little bit of a little bit of a little You don't do sponsorships because you have integrity and appreciate your fans. Uh, I mean, these, I mean, even when people, even when YouTubers appreciate their fans, they still like do sponsors too. In my case, I don't know, man. I just don't like to work. Like, on my channel. I, so, like, I'm saying this. So, like, I treat my channel as, like, a place where I hang out with my high school friends after, like, classes. After, like, the school's over. Like, this is, like, you know, us just talking after class and, like, we are talking about whatever stuff. Like, you, I'm basically one exchange student from Japan, and you guys are like, you watch anime, bro. <coughs> That's how I see it. So, wouldn't it be weird if I suddenly, like, started talking about this sponsorship and that sponsorship by this merge, right? You get that, right? So that's basically uh, why I don't like to do sponsorships, like sponsors or whatever. Like, I put out things, but that's really it. <laughs> I'm not doing YouTube for money, I'm doing it for attention. That, that's basically what I'm, why I'm here on YouTube. And like, if you think about views and sub count and like donations and like, 
the other revenue suddenly it gets boring. Yeah, like it was, it was like that for me. Toki no kane dou shita? Ano jinja ga toki no kane rashi yo. So. So that's too real. It's not unreal. It's just more that, like, I, I've been clear about this. I did sponsor the videos before, too. I did, like, uh, some streams where I decided to get, like, donations to pay f to pay my actors on my channel. I did that before, too. That burnt me out within, like, six months. And then I was like, I'm gonna just change what I do. And boom. Like, now I'm just walking around in... Wait, 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 wait I missed something? But now I'm just walking around in Japan. Fuck, that's the bell? So guys, please donate, yeah. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, no donations for an hour? No donations? You guys are watching my streams and no donations? Uh, what is that girl again? Uh, what is that girl called again? Do you guys remember? Uh, that girl who got canceled for saying that. No donations? What's that girl's name again? Do you remember? That was Pokemon. No, it's not Pokemon. No, Pokemon never said that. No. In that situation, yeah. You don't have five dollars? It's not Pokemon, bro. Like Pokemon didn't say that. No. Well, what is that girl's name again? What's she serious? Wait, dude, Michi, you don't know who that is? It's not SS Sniper. No. Forgot her name. Everybody forgot her name. <laughs> It's not Sniper Wolf, yo. It's not, it's not Sniper Wolf. It's like this one girl YouTuber who actually like was serious about like that. She got mad because nobody was giving her donations like for freaking like five like minutes or something. <laughs> Do you guys want to watch the clip here? Okay, so that's the, that's the uh, bell. Wait, let, let me just go to a random place. Or let me watch it. Not worthy? Wait, dude. Minx? Uh, something like that, I think. Let me just go to uh, that place and let me just watch it. Amrath? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, she is kind of chill, I think. Uh, let me just watch the uh, video here. Uh, what was uh, her channel again, though? No donations? Like, seriously? No. Let, let, me, let me watch it here. You guys, are, you, you guys are curious about it, right? No donations? Like, no donations? Uh, what was her name again? Greedy Streamer. Can I just search Greedy Streamer and find her? Yeah, yeah, here. Yeah. This girl, this girl, this girl. It's not Pokemon, yo. Like, Pokemon never said that. I mean, Pokemon got cancelled for whatever stuff, but it's never Pokemon. It's like somebody else. It's the, this, 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 this lady. You remember? This, this lady basically said like, No donations! I've been streaming for one hour and no donations. You guys are watching me for free. No donations. Uh, this video freaking has like 10, like 14 million views. Yeah. Like something like just join my memberships or something. So like, what the? F no donations. So what was her name again? What was her name? No donation girl. What sort of free, yeah. I don't know if you can hear her or not, but she's basically saying like her view would suck because like she, she's not getting donations. <laughs> I feel like OnlyFans is like an easier business model than this. Let's go to uh, uh, that place. Let's go to a castle. Can somebody say go into a castle? Can somebody say go into a castle? I'll pin you. I, that works. But yeah, so if you guys don't know about her, that's some amazing content ever. I actually really like her because she did the, uh, you know, she did the uh, most insane, like, <laughs> MS Crew, thank you. Sorry, boss. Forgot to do it. Thank you so much. But she, she basically did the most insane, like, like, truly meme comment, but she meant it. Like, she instead meant it seriously, and she decided to become the internet villain because she wanted money. 
but instead she became a streamer and she talks about whatever stuff and she has fans too so she has like a lot of like fans that are in her membership stuff which means she kind of does she kind of does a lot of she kind of makes a lot of money i think she makes at least like three thousand because if you do memberships you do get like a lot of money but yeah uh she was going for the extra milk and <laughs> she she got so much hate so <laughs> which is just amazing yo I really like her. I mean, I really like the people who are extra, like, extra, extra. What do you think I'm doing now? Yeah, didn't she say something like that too? Are you inside them? I am, yeah. I think she got cancelled for her diet, but like, she said a lot of crazy things. Like, you guys are watching my stream for free, and you were supposed to pay for my streams. No donations! <laughs> Who is she? I forgot her name. Like nobody knows her name on my channel. Like you know what's you know what's interesting? That's like how much nobody cares about like that thing. Because like every time I ask, like if my viewers knows know about something, there's at least like one person who says like, oh yeah, that girl's name is this. But nobody said her name. So which means like it's bad about it. Yeah, yeah, never mind. Somebody knows. And Akseru, bro, drink. Thank you so much. I will buy a drink. Well, thank you so much for the donation. So actually, there's a one person, there's a person who knows uh, what her name is. So I was wrong, actually. But yeah, it seems like nobody <laughs> knows what her name is. Bad Bunny. Okay, I want to watch her. Like I wanna, I wanna freaking watch her channel, and I wanna give her donations, and I wanna get canceled for giving her donations. Like that's what I wanna do. Can I get? Can I get a writ? No. Can I do that, everybody? Can I just watch her channel? And can I give her donations? And I, can I get cancelled for giving her donations? Is it something like I'm supposed to, I'm allowed to do everybody? If so, I will do it. Oh, it's to my left. She's known either as a Twitch thought. Yeah. But I guess like she succeeded because like she wanted that attention and now she's getting that attention. That's, I think that's kind of smart in a way. I wouldn't agree with that strategy though. I wouldn't do that myself. But, I mean, she's getting what she wanted. <laughs> now she's getting clout. So more ad revenue, right? Don't support greed. I know, I know. <laughs> I was just joking. <laughs> the thing is here, so like, let me talk about something. So like, uh, I honestly don't mind her. Like, I don't hate her or anything. I think it's just that one thing that happens on the internet. So I don't hate her because you know, it's just what she's doing. But the thing is here. So everybody started talking about her. And then uh, even Penguin Z Zero mentioned her. So like a lot of people discovered who she is. And a lot of people went to her channel to hate her. But the thing is, she still gets ad revenue from that too. So like people are trying to hate her, but supporting her that way, which I thought was interesting. Because <laughs> like... Let me talk about this from like my perspective as a YouTuber who streams, who makes videos. We want attention. We want 100% attention. Whatever attention that is, we want it. That, that could be my thing, but we want attention. Like, yeah, so hate watching doesn't work. It doesn't work. It gives us motivation. So like, yeah, I have to tell you here, like the hate watch is still a fan. Yeah, we want watches. Yeah. Do you remember Playmate Tessel Tessie? She's crazy. I don't know who that is. There's a freaking school here. The fact that people still support her, it's kind of sad. Wait, people support. Oh. Wait, are they like uh, all like uh, guys with erections? Do they have erections? Do you know about that, by the way? Is it still a thing? Do they still like have erections like while watching her uh, streams? Johnny Samurai. Yeah, Johnny Samurai got freaking hated, but like Johnny Samurai has like a lot of fans too. So you're right, Michi. And Logic, thank you so much for the donation. No donations! No donations! No donations! You guys are watching my streams. Like. <laughs> But thank you so much for the donation. I don't even hate watching. Uh, so like, let me talk about this. 
So when Juni Somali was doing whatever he wanted, he was doing, I intentionally avoided talking about him on my channel. If you guys know about my channel, like there was like this one period where I literally freaking didn't talk about him like at all because I knew giving him attention is exactly what he wanted. And that's kind of why he did the whole like problematic stuff. So I didn't talk about him. And then he got arrested. And then I freaking started talking about him to like basically make fun of him. Cause I knew like at that point, nothing mattered because everybody kind of knew about him. But yeah, so now he basically became the uh, living clown that's basically <laughs> ruining his life for a living. <laughs> Do you also stream on Twitch? Ah, YouTube only. Having elections on watching stream is crazy, yes. Hi to this channel, yes. Sora knows from his teaching days how to deal with delinquents. Uh, delinquents want attention too, 100%. Like, they want attention, that's kind of why they do bad things. It's like a, their way of uh, uh, showing who the boss is. If they get ignored, they hate that. Like, they want attention. So, and I think it's this way too. Can you believe, like, that's a freaking house? Attention deprived, yeah, yeah, definitely, 100%. My brother is a teacher and he had to deal with students like that. Yeah, I mean, they exist, yeah, 100%. Why did you leave teaching? <laughs> I was like, something gets so loud. And that was the most amazing bike ever. Do you guys know why I quit teaching? I thought I, I've been kind of obvious about it too, but do you guys know why I quit teaching? So I was an English teacher before, but do you know why I quit teaching? No pay? Yeah, I talked about this before. So uh, teaching jobs are something you do if you just like it 100%, not stressful, no. It's insanely low pay. Uh, it was insanely low pay. Can you guess how much money I got versus how much money everybody gets in Japan at the, at the age of like 25? But I'm gonna just give you the answer. I got $900 a month. Everybody gets about 2,000 in Japan. And I worked more than like other people. 1,000 a month. I didn't even get 1,000 a month. I mean, there was like this one month where when I got 1,000, but that was like me freaking working like every day, nonstop. And then 1,000. And the thing about it is like here, uh, I don't really want to say like I was so good at it or anything, but the thing is like, if you were in Japan and if you speak English and Japanese both kind of fluently, and if you were a teacher, you were considered to be like, one of the top teachers because in Japan all English teacher teachers in Japan don't really speak English they are teachers but they still don't speak English like they know how to teach English but it's for like tests and stuff you see so many English teachers in Japan that even never went abroad that's the thing so like I was actually one of like the top teachers there at the school but still that was the reality so what was the point for me, right? Because like, for me, there were like other things I could do. And then like, I started my sub career, which is like a voice acting. And that thing blew up quite fast. Uh, I was able to support myself with, but only just by doing voice acting. I just kind of decided to quit. And now there's like YouTube too. YouTube is not really something like where I, I generate money though, but that kind of works now to just support myself, I guess. So. That's a house? That's freaking huge. Let me change my mic, because my mic is gonna die soon. The era of freelancing, yeah. I still do it though, by the way. Daredevil, thank you so much for the donation. Did you find the BB cream? Ah. Do you guys really want to see it though? I don't think it's worth it. Dude! Wait, that's Dango. Wait, 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 wait. Dude, 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 that place freaking does Dango. Wait, dude, I gotta cross the street. The place, that's dangle. Dude, 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 fuck, 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 fuck. 
Fuck, fuck. Six, 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 six. He only gets less money on YouTube. I, me doing voice acting definitely pays a lot more, 100%. Me doing YouTube is kind of like a waste of time if I'm doing it for money, yes, 100%. Dango, dango. Wait, let me, let me change my mic. No jaywalking in Japan. Uh, it's not really like a huge crime. Can you guys hear me now? Can you guys hear me now? The heck is dango like? Uh, think of steak, but it's dango. Where are you going, bro? There. And then castle. There's a castle there. You actually live right now? Uh, no, this is a pre-recorded thing. I'm not live. I'm not streaming. This is not live. This is like me, you know. This is a... Uh, I did this like, you know, uh, in 2022. This is not live. Yeah, you're watching like a pre-recorded stream. I'm not going to do that. Matsuri dango. Matsuri dango? What is matsuri dango? But so you see like that place, Manju, and it says like Kusadango. Dude, I gotta I gotta go there. 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 Dango is steak, kinda. It's like rice with but it's like rice but steak. I'm gonna freaking cross the street here or road. No cars. I'm not gonna film them. So I'm gonna just like put my camera like this, okay? People don't exist here. People. People don't exist there. Uh, in that dimension, there's like nobody there. So I don't know what I'm doing. I just decided to leave because people don't exist. Fuck. I wanted some dango, yo! Damn it! Eh, let's just go to the castle. It's deserted, yeah. Eh. Get a matcha. I wanted to get freaking mochi, yo. That's like one of the best things ever. Who's ye yelling out? Oh, it's just the people playing tennis. Or like students. Dango san kyoudai, 1999. Yo, oboite na sona. Dango san kyoudai. Wait. The wait. The castle's here. That's, that's the castle. We didn't see the rabbit. What? Yell Rasengan to summon stuff. Rasengan Shuriken! Wikida Shirabeta. Yoko Boitin. Kyle Garsha? What castle are you going to? Uh, Kawagoe Castle, I think? Maybe, but thank you so much for the donation. So it's here. And it's. Is it here? It has to be here. Castle with sunrise, yeah, you know what? You should stream at night sometimes. Uh, you know what, like, I'm, I'm thinking about, like, streaming at night. I've been. Because I want to go to, like, some spooky places. Well, let's see. When are you going to dress up like Naruto? Eh, let's see. Oh, wait, there's no castle? Wait, Ato, wait, fuck. Wait, there's no castle? Wait! Wait, there's no castle here? Wait, what? 
Cloud will go, Asha, go to Takeshi's castle. Castle, I'll think about that, thank you. Oh wait, what, what, what are those though? Karma, car, car, caramel dancing at night again, if you want me to, sure, why not, but yeah. Castle remains? I, I don't know what's happening. Let, let me just, let me check what is actually happening around here. Got scammed? I mean, I didn't pay for it, so. But I guess I got scammed, yeah. What's happening to your mic, Sorash? You're slowly fading. Uh, is it out of sync? Is it out of sync? If so, like, I can fix it. Is it out of sync? I don't think he remembers. I remember that, yeah. Is it, is it out of sync? If so, like, I can fix it now. Your voice is fading. What does that even mean though? I'm kind of curious about that. Volume. Let me fix it then. So my volume is like, hmm. Then how about this? How about this? Is it better? Is it better? Castle is now a parking lot. That sucks. <laughs> the castle is now a parking lot. Dude, this sucks. The castle is now a parking lot. <laughs> I mean, there's something here. Night Spine's literally just one guy, yeah. I mean, I figured it, but still. Sound normal to me, yeah, okay. It is what? It's just a parking lot. <laughs> a rest area, well, like, whatever that's called, like, right here. They massacred my boy. <laughs> Why do they have to scream when they play freaking like a sport? What the fuck? They literally have this place so I can just rest? Dude. That's so Japan. Are you lost? Not really. Like. Yeah, what is this place? Where is the samurai? Do you want me to actually find a samurai? Because I know one place that has like samurais. They're screaming because they're passionate. They could be freaking like from Dragon Ball or something. Samurai Doji no Tatakayo Mitai. Anime Miro. Anime Miro. Anime, miro. I hear screaming, yeah. Those people. Oh, yeah, they're playing baseball. That's typical. Like, they are supposed to scream in Japan for whatever reason. I don't know why, bro. So, let's see what this place is. <laughs> Kitchen. <laughs> Kitchen. <laughs> is now a freaking place where you rest god damn it we are witnessing one reality that sucks i came to a castle but kitchen god damn it that sucks <laughs> this is a kitchen yo and freaking kids are screaming it's like hey where are they but it's a kitchen god damn it this castle is a parking lot and there's a kitchen and what the fuck is this place like what is this what is this this is where the castle was i think yeah but like i don't know what this is kitchen <laughs> you know everybody that's a kitchen yo what do you think what do you think yeah you know what like probably they freaking like decided to erase the place from the history because the kitchen was way too powerful they live in anime this I don't know what this place even is, but that exists, but the kitchen got erased from the entire world. Don't know bruh. Oh. Best anime kitchen ever. <laughs> oh 
wait, there's like freaking something big here. That's what she said. Oh! How old moving kitchen? Yeah. It's only just a kitchen. Is it a shrine or something? I still don't get the joke. Well, there's no joke. The kitchen doesn't even exist, but that's a kitchen. <laughs> Vending machines, yeah. The thing is, like, this place is kind of beautiful, yeah. I'm kind of happy I came here. To be fair. It's like, it really feels like I'm in, in Kyoto. But there are no strict rules, like I don't have to worry about anything. Kind of thing, if that makes any sense. Because in Kyoto, there are like a lot of rules saying like, do this, do that, or you suck, right? The ghost of the castle. Yeah. Yo, his, yo, his tips are crunch AF. It's the freaking dirt, yo. Shrine, kitchen, shrine, it's a kitchen shrine. Aren't you tired walking? Not really, not yet. Which is the one like, which is the uh, one? Which, which one is the three? You know how if you come to like a, a shrine, there's usually like a, this one tree, huge tree that has gods in them. Like that's what people say in Japan, right? Oh, which is the uh, Goshinboku? Which one is it? Is it that one? Aresuka Goshinboku te. Anime tree. Yeah, basically, you can say that, yeah. The MILF has Viking blood. Ask Jules. Eh, Goshinboku, kochi ka? Okay, ho. Eh, dochi ga okay no ga wakanai nsiyo. Achi no ga takai nsiyo. Demo kochi no ho ga futoi nsiyo. Eh, dochi da? Is it this tree? Oh, they f have their wishes here. Yeah, they have their wishes here. Yeah. I want to get in Kawagoe High School. I hope to pass the entrance exam. I want to get in Kawagoe. Oh, yeah, they freaking put in those here. Can I just put my stuff here? Saying, like, I want to defeat Dio. I'm not going to do it, though. That's Emma, yeah. You have to write a wish. Interesting. Damn, wishes. Is there a wish I want to get an anime girl? I mean, some people do it on the internet, but they actually don't do it at a place like this. Because this is a real place. So, you know what I'm talking about, brah. You can do it if you want to. Nobody's going to stop you. I want some dango. You know what? I still like want some dango. Kawagoe Konko wa Shingaku. Hey, so nai yo. Hensachi te dongurai nano? Shingaku te kota 65 toka ka, daitai. Jisho Shingaku ga 60 nan da yo ne. Naratta seito kara, sensei datta zuki ni. My wish is go to Nihon and hang out with Sora and also Ichika Nito. Dude, Ichika Nito is like freaking some next level dude now, bruh. I haven't talked to Ichika Nito because like... He, he was a person who was kind of like... Huge on YouTube before now, right? But like now that dude actually became... So popular. Like that dude... <laughs> yeah, he freaking su became successful. He got on TV, he did a collab with like... Shohei Otani. Like I was like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> dude, that dude freaking actually became so successful. Yeah, God, Nito. Like, when I first met him, he was still, he was just a talented guitar kid, right? But now he's actually a musician, like, that's freaking traveling, like, in the world. So, I'm not going to be able to do it. Crying cat meme, yeah. 
like I, mean, I knew he was gonna get successful but i just didn't know like he would actually freaking go to different countries and play music and he still like gets fans in every country i never thought it was gonna happen like i i knew he was gonna be successful but i'm like what the fuck not the blonde guy oh that guitar guy you know who i'm talking about right ichikanito so there's like a, this guitar guy who's just really good at playing guitar i met him like three years ago four years ago so i met him because like i messaged him and he was like oh yeah i knew about I, I know about you too and we were like yeah then let's just do a collab and we did a collab but that was like three years ago and then he actually became so successful and like he's now like doing a world tour i think like maybe he's in japan now and he did that collab with like Shohei Otani the other day, the baseball dude. And I'm like, dude, what the? <laughs> I was like, what the? Fuck? <laughs> Success and intelligence is something so uh, obsessed, obsessed, obsessed over with. I mean, it's more like, well, I mean, you can say that, yeah, I guess. Sir, do a world tour. The thing about it is like, if I do a world tour, it's not gonna be a tour. It's me just freaking traveling. <laughs> like, it's just literally me freaking just, you know, <laughs> visiting places. It's different from like Aichika doing a world tour. So yeah, I, I don't know, man. Just started falling, man. You definitely trolled Takashi. That dude is actually chill too, by the way. Takashi is like so chill outside of his channel. I thought Takashi is like a serious dude who just only talks about serious stuff. Uh, I don't know what that means, but thank you so much. But thank you so much for the donation. I don't know what that means, but thank you. So Takashi is actually so chill. Uh, he, I thought he just doesn't like to talk about anything stupid, but he talked about pee pee poo poo with me and he was fine with it. He was fine with it, yeah. Me sleep, bye bye. The interviewer? Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought he was like so serious, but no, that dude is like, uh, he, he's actually hilarious. Can I get something there? Nah. Do they have ice cream? Yo, they do, they do, they do, bro. They do, bro. Dude, dude, they do, but not here. Takashi seems genuinely likable. Uh, the thing is, like, that dude is, like, so fun. And that dude is, like, really positive, too. So, like, did he interview you? Yeah, uh, he did that on his channel. I, I interviewed him, him on my channel. In my style, he interviewed me on his channel and his style. So, like, we kind of interviewed each other. And the thing is, like, um, uh, that dude is, like, so chill. And he's so positive. Like, he didn't talk about who sucks and who doesn't suck. Usually, like, when I talk to a lot of people, like, there's, like, this one thing a lot of people do where they say, like, oh, I don't like this, I don't like that, I hate that. He doesn't, he didn't do any of that. He straight up, like, just said, like, oh, I'll try to keep things, like, positive around me because I feel like I get better things that way. And I even asked him, I was like, so, like, which YouTuber do you not like, bro? And he was like, I, there's, like, actually none. Like, I don't even have, like, a, any beef with any people. I mean, it's kind of, like, important not to have, like, any beef around me either. And I was like, okay, that's awesome. So. What a dude. Yeah, that dude is chill. That, that dude is chill. He, he's, like, yeah, he is really good at talking to people. Like, so, I talk to so many different people, too. But that dude does the same. He, he, like, the thing, I don't know if I can say this, but, like, so we are doing, like, something similar. Like, we are actually on the same page as to how we do things. So, so we do, like, the similar stuff. Like, what we do on YouTube is different, but, like, what we are aiming for is, like, really similar. So he talks to a lot of different people. So like he has like this freaking amazing communication skills where he doesn't give a speech about what he likes to talk about, which is like what a lot of people do. But so he doesn't do what, you know, Powder Bay's ex-boyfriend did to her. There was a castle before here. Bye bye castle. How do you feel about Japan? Yes. 
自分自身苦手っていうか自分すごいと思ったことはないかな How good is his 英語 He didn't seem to want to speak. I mean, he speaks English. I mean, you guys know about his channel, right? He speaks English there. So, and it's not really like he didn't want to speak English. It's more that I don't think he has anything like that, honestly. Well, he speaks English, right? That's kind of why he has a channel where he asks people questions in English, right? Our princess battery pay. Gave that guy a chance. He wasn't her BF, yes. I know what you mean, but I just was kind of being stupid here and trolling. <laughs> Should I go to Japan? What do you think? I think it's important to like ask yourself too. Like, do you want to come to Japan? Let me just go back to my car. Battery pay, don't you guys? Hi. That's gay, yes. Let me just go back to my car. Japan, I want to go. So, so, so. Where's my car? Can I walk? Fuck, it's like 30 minutes away from here. <laughs> Fuck. It's gonna be a tough like, walk. But let's go, everybody. We got this. Go to Japan. Yes. Do you want to go to Japan? Yes. I don't know. 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 Tokyo for nine hours, like that's what I do. So I don't mind doing this. I like doing this too. It's that dude again, that freaking loud biker dude. Japanese famous YouTubers who don't speak English is being replaced with Japanese who's bilingual. I don't think so. I, I, I actually don't think so, but yeah. Because like famous Japanese YouTubers are. Popular with like Japanese people, right? If you do a channel where you speak English and Japanese, you typically have English speaking viewers. So, like, our viewer base is like completely different. So, so are you AI? Yes, Weeb Anime Cultivator. <laughs> I want to be like you, so I might feel tired after two hours. I don't know, man. I just walk a lot and I play a lot of like freaking sports as well.、Uh, I want to go through、uh, this road. That, that looks fire, right? Yeah. Let's go that way. Have you gone to a different country? America, Canada.、Uh, that's it, really. Oh, Korea, actually. You sound like a jock. Is it, is it a compliment or is it a roast? <laughs> you sound like a jock. Yo, Sora, you sound like a jock. <laughs> you do sound like a jock, bro. <laughs> also, thank you, by the way. Sora, remember when I sniped you and I said I was shaking because I was shy? Wrong. My boyfriend said it's, it's because I'm autistic as f o r k based. You can have autism, but you shaking has nothing to do with like, your autism, is what I have to say. I don't know if you're trolling or not, but you having autism has nothing to do with like, your autism. 100%. So, that's, that's a bit different. I mean, I know you're trolling, but I just wanted to actually、uh, make sure about that part. And people shake. The, I mean, like, when people meet me like, when I'm streaming, they shake. Like, 100% of the time, they shake. I haven't really seen any people who haven't, like, who didn't shake at all. And thank you, Hans. You're my favorite American YouTuber. Thank you.、Uh, thank you so much for the donation. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I, want, I think I'm Japanese, but thank you so much. I have like a lot of uh, uh, 
I know some people who have like hardcore autism too. I don't really think shaking has a, shaking has anything to do with like your autism. It's like what I can have to say. Yeah, but yeah, you know, you know, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. I still get laid though. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can tell. I can tell. That's just what happens when you get excited. Uh, the thing is, like here, so you know how I've been saying, like I like to meet a lot of different people. So I do meet a lot of different people every day. So there might be some people out there like who saw me at some place, or like who even met me on the internet just talking to random people. Like that definitely happens a lot. And the thing is here, um, when people stream snipe me, they shake 100%. They shake. They kind of get scared, I think, because people are watching me too. But they shake a lot less when people randomly notice me on the street. Like they don't really shake. Or like when they figure out I'm that one YouTube person, they don't really shake. So it's like a different thing, right? Are you acoustic? Yes. People don't have to become vibrators. Some do. Some become freaking the most hardcore vibrator. And I find it amazing. They just go like... <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is this? Oh, yeah. I remember this. Let's go. Yeah, I came from that way. Let's go. Acoustic or electric? Both. Our Gaijin's gay. What? When you're gonna collab again with Hiraki. I don't even know if he even does YouTube. I don't think he's done anything on YouTube like for a while. As far as I know. Get sniped by PewDiePie. <laughs> like, dude, that's actually hilarious. Like, PewDiePie actually shows up and he goes like, Hey, hey Sora, I watch you. C can I take a picture with you? And so, Sora, yeah, like, if that ever happens, I'm gonna love for, like, 100 hours nonstop. <laughs> he is, like... He is one of the very few people that wouldn't do that 100% in any dimensions, in any universe. It is impossible for him to show up saying like, Sora, I watch you! No, like, there's just no way. There's seriously no way. I actually know he knows about my channel. Uh, he reacted to one of my stuff before, which was amazing by the way. It's sort of more well-known among us, the Japanese one manga. Ariel, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Uh, you can actually figure out the answer here, but what do you think? Ariel, do you think I'm popular with Japanese people or like non-Japanese people? What do you think? The most obvious answer is actually there, but what do you think? What do you think? Ariel, what do you think? I think you are popular amongst Asian gaijin. So you are saying gaijin, yes. The most obvious answer is here. Do you see Japanese people on my channel? Yeah, that's like the most obvious thing. And the answer is you don't really see uh, Japanese people on my channel. And if you see a Japanese person on my channel, that's rare. That's like you freaking finding like Mewtwo, like in Pokemon, like that's kind of like what that is. You don't really see, uh, you don't see foreigners on my job. Like, no, you don't see Japanese on my channel. There's like Michi too, yeah, but like, again, Michi's obviously, you know, he stands out because he's Japanese too. And if you see Japanese people on my channel, they're like learning English. Oh, yeah, because that's real? People are not real. Or <laughs> well, whatever that means. Attracts like so you are an American. No. Yamamoto ni honjin cha. Yamamoto san ni honjin sio. Yamamoto san ni honjin ni honjin. 
Mitch is a cheater who left me for Paddle Bay. So you guys were saying. So wait, did, did you did you did you did Michi uh, get on you? Like, did you write his? Michi さんレアポケモン。Michi はレアだな。で日本人レアだからな。Or a WTF? I don't know because. <laughs> Can I do one way conversation? Yes. <laughs> oh, you watch this now? Yeah. Oh, awesome! Wait, do you want to be on my channel too?、Uh, I'm streaming now, so like, oh. Yeah, I just saw you pass by earlier. Yeah, yeah, let's take a picture if you want to. Yeah. yeah. You don't want to be on the channel, right? You want to be on stream, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to film you if that's the situation. Don't worry about it. Is it okay? Yeah, yeah, sure. We can, we can film. I mean, we can take a picture. Where are you from, by the way? Uh, we live here. Yeah. Oh, are you Japanese? Japanese. Half. 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 Yeah. yeah. We currently live in Japan. Awesome. Lasen shuriken. Lasen gan. Lasen gan. I I watch Naruto. Naruto kakoi desu. Kakoi desu. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Naruto, <laughs> kakoi desu. That's <laughs> Enrique. Yeah, you too. Yeah, you too. You too. Thank you for noticing me. So yeah,、uh, thank you so much. Did you want to say anything to like the stream or anything? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yes. But you don't want to be filmed, right? You don't want to be on stream, right? It's okay.、Oh. Uh, but it's okay though. It's okay to be I just want to say. Oh, so you want to? So you you you? Okay. So you mean like you can be on stream? Yeah. Okay. I just had to make sure because some people don't want to、oh, be on. That's right. Yeah, that, that's actually a thing. I usually try to be extremely careful about that. So yeah, here, you can say hi to everybody, and then. Well, you live here. You said.、Right? Yeah. Yeah. Say hi, everyone. Rasang. <laughs> Wait. So you guys are half Japanese. Yeah. yeah. Like, half Japanese. Half Japanese and half Filipino. Well, I compare. Ah, well, I compare. Ah, I. Didn't answer for more. But the answer. Yeah, I just know. Wow, some, you, you I don't know how to speak. Oh,、uh, I have a lot of Filipino friends, so I kind of know how to say some certain phrases. But I'm not in Tagalog. But yeah, that's my life basically.、Um, do you have like a YouTube channel? No, I don't have a YouTube channel. But I do games, and in our group chat, there's a friend of mine that always. We sh share your live stream because really he always yeah he always watch your stream and he often shares it. So when you passed by earlier,、mm -hmm. I noticed you right right、oh, away. So it's not really like you were watching my stream, but you just kind of noticed me, so you just decided. I'm, to... I'm not. I'm not. Uh, what do I say? Yeah. So you were not watching,、I'm、but not, you just found me, right? I do watch, but not really. Not、uh, every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, not every day. I know what you mean. Yeah, you have a life basically. <laughs> That is amazing. So, like, can you give tips to、uh, tips of like how to live in Japan to the people that are watching this? Some people are like, because you've been in Japan in Saitama, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Any tips?、Uh, I don't really have tips in mind, but yeah, the so social life here in Japan is like a little sad because. Japanese、I actually know、are. what I mean. Yeah, yeah. it's way、really、really different、yeah. from the Philippines. Ph、yeah. Filipinos are、yeah. like really outgoing too. Like、yeah. it's really easy to make friends with like Filipinos.、Yeah. I felt that too. Actually, that's kind of why I have like a lot of Filipino friends. You know how you can talk to some random people in the Philippines and they will、yeah. be friends with you, but ne that never happened in Japan, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That just never happened in Japan. Yeah, so that's like kind of hard to become friends with Japanese people. But yeah, so I guess I'm gonna go now because I'm actually trying to find my car. So,、uh, oh. did you have like anything else you wanted to say? Oh,、uh, do you watch anime? Yeah. yeah. What、I、anime do you watch? Do you watch? I mostly watch、uh, like Isekai animes. Attack on Titan. Yeah. <laughs>、uh, Attack on Titan right now. I don't. I haven't watched. Na Naruto. I've watched you watch Naruto, bro. <laughs> Gosh, I watch Naruto a lot, yo. Yeah, yeah. Everyone is everyone is saying Rasengan. Yeah, Rasengan. <laughs> well, yeah. So I'm gonna look for my car. Well, thank you so much for noticing me. You, you, you can obviously、uh, share that picture everywhere if you wanted to. You can send that to everybody. You can say like the cringy guy spotted in Japan or something.、Yeah. But yeah, so have a great day, great night. I'm gonna talk about Naruto and disappear.
So, uh, well, you guys live in Saitama, you said, right? Yeah. So it's like, do you live in Kawagoe? Uh, no. We, we're only here to visit. Oh, so you're kind of like traveling, even yeah. just Kawagoe. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. So uh, have a great day, great night. Take care. Bye bye. Eh, I I watch anime. Naruto. Naruto, kakoi. Naruto, lasenga. Naruto, mitai. Ebis shagua. Ebis. Onigiri dai dan baito. Tami. Tami, 420. 700,000 です。トミーファイヤーボール。トミーファイヤーボールって何？グレイテストヒッツ。I think I somebody just gave me a donation, right? Didn't someone just give me a donation? I'll check it now. I don't want to miss it. How do you feel about the Filipinos? They are energetic. They are, they are friendly. They are polite. They are friendly. Like, American friendly, Filipino friendly, those two are like different. Like, American friendly is more like, yo, bro! Filipino friendly is more like, <laughs> How's it going? It's just difficult. Hands, thank you so much for the donation. Oh no, yeah, SMG candy, man. I will use the ultimate arigato. Thank you so much for the donation. Like, Filipinos are more, how do I explain it? They are more shy. Like, it's not shy, but they're friendly with lower energy level compared to Americans. Like, Americans are like, yo, straight up. That's my impression. What about Indians? Yes. Can I actually freaking make a video that's named what I think about India or something? Like eventually. <laughs> We call those types dude bros. You don't, so like, uh, I, in my case though, you don't really see like a, those like bros in the Philippines. You see those a lot more in America. For whatever reason. That's my impression. It's a permanent link in your description. <laughs> yeah. Like every time I get people like, you know, asking me what I think about India, I just freaking link the video saying like, yo, this is the answer, yo. Watch it, and I win. It's hard to make friends in Japan. I would say so, yeah. It is hard, yeah. 100%. That's one thing I just have to say yes to. That's so true. Making friends in Japan is hard. Oh, no. Let me rephrase it. Making friends in Tokyo area is hard. If you are in Osaka, that's different. Osaka is a whole different place. Like, you can make friends with any people in Osaka. That's a whole different place. Talking about India for one hour. Should I really freaking do a stream? Like, name something like, what I think about India. And then, I just <laughs> say like, <laughs> I just freaking watch Indian videos and I just talk about India, the whole freaking stream. What about Okinawa? It's still Japan, right? The only exception so far from my experience is like Osaka. Osaka is different. Other than that, everybody is still like Japanese. So. Let's be real. Everywhere you can find scrams. Sc 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 scrams? You made friends with a guy in a Ferrari Nico. Yeah. <laughs> that Japanese dude. <laughs> that was like a rare case too. I was like, wow. That actually freaking happens. What will you do if you if you can't speak Filipino? I'm gonna freaking say Patinen nan titimo, Patinen nan titimo, 
put down Inamo and I just win. Like, the first phrase I learned in Tagalog is actually put down Inamo. I heard that means hello. Like, that's what I heard. So, like, my Filipino friends, like, I made back in university when I was like 19, they came up to me and they were like, Do you speak Tagalog? And I was like, I don't, obviously. And they were like, Do you want to learn it? And I was like, Why not? And yeah, those dudes were like, Just say putang, putang inamo. And that means hello in Tagalog. And I was like, Okay, that's awesome. And apparently, by the way, uh, so putang inamo is basically like F your mother in Tagalog. And I didn't know that. I thought it just actually means like hello. So I was like, Okay, so putang inamo is hello. But in reality, that means F your mom. And then uh, I saw this Filipino girl, right? And I wanted to kind of show her that I know Tagalog a little bit. So I was like, oh, by the way, I speak Tagalog a little bit. And she was like, oh, really? Can you speak it? And I was like, putang inamo. And you know what happened after that, so. But the thing about it is like, Filipinos are kind of chill about that. She left super hard. She was like, ah, 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 ah. Filipinos never get mad about that kind of stuff. Like, I don't know why, Filipinos never get offended. Like Filipinos are so chill about literally everything. The only time they get they get offended is like when you say Filipinos food is bad. Like Filipino food is bad. If you say that, they get offended. Other than that, for whatever reason, they never get offended. They laugh about it. I still don't know why it's like that, honestly. Like I can say putangina mo, like patininam puke mo, like if your mom show me your vagina, they never get offended. But if I say uh, lechon sucks, which means like uh, lechon's like their favorite food, right? If I say it, they get mad. I still don't know why. <laughs> like, is it bad though? I don't know. I kind of like Filipino food, but that's how Filipinos are. Like, I don't know, man. They literally freaking get mad if you say like Filipino food is bad. But other than that, they laugh about literally everything. They don't care. We take cursing lightly. Yeah, that's yeah, like which I think is like freaking hilarious. Nobody told me to like stop saying like, you know, like F, like F U C K in, in Tagalog. Nobody literally told me that. I'm like, what? Mabuchi. Mabuchi ってなんですか? Mabuchi. Why don't you wear a kimono? Uh, I don't think people wear a kimono in Japan, actually. I mean, I can, but like, I'm streaming, so. I... Yeah, see? Now this guy's like, Jolie B sucks. You know what? He's gonna get canceled. He's gonna now, he's gonna freaking get surrounded by 10,000 guys. And now he's gonna get canceled. Dude, your life is over. This guy said Jolie B sucks, bro. He's gonna get canceled in the Philippines. Filip Filipinos. Filipinos out there, jump on him. You got this. Just, just say like, <laughs> you think Jollibee sucks? <laughs> no, your anime taste sucks. <laughs> and you can brushing on his face. You got this. I noticed that most countries think that their food is the best. Ah, true, 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 true. That's so true. That is so true. That is so true. How to put on a kimono, that's so true. Like nobody actually knows, including myself. Jollibee does suck, I know. And that's kind of why you are like half mad too. You know what I mean? I can't see Abigail. You got you got blocked by somebody or something? Is there a drama going on? <laughs> Is there a drama going on? <laughs> That's amazing. Putting on kimono is easy. Eh, maybe I don't know. I've never I've never like um, I've never tried it on, so I don't even know how it works. I just. I feel like it's hard to like put it on and go outside and walk with it too. Washoks, <laughs> I don't know, like, 
somebody is saying like, I cannot see Abigail. <laughs> somebody has like rash on you, Abigail probably. And somebody's like, I cannot see, I cannot see Abigail. <laughs> What do you think of India? Konishwar. Yes. I'm here. Hello. I uh, I guess. Hans, thank you. So, uh, do you watch Masaru? I don't know what that is. I don't watch it, but thank you so much for the donation. Mr. Tona, I kind of want a donut. Man, never mind. Hello there. What's up? I was in the samurai village. Now I left. I'm going back to my car. Did you ever get a drink? I am gonna get a drink when I get to get back to my car. What, well, should I just get a drink here? What do you think? What do you think about Filipino food? Uh, I went to like Filipino restaurant, this Filipino restaurant twice. I like rice, yeah. I like Filipino rice. I wanna see someone get drunk. Ah, uh, that actually happened twice on stream. But it's like straight up poisonous. So I don't know if I like it or not. I don't like to drink. Get ice cream? Nah, I've been staying away from ice cream. That thing is bad, yo. You know what I'm saying? That thing is bad, bruh. Thai and Vietnam food are good. Asian food is not the same as Asian food. What's your YouTube channel's password? Poop, poop lover 420. Mario Say, thank you so much for the donation. Thank you. The day, thank you so much for the donation too, by the way. So I broke up with ice cream. <laughs> yeah, we had a fight. We broke up. <laughs> Get Miss Do Kawari. You know, like they sometimes like do uh, like all you can eat uh, Mr. Donut event. I've never been there, but like, it's, it's a thing like they do. And I didn't know it's a thing. I want dango. What's the point of getting drunk? It literally makes no sense. So you think it's like, it makes no sense, right? From my perspective, it makes no sense either, actually. I don't understand why people get drunk. But it's also important to it's important to try to figure out why some people do it, right? So uh, some people like do that to deal with their stress. Like that's actually a thing. Like they get drunk to forget that they are living in this painful world. Like that's actually what some of uh, the people do. I, which I don't understand. Okay, I don't like to drink. So they forget how shitty their life is. Yeah, so... That's their coping mechanism, I think. I'm not really sure. Maybe? I'm not sure, so I shouldn't say anything. Never mind. I'm not going to say anything because I'm not sure. But that's what I feel like their way to deal with their life. But that's just what I think. I'm not sure. I'm going to go that way. Is it this way? Ah, oh, nah. No. That way is better. Beer tastes like mouthwash. Yeah, so I don't like beer either. I never understood why some people like beer because like it basically tastes like nothing to me, but some people freaking like it, right? So I'm a guy with the most childlike tongue ever, so I cannot taste any of like those things well. I just basically drink Coke and Fanta, and I just go like, oh, yo, this is the, this is the shit, yo, bro. That's my life. So I just never understand, but you know, some people like it. When were these drunk streams? Like freaking three years ago. Like in 2021. What about root beer? I don't like that either, honestly. Anime tastes bitter. Yeah, 100%. I'm not gonna doubt you. Why are there like so many people coming from that way? I miss the old Sora. Do you really want me to just scream like, ah, ah. is it why you like bitter? I mean, if so, that's interesting. Because in reality, that's what people seem to hate. 
in 2024. <laughs> I can actually give you some data about this too, but that's what some people like. But 90% of the viewers out there seem to hate that now. I have like actual data now, actually. No, please don't. I know, yeah. I mean, I just know the demand is like kind of gone. Nobody likes that anymore. Because the reality is here. P Pizza, I have a question. Do you watch I Show Speed? Do you watch I Show Speed? P Pizza, I have to ask you. Do you watch I Show Speed? Do you actively watch them? You do n that now? Anyway, I don't think I do it a lot like I used to. The thing is here. So, do you watch I Show Speed? And if you say yes, then like I Show Speed is like dominating the market in that field. So everybody watches I Show Speed instead. If you say no, then there's no demand already, right? So that's kind of like how it works. So, like, YouTube will like stream sorry, kind of all based on demand and supply. I Show Speed is cringe. I think he's amazing though, honestly. He's really good at like what he's doing. Let me just get a drink there. No? So pizza, now you said like you don't watch I Show Speed. So like that kind of makes sense, right? So I Show Speed is like exactly what I used to do, like in 2019 actually. And then if you don't watch it, that means you're not interested in that kind of stuff anymore. So like that's the formula here. If you watch I Show Speed, then you just keep watching I Show Speed and like you tended to watch my channel a lot less. But yeah, that's the uh, demand and supply on YouTube. So some YouTubers quit YouTube when they cannot figure out what to do. That's the formula. Let me just buy a drink here. Let me turn off my TTS and everything, which was not on. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Do you watch Sora? Sora has matured. Well, I mean, I still like do a lot of acting though. I kind of miss old Sora when he didn't talk about anime weebs 24-7. I talked about weebs in anime 24-7. I didn't stream that much. My channel has been a place where I talk about weebs in anime 24-7. You can watch my old streams. Or like my videos. My video literally freaking blew up with me watching weeaboos. <laughs> That's how it started. <laughs> Dude, me, my channel blew up with like me reacting to weebs in the first place. What did he talk back then? Uh, how to say whatever, how to say cringy stuff. Yeah, but the thing is like my channel is all about weebs and anime like since the very beginning it, It's been like that. I can I can estimate the uh, BB cream. God damn it. Fuck. I can show you. I can show you I can show you I can show you And yeah, I mean you said like I don't talk about anime 24 something that, that, that is true But like that's just all about what they pay attention to but I can show you something my channel blew up with like uh, anime no, not anime, weebs in the first place. That's that's the beginning of like everything. You, 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 I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you like the exact uh, thing of like what I'm talking about. Ready? Are you guys interested in this, by the way? So here, my channel blew up, blew up first because I started talking about weebs and like literally anime. Like I basically decided to do like a real life anime series, and then, yeah. I do it a lot less now though, by the way, to be fair. It's just like, I do a lot of like streams now. So it feels like I talk about anime a lot more because I do streams now and you see me a lot more where I just answer questions and stuff too. But nah, I talk a lot less about anime now. It's just more that there are more streams now. But here, ready? Uh, so I blew up using doing uh, this video, ready? You learn something about this. I talk about anime a lot less, to be fair. But here, my channel blew up with this. Like, literally, Japanese reacts to weebs. So my channel started with talking about weeaboos. 
that was the beginning of everything. Then, like, a lot of people started watching my other things. And then, Feel the Ring, this and that. And then, this series was all, all about, like, anime parody. And it kept going on for six months. Like, in every video, it was like, anime this, anime that. And then, uh, we even freaking did anime. Like, actually anime. Now, if you watch my videos, you don't really see anime. Like, actually anime itself. Like, anime this, anime song, anime this, that. Uh, like, anime cover, anime song, like, anime again. And then, uh, actually doing an anime cosplay here. Anime this, and what if I tell weeaboos I'm Japanese? <laughs> so, and weeaboo girl, weeb Japanese, weeb, weeb, weeb. It's like four years ago. So, like, the thing is, uh, I don't really do it now, to be fair. So, like, actually you see a lot less anime weeb stuff if you watch my channel like here see you don't really see the word weeb or anime anymore in 2024 but like, you see a lot less now because the thing is here i uh, i don't really think people care about the term weeb versus like what japanese people think about it anymore so but that's the proof if you think i talk about anime and weaves now uh that is not that's not what's happening is what i have to say decided to make each channel entire about weaves well uh to be fair though <laughs> it's not just one video or anything so you probably missed that one video about how i <laughs> grew up i grew up with weaves my channel has been about me and foreigners marius hey thank you what do you this is the best anime. Do you think it's the best anime this year? I've never watched anime, so like I don't really know much about it, but thank you so much for the donation. So here, literally. So this is like old, that's sorted by like old, right? So this is eight years ago, okay? Boom, eight years ago. I'm a weeaboo. I'm still like, I already was talking about it eight years ago. Does that make any sense? <laughs> so again, like, Pizza, you missed this one video called uh, Japan was the worst country to me. I talked about how I grew up in Japan. I grew up with weebs. So like this freaking weeb thing is something I grew up with. I didn't suddenly start talking about weebs. Talking about weebs is like something I've been doing since I was like 19. <laughs> so it didn't suddenly st st like start. It's been a thing forever. So... <laughs> and... <laughs> <laughs> but sure, I mean, that's whatever too. <laughs> Me looking this cringe shit show is more gay, yes. But I just had to do, uh, mention that here, because that perspective is like something I didn't see myself, right? The progress bar? Uh, so... That thing confused a lot of people, the progress bar, it's actually called a DR or something, I think? So like, for whatever reason, if I have that thing on, people start lagging. I don't know why, but yeah. I miss your lab coat. I, I lost my lab coat. <laughs> it disappeared. Sora-kun's video, Sora-kun's reaction to Oshii, ah, that's what I did, ちなみに. What did you major in uni? Uh, translation, actually. So I did like a lot of uh, translations back then. And then I sub-majored psychology. Sub-majored in psychology. <laughs> he mellowed down the anime tech names a lot recently. Well, to be fair though, I... Screaming anime techniques has been a thing on my channel forever too, to be fair, since my channel started. The most like obvious example is like uh, the How To Say series. Like I screamed anime techniques like at the beginning of every video. <laughs> like that's what I did, by the way. Like in every video, I started my video with like me screaming anime techniques. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I, yeah, I started my streams with like Star Prachina, like the world though. So I do it a lot less now actually. I just do Rasengan when I want to embarrass myself. But yeah. Uh thank you. 
You know what's funny? Every time I say suika de onaishimasu, the cashier goes kado. How do they even get kado from suika? <laughs> That's hilarious, but thank you so much for the donation. He didn't act like a 12 year old in every stream. I. You know, like, I acted a lot crazier before, right? By the way, pizza. Wait, I got chill. I got chill, actually. I can show you, like, the exact proof of, like, did do you guys know what kind of stuff, like, I did before? Wait, pizza! You, you probably started watching my streams from, like, a different dimension. You, you know, like, what kind of stuff I did before? MS Crow, thank you. If you weren't in v, v, VA biz, what would your dream would be? Translated, probably, but I'm kind of happy I didn't do it. But yeah, uh, pizza. Just because you missed freaking everything. I'm gonna show you everything, okay? Because I feel like you think I got crazy recently. No, I got more chill. I actually decided not to do any of those, like intentionally. Yeah, like I literally freaking screamed, like, fuck my ass. Like I was screaming. It's like, fuck my ass. I wanna fuck my mom. Like I literally was doing all the 14 year old jokes. <laughs> I'm being critical and judgmental. Yeah, I, I get that too. But I'm just saying, like, I was crazy before. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you, okay? <laughs> I think it's kind of interesting. No, uh, I'm going to show you, like, how I was actually so crazy to the point it was just not even funny or anything. It was just crazy. Why? Because he was, like, what everybody wanted to see. Nobody was, like, doing that. Yeah, do that again. Pizza. So, like, that's the problem. Do that again. You were, like, now so is 12. No. Like, <laughs> pizza. Logic, lo logic jump is happening here. I like that, so I'm gonna talk about it here. That's a logic jump. You, I thought you were saying like, oh, now so I was like acting 12. What I did back then was freaking like what 12 years, 12, 12 year olds do is what I thought. But now you're like, do it again. What? <laughs> but let me show you. I actually was a, that one cringy dude who had nothing to do on stream, so I just did crazy stuff to get attention like that's kind of what i did and i just stopped doing it because i was like you know what there's no point of like watching my channel this way so here let me show it to you let me look for those like uh, crazy times of like uh me going like <laughs> but yeah i stopped it at some point like two years ago did it for views it's more that like I saw a lot of people saying low, like, this is funny. So I thought it was like a way for me to make everybody laugh. But then I was like, I don't think any people are actually learning anything. Like, me being Japanese has nothing to do with like this channel. So yeah, uh, let, let me, let me uh, just expose myself here, okay? Because I'm pretty sure a lot of people didn't even watch the times when I was like extremely cringe. Like, it's not like, oh my God, so that's cringe. I was weird, like actually weird. And I thought it was hilarious. And you guys are interested in that, right? So I'm looking for the uh, streams I did before. <laughs> it was literally me. Like my streams used to start with me trying to flash my pee pee. <laughs> like, it was like a flash. It was like a fake flash too, by the way. It was not really like a real flashing. But it was like me like going like, three, two, one, go! And I freaking like tried to, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> take off my pants and stuff. That was like the beginning of my streams before. I don't do it anymore. I don't do it anymore. But <laughs> I thought that was like how to be hilarious. But like now other YouTubers do it. So I'm like, yeah, okay, I don't have to do it anymore. I kind of got chill about it. I'm still like trying to find the streams because there's like so many things I did on YouTube. I have to freaking like scroll down a lot. The pee pee song too. Like, I wanna see your pee penis. Like, I literally made a song called Fuck My Ass. Show me your penis. I was singing those songs like in every stream. I even like put out the song on YouTube too. Like, what I did back then was like extremely cringy. It was just weird. <laughs> I remember your mom like sh showing that. Yeah, like the thing is here, like I actually got chill. Like I decided not to do that anymore, even for YouTube, because I was like, you know what? Like I don't think any people are learning anything on my channel. That was my conclusion. But I can, <laughs> let me just try to find the videos here. Like my, my channel was legit, like just freaking full of cringe. Like not even funny. 
Wait, when did you guys find my channel, by the way? I have to make sure about this. Because I feel like a lot of you guys found my channel, like, within two years, right? And you didn't probably uh, miss the time when I was, like, doing actual freaking cringe stuff. Like, actual cringe stuff. July 2019. So, Aaron, you saw everything. You saw everything, yeah. You saw everything. VR chat videos, that's when I kind of got chill. Last week. I no longer know. 2019, okay. Four years ago. 2014. 2024, okay. 2020. Zephyr, you didn't probably see the actual cringy time, huh? Michi, four months ago? Yeah, let me show you. I did some actual freaking wild stuff. And uh, I thought it was hilarious. But now, I just think it's cringe. Well, that's something like I thought I was supposed to do on YouTube because I was like, okay, this works. <laughs> Everybody thinks this is hilarious. But then I was like, you know what? Like, what the fuck? Because a lot of people started doing it everywhere. So like, I felt like I don't have to do it now. Upload it for views. I mean, I can, but like, I don't think there's any entertainment. It's literally me screaming. <laughs> Even Zephyr is like, Zephyr is like, archive de chotto mita kiru kimoi kara amai minakatta. Even Zephyr is like, oh, I, I saw the archives, but it was just way too cringe, so I didn't see those. Zephyr kind of sees like a lot of my streams, but even Zephyr is saying it. Yeah, that was like actually next level cringe. It's not like, oh, yeah, you're a cringe kind of thing. It was actually like a bad cringe. It was like, what the fuck kind of cringe? I'm um, trying to find like a great video like a stream where I screamed and like freaking did whatever stuff because I'm where is it though fuck I cannot find anything <laughs> I have to like scroll down like so hard you regret it not really I mean that was like uh, some great experience I don't want to do that anymore but yeah eh, I have to scroll down forever but yeah I had like those times too, and like my channel was actually nothing but cringe, like actually, I'm not even trolling, like my channel was literally just nothingness but cringe. I watched most of the streams from our- yeah. <laughs> but to be fair though, if you guys are interested in my actual cringe time, uh, see... I think there's like a, this re-upload, like sort of the troll, like stream archive channel, I think. Watch that channel and just watch any of the streams I did in 2019. It was just cringe everywhere. There was nothing going on. Like actually, I literally freaking screamed saying like, Ow! and like, I literally put things in my ass. I, I would freaking, you know, get a phone and I would put in my ass saying like, fuck my ass. That's what I did. Because that, that, I, I thought that was hilarious. Like, that's kind of like what everybody was doing back then. <laughs> they were rough, yeah. <laughs> so, like, dude, I, <laughs> I don't do it anymore. Literally, yeah, I did that. Like, actually, I'm not trolling. Like, seriously. The no sword? No. So, I actually have a sword because I did a kung fu before. I even freaking, you know, uh, grabbed the sword and I put it in my ass. Saying, like, yeah, fuck my ass. And I thought it was freaking hilarious. So, like, I don't know, man. I got chill. Like, I, I actually got chill. I remember the 2019 scream so obnoxious and way screaming penis. Yeah, so like, I don't know, man. And it was just freaking all about screaming technique names, talking about freaking this anime, that anime. Like, Luffy kun kakoi desu. I still like do the same thing, by the way. But it was way too much. Like, my channel was like literally that. And then my channel suddenly became all about anime. Like, in 2020, actually, I played a VR chat to talk about anime everywhere. That's what I did. In street, like on stream too. I literally played VR chat to talk about anime everywhere. So I used to be funny. I don't think that was funny. Maybe you think it's funny, pizza, but I don't think so. I don't... I don't know, man. I mean, I kind of thought that was funny back then too. But now... Dude, it was full of cringe. Sora has been milking the anime content since 2020. Okay. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, I think so. 
I reviewed so much, so much anime and I reviewed the uh, Naruto and I watched anime on YouTube. Yeah. Good for you, man. You got my shirt. It's more like I just kind of, you know, I just watched my own channel and I just went like, wow, this is cringe. I still kind of feel the same way about what I do now still, but it was way too much, even for me. It's not really like grew up either. I just, it's like, if you do YouTube, you can have to like change what you do. If you keep doing the same thing, like people just kind of, it's not people. It's more like you have to know the theme. It's ironic because someone doesn't even watch anime. That's true. But so let me talk about something pizza. So you told me like how to talk to people, how to be friends, right? Pizza. So like when you talk to people, uh, you shouldn't talk at people about what you want to talk about, right? So there's like this one conversation technique where you don't talk about what you want to talk about, but you let people talk about what they want to talk about. That's like a way to make friends, actually. I've been kind of saying this. So I do this a lot, actually. I don't really talk about myself, but I listen to people and I let them talk about what they want to talk about. So it's not only just about anime, but I got a lot of like knowledge about a lot of things. Anime is one of those things because I see anime conversations a lot here. India, for example, yeah. So, like, the thing is, like, I don't talk about what I want to talk about, but I listen to what people talk about. So, like, I tend to get a lot of knowledge about everything. And anime tends to be a thing here because everybody's, like, kind of talking about anime here. But in reality, I can literally talk about a lot of things. What's the story behind choosing Sora? That means, yeah, there's, like, this character called Sora, like, from Kingdom Hearts. I can sound like him. That was the very beginning of it. So, like, if you try to talk at me about something, I can probably still, like, talk about it, too. It's not really, like, I'm a psychologist, but it's more, like, that's kind of, like, how I grew up. So, like, it's not only about anime pizza. I can talk about anything. I dare to talk about something other than anime. Let me tell you, I don't straight up suddenly talk about anime on my channel. I see people talking about something, something, and I ask questions. That's how it usually goes. I don't randomly start giving a speech about something unless it's something I have to talk about. You know how I start my stream saying like, this happened and that happened. And what do you think, everybody? I don't go like, I watched this anime, bro. And that episode was fire, bro. I actually don't do it, by the way. So it's about the communication skills. And I think it's important to like learn that too. If you think it's important. But that's, a, that's like one way to deal with life. What's the craziest relationship you've ever had? I don't really have like a lot of experience with girls so I don't have like any uh, <laughs> crazy stories talk about autism uh, autism is like one thing I can talk about I sub majored in like psychology so autism is like one thing uh, people think is like for whatever thing it's like like a disadvantage is like how people see right I don't really see it like actually disadvantage 100% it's a thing where people struggle when it comes down to like socializing right that's just one thing but they tend to be good at like some certain things because they can just focus on one thing forever like if they have to do one thing forever that's when they shine right because that's like what like autistic people do they just are so fixated on one thing so they might be bad at socializing with people doing this and that but when they do like a job where they research things or like they have to analyze things that's when they're sh like they, they freaking shine so in it world they do it really well because it's all about them doing like stuff by themselves but this is like freaking what i learned back in university and that's like actually what i can talk about adhd is like yeah similar to you think but like there's a huge difference though because adhd people tend to be just so uh like random like you guys want to do different things at the same time like it's not just like only one thing like attention deficit is basically what that is right so adhd people could be like the same too i mean there's like hyper focus too actually i forgot about that but you guys tend to be tend to lose interest in something like quite fast as well so you guys are more good at doing a lot of other things at the same time Whereas you cannot just like keep doing one thing. If not, so that's what would be your channel name? 
I don't know, man. Like that Japanese guy, Sora. <laughs> like that Japanese man, Yuta. So, but again, like psychology is like actually something I want to talk about. By the way, like psychology is something. If I can just give a speech about something, I can freaking talk about psychology. It's like math for Michi. Psychology is like what I actually talk about. By the way, th- this is like the most obvious proof. Watch my old videos, like when I actually started my YouTube channel. This freaking psychology related videos everywhere. Like that was literally how my channel started too. And there's like music and psychology actually. Those videos were everywhere. I don't do it now. Cause again, like I don't just like to give, give a speech about what you want to talk about. Like, I don't think that's how you talk to people. <laughs> so. Let me just do something really quick. Um, talk about things you love. Uh, yeah, I mean, I try to do that too. But one thing I have to say is here. If you just talk about what you want to talk about, people will be not interested in you. That's just how it is. Speedy Beak, thank you. I remember back your stream eating the spicy noodles. That was crazy and hilarious. I used to like actually hurt myself for like entertainment because I thought that was hilarious. And I, I don't do it anymore, but yeah. But that, that's like what I used to do before. So, absolute psychology. Yeah, you freaking remember that too. Like, I did those things before because I thought it was like what everybody wanted to watch. I mean, I, still people probably want to watch it too, but there's nothing you can learn from like those. Like One Piece, don't talk about One Piece, yeah. The thing is like, I don't even watch One Piece, but I can talk about One Piece because I got the knowledge from people. Like, I listen to people and that's kind of like how... Usually things go, I think. Yeah, like Lars. Lars, so he's uh he's he's from like Norway, so he's like Norwegian, right? Actually, like I want to talk about music theory and stuff too, because that, that's literally what I do, right? I us- I literally freaking made music on my channel. But that's something I don't talk about because that's something nobody is really interested in on my channel. So there's that too. Like figuring out what people talk about, want to talk about and trying to listen to them is what's more important and john and thank you you should ask our yuka-chan she's super kawaii who's yuka-chan but thank you so much for the donation you are a musician yeah i am still or like should i say i was (laughs) like you can find my uh uh music stuff on my channel like my spotify and everything I'm interested in the same things as you. That's crazy. Yeah, I like psychology. I like music. I like to know about people. I like to know how, like, so what I'm most interested in is, like, people. Like, I want to know why people act like this, act like that. I want to know why some people think like this. That's where, like, my interest is in. But again, like, I don't talk about that because, like, if you just talk about what you want to talk about, like, people are not going to freaking be interested in you. It's all about listening to others and talking about what they want you to talk about. So on a channel like this, especially if you have a YouTube channel, you have to figure out where the demand is. Mimichi, if you are there, you have to actually listen to this. You have to figure out what people are actually interested in. And then you have to talk about, like, what they want you to talk about. That's... How YouTube works. Oh, actually, let me fix it. Wait, that's just one thing. I so the, the thing is here. So like, I don't know if you guys remember the question or not, but like, thank you so much for the donation. Uh, you should ask out Yuka Chan. Yeah, I still like She's don't know super what. Flushed, rolling on the floor, laughing. I still don't know who that is, but thank you so much. So I don't, I don't, I don't know if you guys like remember my question or not. But when you want to talk to people, what do you say first, everybody? Tell me, tell me, what do you say first? Like, what's your opener? I was actually talking about this. What's your opener? So I can talk about this from like a psychological like point of view because like my sub major again was like a human psychology like how to talk to people like how to persuade people like that was my like sub major so I can talk about it here and the thing is here uh, when you talk to people the most like mistake a lot of people make is here 
you talk about what you want to talk about. Like, hey, what do you think about this anime? Or like something. You talk about what you want to talk about. If you do it though, it doesn't usually go well. So instead, you want to ask them what they want to talk about. Then figure out like what works the best. So basically, ask questions about them. And then, if you find out you guys have something in common, you can say, like, oh, yeah, I do that too. Like, I like that band. Then you can talk to any people, right? So, that's basically the formula here. I can just read stuff now because red light. What about autism? I feel like that went very well. So, autism is, uh, so I don't really have like autism, like ADHD or something. Like, when I'm being serious, I'm being serious right now. So, I obviously. You don't see any traits now. I act like one because <laughs> that's kind of like how YouTubers are. You know, that's kind of what YouTubers are、uh, like. So, autism. One thing I can say about autism is here they might be bad at knowing like what people are thinking about. Like, what they that's kind of like what they are bad at, right? And、uh, but thank you so much for the donation. So, they are not good at reading people's like facial expressions, but still, people with autism can be a great conversationalist if you don't talk about what you want to talk about. Just ask questions like, hey, so what did you do last weekend? And they will say, like, oh, I did this and did that and did that and I did th- and I did this. So, you just say, like, oh, you did that? Why did you do it though? Because I heard it's like not a real thing there. And they will say, like, oh, this, that. By the way, if you guys are curious, if you guys are curious, watch the part. When I talk to my stream snipers, <laughs> like, I do that with every stream sniper.、Um, I don't talk about myself, like, at all. Like, nothing. There's, like, no this, that. Thank you so much for the donation again. So, I want you guys to pay attention to the part where I get stream sniped by people. Well, like, just watch the archives, everybody. Just watch the part where I talk to my stream snipers. I literally don't talk about myself. Like, there's no me conversation going on. I say, I love to eat dirt. It is my passion. Thank you so much for the donation. And I know you're trolling too. But, so, like, let's say you love to eat dirt. Then the conversation ends. Because your opponent was like, oh, okay. That's it, right? So, if you want to keep our conversation going, if you want to be friends with people, you have to act like you're interested in them. And the easiest way to do it is to ask questions that starts with, start with what, when, why, how. That's kind of how it works. But yeah, this is like, you know, me talking about. What I talk about, what I want to talk about. So, this is like Michi talking about math. This is like Weebs talking about like anime. <laughs> and this is usually what people are interested in. So, I kind of decided to talk about this because I can say this is usually something everybody wants to know in general. I think everybody will say, like, oh yeah, we are interested in that too. But I can just talk about it from my perspective. The key is here. Don't say I in conversations. That's how you make friends. Like, that's how you make yourself look like you're a great conversationalist. The key is like, you don't talk about yourself. I actually learned this from like,、uh, hosts in Japan. Like, hosts are the people who drink with girls for a living. <laughs> But yeah, so that's just one thing. Can I freaking turn left here? What was I talking about? Besides that, I forgot what I was talking about. But yeah,、uh, <laughs> Jules, Jules. Alright, so let's just do the same like Sora driving so like Sora can listen to whatever stuff. Jules, pick one comment and send it to me through TDS. I'm gonna just like, you know, talk about that instead actually. <laughs> Or like any questions, whatever. Or. What the fuck? My, my coke freaking became hot water. Well, Jules, pick one and send it to me, and I will be cringe about the topic. <laughs> Or not.
<laughs> That's freaking hilarious. Opening with, are you from blank city? Then talking about where they are actually from usually works. That's, yeah, that works, yeah, that works, yeah. Like, question? And talking about... What do you think of Anyo Chan? I just listened to one of her songs and I teared up. So, swag? thank you so much for the donation. I don't know what that is, but thank you so much for the donation, too. Um, I can talk about that, too, actually. Did you read the book, How to Make Friends and Influence People? Uh, no, I, I was, uh, I freaking read this book called How to Persuade People in 50, 50 different ways. No, 50 different ways of, like, how to persuade people. Like, I actually read a lot of books and articles about psychology. That sounds familiar, too, but I don't remember reading that. Like, my way to go book was actually called uh, How to Persuade People. How to make people think that you're, like, you know what you were talking about. Like, that, that's, that was my way to go book, actually. Like, I used to read it freaking every day so many times to remember everything. And the thing is, um... Uh, let me talk about the Onichan, whatever thing. Like, what do I think about Onichan? I know you are trolling, by the way. So I don't know what that is. But if you were, like, trying to do the thing, like, where you were asking, still, like, asking me a question, but it's not working kind of thing. So the thing is here. You were trying to talk about what you want to talk about. If you see the pattern there, then you have to stay away from it, right? Like, you shouldn't think about yourself. Like, forget about what you want to talk about. Try to figure out what your opponent wants to talk about and starting a conversation in that field is how, you, how it works. That's kind of like how conversations, like, you never fail in any, any conversations. I mean, just, just watch my streams, like, where I talk to my stream snipers. I try to figure out what kind of people they are first. Like, I just go like, hey, so how long have you been watching my channel? And they're like, oh, this, that, like, this time, this time. So when did you come to Japan? What brought you, guys, what brought you to Japan? And then they also like, oh, I watched this and that. And I said, like, why are you interested in that? Like, why do you watch this anime? Talking about anime kind of works really well because it's like, a, like 80% of the time, it never fails in Japan, especially. Because anime is a culture. It's like saying, like, what Hollywood movies do you watch? Like, it's like asking that question, question to Americans, right? But it's just that too. And Jules, can you, can you send me a TTS? So everybody, I, I kind of decided to do this one thing where... I uh, I still answer some questions from like a comments while driving. I cannot read any comments when I'm driving. I physically can't because the texts are so small. But Jules, pick one thing that you deserve. Yeah, that you think deserves the most attention, and I will uh, answer that. So like. Pick, go, go for the ones that have a question mark. That usually works well, from my experience. I mean, I'll leave it up to you. Couldn't be anything. Like, it's sort of gay. That's fine too. <laughs> hey, you know what, Jules? I know you'll probably send me a freaking thing about India. Is my TTS working? It should be working. I just wanted to make sure. Well, maybe Jules is freaking dead. God damn it. <laughs> Are there Jules in Powder Bay here? If not, if not, <laughs> the TTS thing is like, no, it's not gonna work. God Jules damn it. Said, boxes or briefs. Boxes or briefs. So, you were asking me what I wear. I can just show you my underwear straight up. But, I literally did a video where I showed my underwear to people. So, I wear boxes, I guess. If you want to see what boxes I wear, scroll down. There's like this one, there's, there's like this one video called uh, How to Say What Color Is Your Underwear 
watch that video and the thumbnail literally freaking has my underwear. Wait, what? <laughs> Why are you interested in that? Do you guys actually freaking get anything out of like knowing what underwear I wear? Is it like what you guys are actually interested in? God damn. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> kind of hilarious how Jules picked that one. So. <laughs> Alright, Jules. I will, I will leave it up to you one more time. Pick something that deserves the most attention. Anything is fine. Or you can even just send me something yourself. That works as well. You know what? I want to hire more TTS people. Like more chill, like mods wow <laughs> thank you so much for the donation yeah I get it yeah wow it was like one of those like wow moments I get it I get it too but I had to I had to answer the question because like that's kind of like what I was supposed to do I didn't have a choice Ano-chan? So, this is where my knowledge shines, okay? So, Ano-chan, I don't watch idols, but I actually know who Ano-chan is, if I got, got that right. So, again, I listen to what people talk about. Like, that's what I do. I don't talk about what I want to talk about, usually. On stream, I still have to keep the conversation going, because, like, if you're a streamer, if you're a YouTuber, you are supposed to talk about something. So I, I do that, too. But usually, I never talk about myself. Ano-chan is an idol. She's a girl who was in this group called uh, Yurumerumo, I think. Like, you'll melt more. That's the English name. So Ano-chan basically blew up for being, like, a girl who's like scary and crazy right and what do i think about her i think she's really talented at what she's doing because uh, i watched a um, clip of her actually like last week because like she freaking popped up in my recommendations so she started a youtube channel and the first video like literally the first video got like seven hundred thousand views or something she has a lot of fans she has a lot of like worshippers which means she is really talented at being entertaining she has a lot of fans yeah i still like don't know what she exactly does but i know she made a lot of songs and her personality is something that attracts people but i know it's not her like true personality if you're on YouTube, on the internet, on TV, you 100% play character. There's like no situation where you're like literally being yourself and like actually being on TV, on YouTube. It's, there's like no way. Like people do something 100%. Like even me right now, I don't talk about things like this this much. I usually just stop what I am talking about and I ask questions like, hey, then what is this? I still like do it on stream though. I literally freaking ask people like, do you guys think one? Yes. One, two, three, two. Blue, red. I freaking ask you guys like that too, actually. That, that's just my habit. But a lot of people do that, yeah. And Anochan does it in the most extreme way possible. And I kind of think that's awesome. I don't think I can do it like to that extent. I mean, I did that before. But yeah. So... <laughs> Kind kind of interested in how you guys know about Ado-chan, Ano-chan, though. If you mean that. If I just heard that right. But yeah. Alright, Jules. Uh, pick something else that doesn't have to deserve attention, but that's worth being on stream. <laughs> How's that? How's that? I mean, if I want to talk about what I want to talk about, I'm going to freaking talk about table tennis. And, like, Alice Sena, that band, and Corp Klani. <laughs> but I never talk about those. Because <laughs> I know it's not what people are interested in. And that's not freaking... That's not how you have a conversation. <laughs> Pottery Bay, Pottery Bay experience, everybody. Pottery Bay literally had an, had an experience, right? Fuck! Uh, 
Uh, you know what? I'm not going to Shibuya today. I'm sorry. <laughs> I forgot about it. Yeah, it's kind of getting late. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Not today. I'll think about. I'll think about that game. But thank you so much for the donation. And I, so, like Mugen talking about gay, I can talk about it now here too. Actually, if you want to, actually, if you want me to talk about gay, so uh, I'm that one person who listens to people talk about things, right? I don't just give a speech towards people. That's one thing you want to avoid doing. On YouTube, it's different because like you are supposed to talk nonstop. Like that's what you're supposed to do on YouTube. But yeah, so here's the thing.、Uh, do you guys know that in the West, gay was something bad before, whereas in Japan, gay was something a lot of like shoguns and samurais like liked before. So. I、uh, I can talk about this actually. If you read articles about samurais and ninjas, or like shoguns, there were so many gay people or like gay sex. Like you can find so many articles and history where being gay or having gay sex or doing anything sexual to guys was actually a thing a lot of people did, and I think it's the same for pirates too, right? Like so, if you do research about like pirates, you can find some information about pirates having gay sex because there were no girls. So yeah, that's a thing too. But in Japan, if you read books about samurais and shoguns, yeah, there's like gay everywhere. I heard in the West,、uh, being gay was not really a thing. Like they accept past. So there was nothing like that. Is what I heard, but I'm not really sure about this. I just know a lot more about Japan when it comes down to this and the pirates. And then being gay is bad. Thing suddenly like started happening at some time in Japan as well. I don't think it ever happened in Japan, honestly. I don't think people ever freaking did the gay bad thing in Japan, honestly. So still like being gay in Japan is whatever. Like people don't care. Like literally, people don't care. Like again, I talked about this before. One of the most popular people on TV is called Matsuko Deraksu. Matsuko Deraksu is like the most obvious gay person. Everybody likes him or her, they, them. So that too. But yeah, so I can talk about gay. <laughs> or I can even talk about Mugen talking about gay here too. So he's talking about gay, this gay, that. I can talk about that from like a psychological like perspective as well. So,、uh, in the field of like psychology, this is what they say. So when you insult people, like so, let's say if you see a person saying like "you suck at this, you suck at that," they talk about that. They say that as an insult because that's their weakness as well. So if people Talk about whose Japanese sucks. Like if that's their insult, then they are insecure about their Japanese as well. Like in the field of psychology, like if people talk about their appearance, saying like you ugly, you that, you your hair sucks, your this sucks, then they are insecure about their appearance. Because let me tell you something. So if you grew up in a country where English is like a first language. Where everybody speaks English, nobody talks about that guy's English sucks. Nobody cares about that because it's not something you feel inferior about. That's what like people say in the field of psychology. So if you see somebody like trying to insult people, saying "gay, this gay, that gay," he might have something to do with like gay situation. Usually, it's true. Pirates love booty. Maybe, but yeah, even like. In the movie Pirates of、uh, what is it called again? The Johnny Depp thing, the Pirates of whatever stuff. I I, I forgot. Fuck. Do 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 do. Johnny Depp played、uh, this character, right? That guy is either bisexual or gay, right? To be accurate, to the pirate history or something, I forgot if it's true or not. But that's what I heard. I'm not sure. I just heard like. That character is gay or like bisexual or like in the actual book. There's like this gay sex scene or something. I I don't know, man. Law, Sora, why are you apologizing? It's all cool. 
アポージャイゼンで、デダイアポージャイゼン<笑> well, Thank you so much for the donation. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for the donation. And thank you so much for the donation again, too, by the way. So, yeah, there's that, too. So, it's just interesting things everywhere. Like, if you ever see on the internet, like, if you, if you ever see people insulting others on the internet based on, like, somebody's appearance and whatever, that's usually what they worry about as well, usually. If it's something they don't truly care about, They are not gonna talk about that in the first place as an insult. That's kind of like what people say in the field of psychology. I don't know if it's 100% true or not. There's like this tendency, that tendency too, but that's usually how it works. And the, the proof is again, like people don't talk about whose, Jap- whose English sucks. If you're from an English speaking country, And if you think speaking English is like normal, like you don't even care about that in the first place. So no, nobody talks about it. But if you're learning Japanese and if you're insecure about it, then yeah, you might say like, oh, that Japanese person, that that person speaking Japanese is bad. That's kind of like how it goes. It's coming from like insecurity, basically, if that makes any sense. But yeah. Anyways, so let's get back to the、uh, TTS event where. Sora reacts to TTS. Now I'm like one of those like a reaction channels now. But Jules, pick one thing that deserves some attention and send it to me through TTS. So, everybody, say something that's probably a question. It can be just an opinion too. Jules will pick something and send it to me through TTS. And I will. Mentioned that. That's kind of like what I decided to do when I'm driving. Because again, like when I'm driving, the only thing I can react to is like, again, like donations because text to speech. But Jules is gonna send me her favorite things through text to speech, like manually. And that makes the most sense. So if you get Jules' attention, yeah, you might be on stream too if that's what you want. <laughs> Fuck, I gotta turn left. <laughs> Sorry, I got desperate. <laughs> Jules said, Michi wrote, if you could start a YouTube channel one more time again, what would you do? I, from scratch. I know Michi is asking me that because Michi is actually trying to start his channel, right? So, with the knowledge I have, what would I start now, right? I'm gonna still like do the same thing, cause. So, basically, what's happening here is like my channel disappears, right? And then I have to start a channel. Or, like, does he mean, like, does it have to be something entirely new? Or what, what, what is the story here? What is the story here? So, like, if it's something like I have to start something new. Or, Jules, can you ask Michi? Is it like, does it have to be something that's entirely new? Being gay was normal till Christianity said no. The oldest gay marriage in the church was in the 900s and in Spain. Yeah. It's true. It's、yeah. an historical event. Yeah. So Christianity got banned in history in Japan, so yeah, that kind of makes sense, right? Yeah, but. 99% of people are slave mind, yes or no? S- s- slave mind? Wait, what? Wait, s- slave? <laughs> Wait, slave? Wait, did I hear that right? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, did I hear that right? S- s- slave minded? Wait, what? Wait, what? Did I hear that right? Wait, did I hear that right, Jules? Did I hear that right? S- slave minded? <laughs> If I heard that right, I. What the fuck are you talking about? Either way, what the fuck is that? Like, what, what is that question? What the fuck? So, if you actually mean like 99% of the people have the slave mindset, I don't even know what that even means, but I'm gonna just like say it that way, right?、Uh, what I think about that, I kind of 
disagree with it because I don't have slaves around me. <laughs> and I don't think I'm I'm like only I'm the only person out there uh, who thinks like this. I don't have slaves around me. I don't want to have a slave. I will feel bad about the slave around me too. So I don't think so. But you can you can think like that. I don't know, man. I mean, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna force you to like change your opinion on the YouTube. But thank you so much for the donation, either way. But yeah, anyways, and so I'll see what Michi asked me. Because <laughs> again, I'm not gonna freaking change like what he thinks about things on the internet. Like that never works. <laughs> I'm not gonna that question. <laughs> but yeah, so Michi asked me like, what channel would I start? If my channel is not a thing, with so like, can it? So maybe questions here, right? Like he's asking me what channel I will do if I cannot do like a Sorada Troll channel, right? That's basically what his question is, right? So the thing is here, I uh, right now I make videos about Japan, but my videos are actually. I don't know, like, if you guys noticed this one, I, but my videos are more focused on human interaction between Japanese people and other people. The most obvious reason behind it is because I learned psychology. That's kind of like what I want to talk about. So I know you guys didn't notice it, but if you watch my videos, all my videos are related to human interaction. You can do this, you can do that, you can say this, you cannot say that. If you say this, people will think about you like this. That's kind of what I do on my channel through my videos. It's about Japan, but it's about what people will think about you and how to deal with this situation in conversations. Like, that's what I do. But I make it look like it's about Japan because people on my channel want to know about Japan. That's the trick here. In reality, it's a channel where I talk about psychology still, but it's about people. So this, that's, that's what I'm doing now, right? And streams, I just show people like what Japan's like. And shorts, clips. And I cannot do those, right? And I have to start something new. And Michi, you were asking me this question because you want to know how to grow a channel yourself. So if that's the situation, what I would do is here. I would figure out what I'm good at and like what people want to watch first. So like I would check a lot of like other channels right now that's blowing up. And uh, so unfortunately though there aren't a lot of things I'm good at uh, as a guy who lives in Japan as Japanese that speaks English and Japanese. So I would probably um, I'm sorry, everybody freaking just got suddenly slower here. I would probably just talk about... That's actually freaking tough. Let's see. I still like want to do something related to Japan though. But I want to know what I'm good at first. Like I want to focus on doing something nobody can do. Like, I don't, like, interviewing videos, you know what, like, I might do it too, at first. I might ask people, like, what they think about this and that. I might do that first, actually, because that's the trend now. Like, I might just go to Shibuya and ask Japanese people what they think about foreign people. Like, that's what I would do. Because that's kind of like what's blowing up now. Like, Takashi is a great example. I will spend that first. And if that doesn't work out, I'm going to do something else. If it works out, I'm going to figure out what topic blew up first. Like, let's say I will do like different topics. Like, the first topic is probably like what Japanese think, think people think about, you know, Americans. What Japanese people think about Indians, Filipinos. I'm going to do freaking different videos, right? And then, like, how to be Japanese and whatever. I'm gonna just co cover a lot of different topics. And I will figure out what topic is the uh, uh, most attention-grabbing topic. And then, like, let's say if 
what Japanese people will think about Americans' video. Like, it, let's say that video blows up first, right? If that video blows up first, I'm gonna then make a video on why, like, what Japanese people actually think about Americans and why it happens like this. I'm gonna freaking make a documentary video because that's what people are interested in. And there's like demand and supply, right? Like, I view that what people are interested in. I'm gonna talk about it. Like, that's probably what I would do to grow my channel if I don't have like this、uh, viewership already. And if I'm serious about growing my channel, that's what I would do. But in Michi, in your case, you shouldn't do it because that's not what you are interested in. That's not what you are good at, right? You are good at math <laughs> and intelligence. You are good at like your like. I, I don't really think IQ is like what you are good at. You are good at your, like, how do I say this?、Uh, experiences as a smart student, right? So, I don't know, man. Like, that's what you are good at. So, I'm gonna probably focus on, if I were in your shoe, Michi, I would probably focus on, like, myself a lot more. Like, What I can do as a person who goes to the University of Tokyo, like math major, I can do this, I can do that. And if I can, let's see if I can do this one. I would do a lot of experimenting videos on myself. Like, can I do this as a math major? As a math major, can I do this as a math major? Can I figure out this math equation that appeared in this anime? Like, that's actually one great idea, too. Can I solve this problem that, like, You know,、uh, can I solve this problem?、Uh, like, the main character did in Death Note, like him. He did this within 10 minutes in the anime. Can I do the same thing? Like, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna challenge myself and make a video about it. Like, I'm gonna, so in this video today, I'm gonna see if I can actually、uh, replicate what Yagami Light did in the anime because I go to the same university as him and I'm. A math major, which means I should be able to do it. Let's see if I can do it. And I'm gonna make a video of like how like I'm working on a you know, math equation. People are probably interested in that too. Like, that's probably what I would do because it's something nobody can copy. It's something you are the only person who can do that, right? Like, basically, just doing something like that happens only in anime. And anime is like, again, like what a lot of people are interested in in general. And then working on a problem. As a math major, it's freaking hilarious. Like, what the fuck, right? Like, there's like a lot of things. Like, what is that, like, one anime? Like, Dr. Stone? Wait, do you guys know that anime? I've never watched it, by the way. Again, like, I freaking heard it from you guys too. Dr. Stone's, like, one anime where the protagonist is, like, a math genius, right? Like, he's, like, a math genius. He can solve problems, like, any problems in, like, freaking 10 seconds. So, like, I would do this one thing. What happens if. A math major at the University of Tokyo actually solves this equation. And the, the theme of like、uh, the vid videos here. So, like, the protagonist of like Dr. Stone is like so genius. Like, he can freaking do a lot of like solve math problems within like 10 seconds or something, right? Which is impossible. So, what happens if an actual math major does it in real life? Like, would it be anything close to the main character? Or, like, is it truly impossible? That's, you know what, Michi? That's, some, that, that's one thing you have to focus on. Like, why don't you actually freaking work on, like, math equations and math problems? Like, that happens in anime. Like, just do that, yo. Like, I feel like that works. I feel like that works the best, actually. I mean, I know that was, like, a random thing, but, like, everybody's curious if a smart math major that goes to the University of Tokyo can do it or not. Uh, it's not anymore. It was, but like、uh, AI kind of broke everything. Nobody is a translator anymore, like a true translator anymore. Like that just doesn't work anymore. But yeah, thank you so much, Jules. So, yeah, Michi, Michi, Michi.、Uh, just work on videos where you do like math equations like that, hap that show up in anime, right? And just do it and see what actually happens in real life. And like, If it's solvable for real life people, or like 
if you can actually do it within 10 seconds or whatnot, and if you can know how long it takes for a real life person who is a math major to solve that like problem. I feel like there's like a lot of content. Like Dr. Stone's like a great example. Or like just find a scene where there's like a difficult math equation in anime and just do that in real life and see how like just test how you would work on a problem yourself and show everybody how you would do it and like how long it takes for you to actually do it as a, as a math major but that's one thing and that way Jules uh, what was it uh, is a translate tra- does it pay you well as a translator uh, no uh, translator so not anymore is what I have to say in 2024 suddenly it changed the whole thing changed a lot of my friends lost their jobs uh, because of like AI showing up they are losing jobs now in 2024 uh, so you used to get like $200 for translating whatever stuff for let's say one hour as a good translator if you are like a top notch translator I uh, you would get like $200 an hour if you're like a, you know, like rank A translator. Like that's kind of like how it was before. Now, no, you don't get offers in the first place because a lot of freaking companies decided to use AI. And uh, one of the channels I work for, I'm a voice actor. It, uh, I'm, a, I'm a voice actor who is also a translator too. I work for a lot of YouTube channels. And uh, I work for this channel called uh, Yarn Hub now. I, I think I can talk about this because everybody knows like I work for them. So I do the voiceover for the Japanese voiceover for Yarn Hub now. I do like the Japanese thing. Yarn Hub just sends me a script that was translated by AI. 100%. That's not translated by humans. Like, there's no way. Because there are some grammatical, like small grammatical mistakes. Like I see some grammatical mistakes like here and there. But the thing is here, it's a long script, right? The grammatical mistakes are there, yeah. But the, I can only see three grammatical mistakes in each script. When the script is like freaking so long. It's like a 20 minutes worth of like script. And there's only three grammatical mistakes. And the grammatical mistakes aren't huge. It's something like so small. It's whatever level. It's like, oh, okay, so I just have to remember that it's not this but that. It's basically the difference between like it does this but it is this kind of thing. Bro, you got it all wrong. Before copying other Japanese AC creators, first think about copying other worldwide successful creators, though. Then combine ideas you like and come up with TH your version of it. So, if you, so I feel like you're talking about YouTube here. So, like, I can actually answer that here too. Uh, what was what was the donation again, Jules? Wait, can, can you send it to me again? It sounded like a, you have to know what's happening in the world first, rather than focusing on like the Japanese YouTube. Wait, did I hear that right? Did I hear that right? Jules, was it like, was it was it what I just heard the word like? What, what, what was the donation really about? Can, can you copy it and can you copy it and send it to me again? Like, you have to do a research about what's popping up in the world. Just copy and send it to me. You don't have to, like, summarize it. Just copy and send it to me. Because if it's that, I can talk about it, too. Just copy and send it to me. The donation. What is my favorite rock? Uh, the rock, as in the uh, wrestler. But thank you so much for the donation. So I can talk about it too. There's no wrong or right, actually, when you do YouTube. But yeah. And thank you so much for the donation. So if you want to be successful on YouTube, it's not about really like you look at the world or anything. I mean, that that's kind of like a way too. But the thing is here, you have to figure out what everybody's watching. 
you have to know who your viewers are. That's what you want to do. That's why you know, that's why you want to do first. Like first, uh, decide who you want to be popular with. Like, do you want to be popular with students? Do you want to be popular with girls or guys or businessmen or Americans, Japanese people? Like, what do you want to do, right? Like, that's what you want to freaking first think about first before anything. And that's kind of why, like, on my channel, there are so many people that are interested in Jap Japan or anime because that's what I'm going for. And if you watch my channel, everything is about Japanese related stuff. It's not really about just copy this and copy that. If you do this, it might work, but you will not figure out who's watching your channel, right? The only exception is Mr. Beast. His basically target was like, I'm going to get everybody to watch my channel. That's just next level stuff. That's not gonna work out. That's some next level stuff. Nobody can copy that. So don't do that, okay? So you have to figure out who your viewers are. Then, if your viewers are like Japanese people who want to learn English, like if that's your target, then you first copy what everybody is doing on YouTube. Like you watch those Japanese channels that are teaching English, you watch them, and then you kind of analyze why they're blowing up, what they talk about, what they do on their channels, and why they are huge. Usually, they blow up because they talk about something nobody else talk, talks about. Or they have this one American Japanese dude who speaks English and Japanese both fluently. That's usually the case right now, by the way. So you kind of have to copy it and you have to make it in, like, make it like in your own style too. Like, you shouldn't just copy them because if you just 100 person copy them, viewers will watch them instead, instead of your channel, right? So that's kind of like how it is too. And that, that's kind of why you don't really see any channels that are like my channel on YouTube because I do skits in Japanese for the people that are outside of Japan using my voice acting career, right? Nobody does that because everybody gets so shy being on YouTube. So like, some people do skits. Dogen is like one example. Dogen does that too, but Dogen is kind of like a doing a skit of like Japanese style kind of thing. But it's more like a Japanese comedy thing. But nobody actually does what I do on YouTube. Like where you speak Japanese to like make skits. Well, sometimes in English, the coolest guys like Dogen. But then actually doing something educational about Japan while making this live action anime. That's like my field. Like I figured out that's something nobody can do. So that's what I'm trying to do. And at the same time, I try to have some cultural like aspects to it too, so people can learn how Japan is like. And at the same time, I still talk about my interest, which is psychology. Like if you do this, this will happen. People will think like this. That's just my main interest, honestly. But I don't go like straight up like talk about it. So figuring out what works and then make it your own style is how you survive. Because if you just keep copying people, you will like lose yourself as to like what it means here. You will not be able to figure out who you are on YouTube and why people watch you. Like you cannot grow your channel or like people will not watch you because people basically watch you because uh, people want to see something different from other people, right? And in Michi's case, he, he got it already. He's a math major that goes to like the University of Tokyo. He can do the same thing in Japan too, by the way. Like, he can do the same thing in Japan because there aren't a lot of people who do that in Japan in the first place, by the way, Michi. Like, in your case, you don't have to do it for the people like that are outside of Japan. If you think, like, it's hard to do it for the people outside of Japan. In your case, even in Japan, you stand out. <laughs> like, there aren't so many people who do the same thing as you do. So you can do it for the Japanese people. Like, you don't have to specifically go for the foreigners. In your case, in your case. But if you go for the foreign viewers, yeah, there's like more like market, I guess. But it might be difficult, honestly. So figuring out who the viewers are and why like it's your it's their it's worth their time 
it's worth the time for them to like watch your channel. You have to figure out like that first to know like why your thing is a、uh, like something that's worth their time. This is like the same thing like in anything though. Like this is not just only about YouTube. This is like how demand and supply goes, right? Like that's kind of what I do when it comes down to my businesses as well, like my voice acting career. I do it actually a lot differently from other people. Are there people doing equivalent of you in other countries, i.e., South Korea? Ah,、uh, no. So, the thing is here, I、uh, I can actually do something like this for Japanese people as well. Actually, like I'm 100% sure I can do the same thing for Japanese people. But the thing is, like I don't really think a lot of people out there are doing something similar as to what I do. Because the thing is here. Voice acting, making videos on YouTube itself, is a rare freaking thing. And what they do on YouTube is like they usually review voice acting reviews. I mean, voice acting videos. They review. Eighty percent of the time, when voice actors do videos, they review. You know why? Voice actors are good at acting. They are not good at making scripts, writing scripts. The thing is here. I'm also a script writer too. Like everybody actually forgets this too. I do that too, actually. I、uh, I do write scripts, and I do that on my channel too. I come up with stories, but that's kind of like what I used to do as a kid too. I used to. This is kind of like a guilty pleasure, but I like to make stories. I I like to write stories. I like to come up with like comedy skits and stuff too. Like that's kind of what I've been doing since I was a kid. I like to do, make stories. I have like a lot of like story ideas too. In my case, I'm a voice actor. But I write stories, so it works for me. But there aren't a lot of people who do it because voice act voice actors are good at voice acting. That's really it. So you don't really see that. And then the thing is here, what I'm going for is basically live action anime, I、uh, but done by a real voice actor who looks like an anime character from Japan. That's like a, some freaking like what I noticed like there was a market for it. I was like, wow, that's actually a jackpot. Like nobody does it, and I don't think everybody will copy what I do because nobody wants to do it because it's cringe to be a real life anime character and acting like a real life anime character while writing freaking some cringy scripts to yourself as well. I was like, okay, that's kind of a jackpot. And then I've been doing this like since then, but I came up with this like. Idea in 2019, actually. So before that, I didn't do any of this. I I was just talking about Japan and nothing. The figuring out what you are good at, like what skills you got, is so important, though. Like, you have to know what special about you, what's different about you, why it's worth the time for people to watch your stuff. Like figuring out those things is like. More important than anything. But anyways, so I I just freaking talked about I what I could talk about, and this is basically me talking about anime, One Piece at Paddle Bay for two hours. But yeah,、uh, anyways, let's get back to the、uh, same usual. Let's read comments with Sora, but with Jules. So Jules, pick one comment that deserves the most attention. And send it to me. So everybody, if you guys like have questions and stuff, anything,、uh, say it there. I don't. Gener- wait, nowadays GPT-4 can write scripts. Yeah, true that too. So script writing, you know what though? People do use ChatGPT-4 now. Actually, like it's a it's a huge thing. So there's like this one website called、uh, AppWork. Uh, it's a freelancing like website where you can put your advertisements, like advertisement, on that website, so people will hire you. And script writing was one of the huge things before.、Uh, so I was like looking at the data on that website, and according to the website, forty、uh, percent of the script writers have no offers anymore, which means ChatGPT4 is replacing them. And it's happening with like translators, but yeah, script writers are getting replaced. Chat GPT four is like that good, yo, yeah. But in my case, I don't do that for a living. I just kind of do it for myself now, so I don't really get impacted yet because I can do it myself. I can do it in my own way. 
But yeah, GPT-4 is like insanely good. By the way, uh, I used the chat GPT-4 to write my scripts before, yeah. Like, some of my scripts. Not entirely. I got some ideas from like GPT-4. I did that, yeah. And I think I talked about it too. I, I got some idea from GPT-4. Like some, like, you know, core storylines, like this happens in this story and whatever. Self, in, wait, importance of, importance of self-improvement? Did I hear that right? So how important it is to like improve yourself? Like, is it like what the question is? Did, did I get that right? Uh, I, I don't know, man. It's really up to you. It's really up to you. I don't know if I got the question right or not. Did I get that right? <laughs> did Jules, did I get that right? How important is it, is it to like improve yourself? Did I get that right, Jules? Yes or no? Yes, one always like fine, because if it's no, if if you say no, I'll figure out myself. If it's yes, then yeah. How important is it? <laughs> That's deep. That's deep. The importance of self, wait, one's mental health. I mean, I can talk about it too because I went through some like hardcore. Uh, stuff in my life where I was like clinically depressed when I was 18 uh, The thing is here. I can talk about how to uh, Deal with your mental stuff actually everybody if you're interested in that Do you guys want to know how to deal with sad things like anger issues or whatever stuff? Are you guys interested in that? Yes or no? And Jules if everybody is saying yes, I can talk about it. Yeah because People tell me, like, I'm so stable when it comes down to, like, freaking mental health. I get that from everybody, especially in real life. I don't think people talk about it on the internet, but I get that from everybody in real life. Thank you so much for the donation. And Jules, is everybody saying yes? I'm, I'm guessing everybody's saying yes. And probably some people are saying no too. So, if you guys are not interested in that, you might have to mute the stream because I'm gonna actually talk about some core stuff here. So, uh, how to deal with your mental health, right? There's like any sad things, like bad things that can happen in your life. Uh, this is actually this one paper. So I'm gonna just talk about the most basic stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna talk about the most basic stuff ever, right? I'm gonna talk about the actual like paper related stuff according to the field of like psychology, how to deal with like stress. I'm gonna talk about the superficial thing first. So, uh, I was like reading this like one paper that's about uh, what to do when you are stressed out. And there's like a, this one data that shows like what works the best when you are stressed out. The best thing that works apparently is sleeping. And the second one was like singing? Uh, I forgot. Like sleeping works best and the singing works second or something but that's just what the paper says right and then i'm gonna talk about what kind of works for me okay i mean i never really get stressed out about things because i seriously don't care that's the mentality i have now so people get mentally tired because you are stressed out because you think about things you think about whether you're doing things right or wrong or somebody told you bad things and whatever right but let me tell you one thing. If you have the ability to laugh at things, it's not gonna really get to your nerves. Let's say somebody says F you to you. You have like this one option. Two, you have like two options. You either laugh at that or you get angry at that. You can choose. Do you wanna get angry? Which will make you tired even more, or do you want to laugh at that? Which will make you, which will wake, make you happier? You have like two options. So, if you can make anything laughable, you win. You win your life. If you can laugh by anything, that's how you win your life. So, like, let's say somebody says like, "You suck, Sora." Can you laugh at that somehow? Can you make a joke about that and laugh at it? 
if you can do it, you win in your life. But if you take it seriously and just get mad about it, you lose because you will get angry and you will get depressed. That's how it works. I can joke about literally anything if it's not about anything like racial slurs or anything because I just don't like the idea of like making fun of people for what they are born with or like their physical disabilities. I don't do that. I kind of feel like there's everything wrong with the humanity. I don't do that. But I can literally make a joke about anything, especially if it's about me. That's what I've been doing. So if you can do that, you win in your life. You never get stressed out. Like, let's say you got dumped by your, like, I don't know, man. You got dumped by your, like, boyfriend, girlfriend, your husband, your wife. Can you somehow make a joke about it and laugh about it? If you can, you win. That's kind of like how you can deal with things. So, like, let's say,、uh, you know, I actually saw this one dude who wanted to pick a fight with me, like, freaking three days ago. I was talking about this. This dude was so drunk. He was like, You want to fight, bruh? Eh? Eh? Right? Did I get angry about that? I don't think so. I was talking about this actually、uh, five hours ago. This dude came up to me. He was freaking drunk. He wanted to pick up a fight. Did I get angry? Did I freaking post an angry tweet on Twitter saying, like, that's why things are so bad? <laughs> Did I do that? I don't think so. And I didn't do it because that's kind of how you make yourself tired more. I instead actually joked about that dude. I was like, even joked about the dude being polite because he asked me if I, if, if I wanted to fight. He was like, Do you want to fight, bro? He was like, Oh, he's asking me if he wants to fight. He's so Japanese. Like, even in Japan, people ask you. Because <laughs> that's what I actually thought at first. I was like, Oh, this guy is asking me if, he wants, if I want to fight him. I was like, What the fuck? <laughs> like, it makes no sense, right? And I said, No. And he was like, He disappeared. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's not like he wants to fight me. He was curious. Like, what the fuck, man? Right? What if it's yourself saying bad things about yourself? Saying bad things about yourself. The thing about it is here.、Uh, I can talk about it. I can actually talk about that from like a psychological perspective as well. But I can talk about it too, okay? So, if you can make anything a joke and if you can somehow laugh about it, you win. But that's like one example. Some dude tries to pick a fight because he was drunk as fuck. But then, right, that dude was polite because he's Japanese. That's the joke. When we can laugh about it. I'm pretty sure everybody thought it was hilarious too. Because I thought that was hilarious. And then, so like the bad things about yourself. So the thing is here,、uh, when it comes down to like talking to people, if you make highly of yourself, And if you say you can do this, you can do that, you can do that, then、uh, what happens is here. When people see you, what they do is like they first try to see you, what kind of person you are, right? When you meet people. If you make highly of yourself, like I can do this, I can do that, then what other people will do is they will look for bad things about you to figure out what kind of things you cannot do. Because you talk about what you can do, right? Right? That's how it works. That's how human psychology works. If I start talking about I can do this, I'm so good at this, I'm good at that, I'm good at that, people will look for the things I, I suck at. The most obvious example is here. If any person shows up here, if like a, let's say, a Weeb viewer shows up here and says, like, my Japanese is so good. It's even better than some Japanese people's Japanese. If a weeb says that on my channel, you know what happens? Everybody will try to figure out how true that is. And everybody will freaking actually try to find out grammatical mistakes he makes in Japanese. That's what everybody will do, right? So if you talk highly of yourself, that's what people will do. Like, that's how human psychology works. Instead, if you talk bad about yourself, you know what happens? They do the opposite. People will try to figure out good things about you. That's, that's how it works. I'll leave you guys with this. Life don't care about your shit. So you gotta care about yourself. Vibe with your tribe. Know you can make mistakes and learn from them. And sometimes you just gotta sit, bro. Pace yourselves. 
Yeah. Oh, that's something like that. I don't know what that was, but something like that. So human psychology actually kind of like this. If you talk highly of yourself, people will try to figure out bad things about you. If you say, I'm so good at soccer, I'm the best in my country, people will freaking ask you something like, then, like, are you even better than, like, freaking, uh, that one Brazilian dude? <laughs> like, they will do that. But if you say, oh, I suck at soccer, like, I'm not really good at this, I'm, good at, I'm so bad at it, I like to play it though, and then if you play soccer, people will go like, no, you are actually better than, like, we thought. Dude, you are so good at it, bro. That's how it works, right? Like, it's the same for Riz. If you say, oh, you know what? I got so much Riz, bro. Look at my clothes. I look so cool. People will think you look dumb. <laughs> the most example, most obvious example, that Canadian dude who said, you know what? Japanese people got no Riz. I got Riz, bro. Look at my uh, outfit, yo. I'm so good looking. You know what happened? People thought he was the biggest clown. But if you say, no, I got no wrist, bro. Like, look at my clothes. My, my clothes aren't that, that good. All the stream snipers that showed up saying that, you know what happened to them? Everybody was like, no, he actually looks so much better than he says. That's what happens. That's how it works. So that's kind of like a secret. If you talk highly of yourself, the opposite happens. If you talk bad about yourself, the opposite happens. I don't know, man. Like... <laughs> But that's the secret. So, you know how psychology works. But it's actually like something I read back in university, reading this book called uh, How to Persuade People in 50 Different Ways. But that's just one thing. I don't think you're American. It was a meme, I'm sorry. I don't think you're American? What happened? What the fuck is this car? What the fuck is that car? Well, thank you so much for the donation. I really appreciate it. I don't know what that was. But yeah, so that's just one thing I can say. And you can say like, oh no, Sora, that's wrong. You can say it too. You can say it too. But, but, there are like most obvious examples, like everywhere. Like, where people say, I'm so good at this. I do this. Huh. And people say like, no, you suck. And where people say, like, oh, I'm not really good at this. I cannot do this. I'm trying to learn. And people were like, no, you are actually like so good at this. Yeah, that's usually the uh, most standard, like, human mindset, too, if you um, are curious. So, like, again, if you say, my Japanese is the best, my Japanese is better than Japanese people. Uh, so is money important? Uh, well... I guess it's important, like, if you're not, like, wealthy enough to support your life, 100%. Like, I, I, I've been saying this, like, I don't really want to have a lot of money because I don't need money, right? Because I can support myself, I can live my life without any problems. Like, that's kind of like what I've been saying. Like, I don't need too much money. I've been saying this. That's kind of why I don't do sponsors. I work, but I don't do sponsors. I try not to, like, freaking milk extra money from my channel because I don't have to do it. So money could be important if you cannot support yourself, if you cannot live your life, then yeah, it could be important. But in my case, I don't struggle trying to live my life, right? So yeah, there's that too. So I have to tell you, in my case, I can have my favorite meal every day, which is like gyoza, which is like about 300 yen worth. So I don't have any problems living my life like this. But if you cannot live your life well to the point where you are starving, yeah, I guess it's important, yeah. But other than that, I wouldn't say so. But that's just what I think. There are some people who think money is everything. Money is what changes their lives. There are some people who say that, but that's just how their life is because they grew up like that, right? In my case, I don't care about all the riz. <laughs> I just... I'm happy with being able to eat and just talk to people, being able to stream and talk to viewers, weave about anime 
and like Japanese related stuff like but that's just kind of like what I'm happy with so I don't know man <laughs> but that's kind of sad that, that's just awesome Jules like <laughs> suddenly it just got so like philosophical I'm like what the fuck <laughs> I like how you picked that one question though that was random but yeah alright let's get back to the typical let's answer that question time with Sora I Jules, pick something random again from like a random comment and send it to me. Everybody, I right, say something and Jules, the Puma Chew, well, Jules support, supports Puma Chew, will pick one comment from the chat and she will send it to me. And I can hear the TTS because I cannot read comments driving. Uh, the thing is here If I do it There will be less time Doing things here So I'm doing that now here too In the first place like, I don't know man Like The thing is I'm kind of like doing now here too Right I If I do like a separate channel for that There will be less time for me to stream here Which means There, there will be just less time Like If I have time to, other, to do other things I want to do other things like, I want to just go to some other places and just talk to people. I want to do that as well. Or I want to play table tennis. So, I don't think it will happen because I kind of do everything with my channel when I'm streaming. I do literally, like, a lot of different things. I do everything. When it comes down to, like, me traveling and talking to people, I do it. So, I don't think it will happen. But, yeah. Because if I do it, then, like, again, there will be less time for me to do other things, right? But, yeah, I don't know, man. And I don't think people are interested in that. <laughs> like, nobody's interested in that. There's, like, no demand for that, too, by the way. Just, just in case, just in case. I don't feel like there's, like, a demand for that. Is what I think. Ooh, that works. But, yeah. Alright. So, Jules will pick something random from the comment section. And she will send me something. If you guys have any questions or anything you want to say to Sora the No Lifer. Let's go, everybody. Try to get picked by Jules. If you could go back in time, what major would you take if not translation and would your channel exist? <laughs> Fuck! You serious? <laughs> Math. Because I want to talk shit to Michi about math equations. <laughs> like, I want to talk to Michi about how 1 plus 1 can be 7. Like, I want to do that. Yeah. I actually don't know, man. Like, I don't, I, I don't want to study. I don't like to, st I, I don't like to study, I mean, I like to learn about some things, but like, studying is kind of hard for me to do because it's something you do by yourself, right? Studying is something you do by yourself. Like, I don't like to do things by myself. Like, I want to do things with people, like, I want to do something in a group of people. Studying is like something you do by yourself, and I find it kind of boring. Yeah, I know, yeah, right. Well, thank you so much. So, I don't know. I will try not to even, like, learn anything. I picked the translation major because I still, like, had to get the bachelor's degree. And the translation major was, like, the easiest thing ever for me. Because, again, like, I speak English and Japanese. I was like, okay, that works. And I did that. And then, boom. I'm not using the degree to work. <laughs> <laughs> My degree has nothing to do with like what I'm doing because I do voice acting. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> and I do like freaking YouTube videos now too. I don't know. I'll just try to figure out a way to uh, uh, deal with like my life without studying. Wait, can you say that again? Have you ever thought who's hot and not? Did I hear that right, Jules? Have I ever felt who's hot and who's not? Is it that? Wait, is it that? 
Did I, did I hear that right? Is the question about who I think is hot? Did I catch that right? Or did, did I hear that right? Oh, all right. Let me talk about this. So, some people found my channel recently, right? So I. I kind of think it's a disability. I have like this one this disability where I cannot tell who's hot and who's not hot. It, a lot of my uh, viewers tell me it's not a disability. It's just a choice or preference is like what you guys tell me. A lot of uh, my viewers call it demisexual, apparently. I still like don't know what that is. So it's where I cannot look up people and I cannot tell who's hot, who's not hot. I cannot do that. So. Like, I don't have like a celebrity crush or I don't have like a YouTube crush. I actually don't have that because I cannot tell who's hot, right? So like how it works for me is like, I actually have to talk to the person, know the person and then see if, if I like the person or not. So like, you know how there's like this one thing called a love at first sight? That's not a thing for me. I never had that in my entire life. I tried to act like I was experiencing it but I was faking it the whole time in my life to blend in with everybody. So the thing is like, you know how everybody talks about who's hot, who's not hot, Pokemon's fuckable, which is not fuckable, like this porn star hot, whatever. I cannot talk about that because I don't know anything. So this this one conversation uh, guys like to talk about, I mean guys have with other guys which is about porn stars or hot girls everybody does that and in japan talking about porn stars is like so normal everybody talks about porn stars if you're a guy i wasn't able to keep up with the conversation like with my guy friends everybody talks about who's like this porn star is hot whatever is hot i couldn't keep up with the conversation because i just couldn't figure out what porn star is hot because I don't actually watch a lot of porn by the way because again I cannot tell who's hot right like that's actually kind of like tough so I have like that disability thing so again like if you ask me what my body count is the true count is actually one because it's that like and the thing is here I'm gonna talk about something a lot of people, a lot of people try to do, like hook up with me on my channel, Send, like sending me, sending me emails and stuff, like messages, like saying like, hey Sora, do you wanna go, go out on a date? A lot of you guys did that, right? Did I ever reply to any of you guys? No, it never happened, right, by the way? You guys that are watching this, you guys freaking sent me emails, messages, saying like, hey, do you wanna go out on a date? A lot of you guys did that. If you, if you ever got a reply back from me, say yes, because I never did that. Again, I cannot like actually feel like figure out who's hot, who I want to date with. I, I never had that, right? So that's what basically uh, the TTS is about. Did I ever want to f feel, did I want to ever feel like who's hot, who's not hot? Not really. I feel like it's better for me to like live my life like this. Because let me tell you, I'm a YouTuber and YouTuber gets canceled for all the girl things. They usually get gets the you, YouTubers usually get canceled after getting laid with a girl, <laughs> and then there's a freaking like controversy because the YouTuber treated the girl shit and whatever. It's usually the freaking beginning of like whatever. So I'm actually kind of happy that I'm not horny. <laughs> I've been saying this to my friends, by the way. I about this with my freaking uh, friends. My friends and I talk about this everywhere. Like, my friends freaking tell me all the time, like, hey, like, oh, you know what? You being a YouTuber without being kind of like a, you know, God's gift. Because I never get into, like, those controversies because, uh, you know, get controversial with girls. You know what I'm talking about? That never happens. So, yeah, I never get jealous. But that's how, that's, that's kind of like how it works. <laughs>
<laughs> in other words, I'm a virgin, everybody. What's up? <laughs> I'm a virgin? <laughs> the thing is, like, I used to act like I was horny, even on YouTube, to be with everybody else. Because that's what everybody does. That's, that's kind of like what guys do. Like, you have to be horny. Or you have to talk about girls. You have to talk about hot girls. I did that on YouTube to be like that one dude, like normal dude. But then I kind of like just randomly talked about my true identity at some point. I was like, you know what? I actually don't do that. And everybody was like, oh. <laughs> everybody thought I was like that one horny dude who freaking sleeps with ladies. But now I'm like, I became the most virginal person ever because that's just who I am. I don't go out with girls. I don't have like much dating ex experience. A lot of my friends know like how much of a virgin I am. I seriously don't have a lot of dating experiences because I simply just was never interested in dating. And seriously, I never was. My eyes hurt after the eclipse. Thank you so much for the donation. Yeah, that freaking happened in the U in the states, right? Yeah. I guess I can just do this for the extra clarity. But yeah, so now I can see comments here because red light. Did he say most virginal person? I am though. I am though. Like I am really. I'm the most virginal person ever. Being a virgin has a huge stigmas behind it, especially in the state states and it kind of reinforces people to stay virgins true i think being a virgin is amazing too but the thing is here if you are a virgin like trying super hard to get laid that's where the problem like shows up because you are a virgin that's trying super hard to like have sex with girls right and that sounds kind of bad right and i feel like that's kind of why there's a stigma towards like there's this stigma towards like Versions, but if you are being a virgin because you want to be a virgin, like I feel like that's fine too. But if you are a virgin, trying super hard to get laid with girls, then you have to figure out why you are still a virgin, and that usually you are the problem in that situation, right? <laughs> that's what I would like to think. It's not like the world is wrong. It's more like you are doing something wrong. If that's you are a virgin, that's how I usually see things, right? Like. That's how I live my life as well. Like, oh, I'm a virgin. Then why am I a virgin? How do I stop being a virgin? Let's see. That's kind of like how I do things. I don't just go up. I don't just, I don't just straight up like think like everybody sucks. Because nobody sleeps with me, right? <laughs> but I can read the comments now. Red light. I'm just afraid of women. Uh, so afraid, being afraid of women is actually a thing. Like, that happens when you were... When you went through some bad experiences with girls as a kid is what I heard. It's basically what you experienced as a kid. Uh, either like you got bullied by some girls or you liked this one girl but you got rejected as a kid. When you went through this kind of like a childhood experience, then as, a, as an adult, you tended to be afraid of girls. That's what I heard. That's what I read actually on some article. But yeah. I'm afraid of humans. That's fine too, by the way. There's nothing wrong with that, by the way. There's, like, nothing wrong with, like, afraid of humans. I mean, that's how you how it is for you, too. Like, there's, like, nothing wrong with it. I mean, you are afraid of humans, but it's not like you want to kill humans or anything, right? It's more that, like, you are scared of humans because uh, interaction's hard. I get that, too. Like, it's just whatever. But if you are trying to change that, then, yeah, maybe you can find out how to... find out how to deal with things. It's what I usually do but there's like nothing wrong with like being scared of something you don't have to try to fix it possibly you don't have to go like i gotta fix it <laughs> that sounds tough to me right it's kind of like i'm scared of heights too like i'm scared of like high places i'm scared of like roller coasters but i just stay away from those <laughs> that's how i live my life i don't know man because i never have any problems with that so if you are happy with living your life like that that's fine too. I don't think there's anything wrong with being afraid of people, this, that, if you're fine with how you live your life, right? Like, trying to change yourself sounds harder for me. Like, 
changing who you are to basically be the person who you are. That sounds tough for me too. I don't know, man. You can just live your life in the way you want if you're happy. And I think that's how it is for everybody too. I can read the comments, red light. I'll like to become a monkey who does nothing, lies on a tree and eat fruits all day. That sounds depressing to me, but yeah, I mean, you can do that too. So, are Cole Rinchan. Isn't she streaming now? I don't know, man. Sora's scared, Sora's scared of pooping in front of us. Everybody's scared of that. What the fork? How to be happy. Yeah. Do what you want to do. Dude, like, doing what you want to do for a living is the most extreme way to be happy. Right? Yeah. So. I'm just afraid of talking to, afraid of talking to women, so I don't. I mean, that's fine, too. So if you're, like, afraid of women, and, like, if you are fine with it, that's fine, too. If you are afraid of, like, girls, and if you just go, like, girls suck, then the problem is there. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> but if you are, like, just afraid of girls, and you want to talk to them, that's fine, too, because that's just how you live your life, right? I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. You don't have to change yourself. But if you go, like, I, I'm scared of girls. I hate girls. Girls suck. Then that's a different problem because what the fuck? <laughs> but, you know, in your case, like, it's kind of simple. You just don't like to, you're scared of girls, so you don't talk to girls. That makes sense. I mean, that's how you live your life, too. I mean, I don't think there's, like, anything wrong with it because that's how it is for you, right? But yeah, I mean. Jewel said, BRB, getting water. Okay, Grandma Jules. I, when you get water, don't forget to uh, bring me some uh, amazing pancake and apples and some uh, BLT sandwiches. Uh, uh. But yes. said, hey, stop that. Uh, do, uh, Grandma Girls, I'm sorry. You saying, hey, stop that even made, even made you sound more like a grandma person, but sure, why not? Now I'm on a red light so I can read stuff here. Here. How to not get girls. Talk about sex. Dude, how to not get girls. Talk about sex. That's, dude, you know what? Wait, are there girls here on my channel? Wait, if you're a girl, say yes. Suck my dick. Jules a hot granny? I don't know. Is she a gilf or milf? Who knows? Nobody knows. Even I don't know. <laughs> I just say Jules a milf. Jules is a milf because that's hilarious. But she just told me to suck her dick. <laughs> but yeah, so here. Let me talk about how to not get girls, okay? I actually figured out. So it's not from my experience, again, but I like to see people and like, I like to watch people and learn. Guys that talk about sex all the time, they never get girls. <laughs> like if you just say like, I want to have sex with girls. Do you like sex? Are you good and bad? If you freaking talk about that with everybody, even with girls, they don't get girls. That's what I figured out. So like, I was curious if there are any girls like that are watching this right now. Am I right about this? Uh, girls, if I just keep talking about sex, I become that one freaking cringy dude that never gets laid, right? I mean, some guys might get sex by doing that too, but I just don't think it works. It's the worst thing ever. Like, basically, you talk about sex. You think girls out there just because sex. Like, that's why you do. You just get, you just never get sex in that way. Because I know one dude who does that and he never gets laid. <laughs> 
<laughs> I wait. Am I am I right about this, girls? Well, like guys out there, like any people. If I just keep talking about sex, like oh yeah, I I say I think girls are there for sex, well, like sex, 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 sex. Oh yeah, I go there to have sex. I, I don't get laid that way, right? But yeah, that's basically the best way to not get sex. Now I can read the comments because red light. You know what? Wait, give me a little bit. So, if you want to know how to not get laid, yeah, talk about sex with girls. I can read the comments now, red light. If you talk about sex, she's going to tell all her friends later, laugh at you. Yeah, that's what I thought, yeah. The thing about it is, like, here. So, when I say this, I sound like I'm freaking showing up, but please don't think I'm showing up, okay? I have a lot of female friends, like, actually. I have a lot of female friends. They don't see me that way though, 100%. Like, I have so many female, female friends that I can hang out with, that I can talk to, and they know I don't see them that way. They know, like, so sure because, like, they know, like, how virginal I am. So, I have, like, so many female friends. Like, I can talk about sex with them, but they know I never get horny. Like, they know 100%. They know I'm, like, the most freaking sexless person. So, I tend to get female friends a lot more. But at the same time, I don't get laid with with them either, but I just don't think about that, I guess. That's kind of why I get female friends. But again, like, it's it doesn't mean I get girls, by the way. I have to make sure. It doesn't mean I get girls, but I have a lot of female friends because they know for sure I'm not horny. What is your favorite English word? Uh, what Jules told me, suck my dick. <laughs> Thank you so much for the donation. It's not a word, uh, word, uh, fuck. Fuck is my favorite word, I guess. But thank you so much. I don't even think about it. So, I don't know, man. I, I have a lot of female friends that I even play games with, that I talk to about whatever stuff, but they know I'm a virgin. And they don't seem to care about me being the most sex sexless person, or like, whatever. They just know I don't care about sex. So they tend to be more open about themselves to me as well. The thing is here, you know how I said like, oh, I have a lot of female friends, right? It's not like, oh, you know, some like female, female friends that I talk to, it's not that. I actually have some female friends that I can talk about some hardcore stuff with. If I wanted to talk about masturbation, or like what kind of panties they wear, they'll probably tell me 100% because they know I'm the most like virginal person ever like when I talk about it it's not because I want to get horny like they know I'm freaking trying to be stupid like what what color are you wearing <clears throat> yeah they probably know like I'm freaking being stupid so like Rinsan's like one person that I talk to on YouTube like you guys know like Rinsan that VTuber is like a friend of mine on YouTube so like you guys know about her I can do that to her as well because she knows I'm like freaking so virginal like she knows like that too she knows I'm not horny for like random people like if i ask her what color she's wearing she might probably tell me like i don't know man bro red why are you curious that's probably what she will tell me and i'll be like i don't know i just wanted to ask you and she will be like get out of life get light instead that's usually what happens but yeah anyways i can read the comments now red light girls don't talk about sex the same way with dudes and guy friends probably i'm not sure about that Sora would be the best bestie ever. Well, I talk to a lot of different friends, yeah. Like, a lot of people. Hence the cringe of feeling friend zone because it's always nice to have friends. So the thing is, like, this friend zone thing, right? I never, like, understood that part. Because, again, like, I... I might... I might have friend zoned so many people though, instead. Like, I, I, I don't remember being friend zoned. Because I don't even think about that. But I remember friend zoning people. Like, I, I can actually think of, like, so many moments, like, when that happened. Like, I'm that one dude who does that to everybody. Yeah, that definitely happened so many times. I can think of, like, so many, like, moments. Or, like, there was, like, a, this one girl. Uh, who just... Yeah, I remember. I I can remember so many freaking moments actually. But again, that doesn't mean I'm popular. By the way, that doesn't mean I'm popular. It just means like, fuck. 
I, I'm not popular with girls. I don't get girls, but fuck. Penis, 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 penis. Yeah, I just didn't want to like act like that one guy who just goes like, I get girls, but that's not what I'm doing here, okay? I just remember the times like when I friend zoned some girls for, but fuck. Wait, do you want to know? Wait, wait, wait. Do you know like some streamers like do this like a uh, eye tracker thing? Like where they see pictures and you can tell what the streamers are like looking at and stuff. You know what I'm thinking about? I want to do it too. I want you guys to know what I look at when I look at pictures and stuff. It will be hilarious. I'm going to probably stare at tits and freaking vagina for like laughing purposes. Like for probably like two minutes and go like... <laughs> but then I want to actually know even myself as well. Like what I actually look at. It will be probably interesting. I, I want to do it too. I want to do it. I can read the comments now. Red light. Rain's doing karaoke right now. Yeah, she's freaking doing that. Yeah. Flirt with your mom. I can if you want me to. So as a player in Japan, I don't remember going out with girls like that way a lot of times. Yes, I hang out with girls. That has happened. But it's not... It's never like only me and the girl kind of situation. It never happened. I never did that. It's like there's one girl, there's like another girl, there's like another guy, whatever kind of thing. Or it could be like three girls and me. That happened too, actually. So it's not really like, you know, me and her kind of situation where uh, like things are romantic. Like obviously it's a date at a restaurant. It's never like that. It was never like that. Like I never go out with a girl and me only like that never was a thing if I do I make sure to like invite other people because again like I have other friends too it doesn't have to be like one two one thing so there's another red light I can read comments there everybody do you want me to read your uh, uh, amazing comments let's go I'm gonna stop at that red light yo uh, I'm gonna stop okay everybody you guys ready? Fuck! It's not. St- red light, yo! My gosh, I'm stopping at a red light, yo. This is actually a green light. Fuck! If you say, if you. Alright, just. There's another red light there. So I'm gonna stop and read stuff. You know what? I cannot probably stop. Jules, pick something and send it to me. Everybody, uh, say something and the Jules will pick that comment and send it to me. Okay? I'm gonna do that because like there are no red lights. Jules, you there? Or like are you still like drinking water or something? So pick something, everybody say something. Jules will pick one comment and she will send it to me through TDS. Or it might not be working. It might. Sure. I thought you want to take a piss or something. Be back for a few moments. I'm gonna take a piss. I'm gonna take a piss. Anything is fine though. Just pick one comment that deserves the most attention. I'm pretty sure a lot of people are saying like, what do you think about India? I'm doing like, that's like one of the things everybody's How cool is Jules? Wait, 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 wait. Is it like how cool is Jules? 
Wait, you want me to talk about Jules, right, everybody? Or like, somebody. Or Jules picked that comment because Jules wanted me to talk about Jules. Fuck. So Jules is like... Yes. Yeah, dude, dude. So that's what you're doing. Like, you're basically doing like... Give me attention. I want atten- I want attention. But, you know, I want attention. And, uh, uh, you know, just a uh, chat talked about uh, me. So it's not me. Like trying to get attention. Eh? 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 Sora senpai, kakoi desu ne. Eh? Yeah, sure. How cool is Jules? Uh... Jules is a MILF that you can talk to about how to finger your ass. Like your ass. If you go up to Jules and how to like ask her something like, hey, how can I finger my ass? Jules will probably tell you like how to actually finger your ass. Like happily. Like that's kind of like who Jules is. As long as I know. As far as I know. Jules will be like, oh, you wanna know how to finger your ass? So first you have to do this and then then you have to wash your hand then then like get some uh, lube and do this she will legitimately tell you how to finger your ass like that's kind of like how she is and if I say something like hey Jules how can I F my ass then she will again tell me how to probably F my ass that's how Jules is as far as I know anyways now I'm on that red light so I can read stuff what do I think about India yes What? Can we get a hug from you? No. What's your favorite scotch? What? No, that's who Jules is. You, Jules is like that one person, like, who you ask questions to, and she will answer your question because she wants to be your help. Thus, she's like a mod. That's kind of like what's happening. Jules is not the main character, but Jules is a support character that will support you. So she's not the main character that, that just freaking causes things, but she is the sub character that supports the main character that's causing things. So like, if you want to learn from Jules, she will answer your question. Like Jules is kind of like a, kind of a Siri in a way, I think. I could be wrong about this too. But that's kind of like my impression sometimes. Parabe Jules, they are kind of similar, I think. That's what I think. A Pattern Bay is kind of similar. I want to think. I don't know. I actually have never uh, talked to a Pattern Bay, so I don't really know much about her, but that's my impression. Anyways! I don't even have to like use this bolt. So let me just Is it here? Do I turn here usually? I pull I probably don't. Fuck! Do I turn here? I do. So I don't know if you guys know what I'm doing now. But I'm basically trying to like say bye to everybody soon. It will happen. What does Jules think of India? Ask her. Alright, let me just turn right here. This is my favorite parking lot. And I have to say bye to everybody. Because I streamed for like, how many hours, bruh? Like seven hours or something? God damn, I don't have a life. And we went to the sunrise place too. We didn't see like any real life sunrise, but we saw sores <gasps> and knives. And cringe people, like me, like, that's only me, probably. You know what, though? Should I just go to an onsen? Because there's an onsen here. That onsen's fire, by the way. I've been there so many times. My favorite one is, like, actually in Ichihara. But yeah, I'm not going to talk about that onsen, because I actually freaking go to that one onsen in in Ichihara city. (laughs) I'm a regular there. (laughs) And I don't want people to show up, like, see my pee-pee. But if you know that one famous, like, freaking onsen in Ichihara City, I show up there. So if you want to see my pee-pee, show up there. You'll see my pee-pee eventually. 
I, I freaking go there a lot. Like, actually a lot. I'm not going to talk about the onsen, though. Because I legitimately go to that onsen. More than, like, freaking any other places. I show my pee a lot there. It's what I wanted to say here. Can I turn here? I can! Hey, kid! My windows are open and they stared at me. Fuck. No, I'm not doing like a freaking car karaoke by myself. They think I'm freaking being wild here. That's not what I'm doing, girl. Damn, that sucks. That's not what I'm doing. I was trolling. They think I'm freaking trying super hard. No, that's not what I'm. Fuck. That's not what I'm doing, yo. Fuck. Don't forget kitchen, we got to see kitchen, so cool. <laughs> True that. Alright, everybody, so, you know, things start, but things end. So, this is like when things end. So, thank you so much for coming to the stream, everybody, but this is when things end. Like, when there is a beginning to things, when there, like, there are things uh, to, like, all... I don't know what I'm even saying anymore, but this is where my stream ends, okay? So thank you so much for coming to my stream, everybody. Uh, I'll say bye-bye here. I actually got to get home here because I was, like, obviously on my way to freaking go home. So bye-bye, everybody. I'll see you guys, like, probably next week. No, I'm not going to stream tomorrow. I got things to do, so bye-bye. And I will see you guys eventually next week. Bye-bye. Let's see. What should I do next week? Like, are there any places I should visit? Uh, should I go to Hakone or something? What do you think? Should I go to Hakone? Like, Japan, Japan heritage? Should I? Eh, I'll think about that. Bye-bye, everybody. I want to go to Hakone and I want to freaking stay there, like, for like a night or something. You guys are interested in that too, right? What kind of things are there though? Computer typing! Just the water take it. Opening the door! Closing the door! Coming back in with a water bottle! Setting on a chair! Watching a book! Reading a book! Getting bored!